Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Morning and welcome to Sewing Street on the, what's the day today? The 5th. On the 5th, the 5th day of Christmas. Five gold rings today, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyway, fab day coming up for you. But um, I'm going to start off with a special thing because if you've been watching all of this month, well, all five days so far, we, you know, we always do an early bird where we have a special offer. But what we're doing for the um, Christmas, well, up until Christmas, is we're doing early birds, but with even specialer, specialer offers. So actually more money off, more special offers. So today's special Christmas early bird advent number five gold rings is... Do, 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 do. Just going to wait for the birds to finish. Is the new Bobby Winder. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Now, this is joyful. So... What you do, look, there you go. It all comes in a little suitcase as well, which I quite like, is that you can put your thread on the pin and then you can put your bobbins on and you can just wind your bobbins. So you don't have to do it at the sew machine. If you're doing a project where you need loads of bobbins, making, making a big quilt or a rope basket, you can um, wind all your bobbins up in advance. It has batteries in it. You just simply put the thread on the spool, the bobbin on the bobbin, press the button, boom. It's fantastic. So this is the Hemline Automatic Portable Bobbin Winder. Comes with full instructions. Now, I've got a couple of price comparisons for you. So the price that you can see there at the moment, that is going to drop, just so you know. Now, this is a different brand. So the price on that one on that Long River website thing, 28.99. Okay, so that's 28.89. Um, and so, and at the moment, ours is at 37 99 so we're going to have to beat that, aren't we? Really? Another price comparison. They're not exactly the same brand, but they're the same thing. There's another one, £24, OK? So the lowest price that we can find so far is 24 Now, the full RRP for this is 37 99 So we need to go lower, please, Hannah than the 24 pounds gotta come look we've got to go lower than the 24 23.99 well there we go we've beaten it but remember i said this is a special early bird advent where i promise we will have better better price reductions because we're celebrating christmas all the way through december so it won't be 23.99 which is lower than the lowest price we can find it's going to be it's going to be what's it going to be what's it going to be 19.99 99 that's amazing so we've gone from 37.99 to 19.99 for this automatic um bobbin winder it is brilliant because you can just put your spools on wind your bobbins up because you know what it's like when you're in the middle of sewing you run out of bobbin thread oh you've got to unthread it all blah, blah, and then you've got to put the bobbin on well you can do them in advance you can have this running because once you've got it running you don't need to do anything with it while you're sewing just speeds up the time or of an evening you can sit there and wind all your bobbins up if you bought some new thread you could wind a bobbin off each um, spool and keep them all together if you've got those special bobbin clips 
19.99. It's battery operated, um, very simple. It comes with full instructions, so it'll tell you exactly how to do it all, how to put the batteries in, how it all works, but it is genius. If you haven't got one of these, or if someone's said to you, oh, I don't know what to buy you for Christmas. This is one of those little gadgets that you will love. And look, and it comes in its own little case. All very easy. Right, Hannah's found a direct price comparison with this exact brand. 29.99, so we're 10 pounds cheaper. So we've gone from 37.99 to under 20 pounds. Can't say fairer than that, can you? Early bird advent. You will need for it three AA batteries. So the slightly bigger ones, you know, the troubling. Can you? Oh, Hannah says you can do it with USB. Oh, you can, yes. You can USB to, uh, there's a hole. Yep, there we go. You don't get the cable, but if, you've probably got one with your phone. USB-C, so you don't even need batteries. You can just plug it actually into your computer and it'll go, won't it? I've got USB-C, I've got one for my phone. So I could just use my phone cable, plug it into my computer and it will, um, or you could just plug it into the wall, but it's the same, pretty much the same as your phone charger. Quarter of the stock has gone already, not surprised. Now we have bought in quite a lot of stock because we uh, appreciate that, you know, a lot of you want to join in with the early bird advent, um, but a quarter of the stock's already gone. So I will keep you updated as the morning goes on so that you can see where we are, but 19.99. That's amazing, isn't it? Fantastic. Right, we're going to quickly run through the menu. Half the stock's gone now. I'll put it in the box. I will bring it back later to keep you updated, but half of the stock has gone. 19.99. It's the new version, brand new. We haven't had this before. The Hemline Automatic Portable Bobbin Winder. Anyway, I'll put that to one side because we've got a busy day. Right, coming up on today, now eight o'clock, this is what you have all been waiting for. Already flying out on pre-order. This is Sally Ann Harrison's brand new book. We have exclusivity for two weeks until the 19th. This is the only place you can get it. And not only that, we've got Sally Ann with us who's going to talk us through it. So we're going to talk through her inspiration. We're going to talk about why she's, why she's written it, what the projects are. You are going to love it. The books will all be signed. We've got all the stock in the warehouse ready to send out to you. Um, so as soon as you make your order, we can send them all out. But this is the only place you can buy it. It is a fantastic book. Sally Ann has taken a long time to write. It's beautifully written. The projects are glorious. I've got them all around the studio. You are going to be love this. So I'm really excited um, that I've been able to do this with Sally Ann today. Gonna love it. That's eight o'clock. Then at nine o'clock, we've got the gorgeous Tracy Perks who is bringing us her hair and a giraffe quilt. Now, this is a fab technique because it's um, you're creating a quilt from very simply from squares and half square triangles into an absolutely beautiful item. But what she's doing for us at nine o'clock, the quilts come as large versions where you use bigger half square triangles and squares. But she's also going to show us how you can do it as a much smaller version using the gridded interfacing, which is a product that I've seen before, but I've never seen it demoed. I've always looked at it and thought, OK, so you see how? not really sure how it all works. So she's going to demo how to use the gridded interfacing so that you can create perfect, perfect squares the easy way. And we've got the large versions and the smaller versions of the hair and the drop. Absolutely gorgeous. You're going to really enjoy that. It's going to be very technique heavy, so get yourself a cup of tea ready for that one. Um, 10 o'clock, we're on to sewing room tools. Oh, now, exciting, world launch. Hey, we've got two world launches today. Not only is it a world launch, we've got Liam. From Hobby Maker in today. Um, scissors, brand new electric scissors, affordable ones. They are fab. They are fantastic. Um, if you've been shopping ahead, top tip, the price that's there at the moment, we will be going lower than that. It is brilliant for, you can cut fabric with them, but also wrapping paper. Because you know what it's like, we've got a lot of cutting to do. Anyway, he's going to come in and demonstrate it, so that's going to be really good fun. Very, very affordable scissors, and we will be going lower. At 11 o'clock, the lovely Tracy will be back again with our bumblebee and butterfly quilts. We've got a choice of colours and prints, even some 
liberty ones, let me say. So if you've always fancied making a big bumblebee or butterfly quilt, and again, the techniques that um, Tracy uses are fab. You will really enjoy that. And at 12 o'clock, it's Winter Fabrics. Loving this hour. I had a look at it yesterday. It's all that lovely flannel and brushed cotton and fleeces. So if you fancy making yourself some brushed cotton pyjamas, flannel pyjamas, fleecy dressing gown, oh, really excited because they are top high-end designer flannel fabrics. Absolutely gorgeous. That's at 12. Perfect. What a day. What a day. Anyway, already on pre-order, already selling. Let me show you how to shop and then we can get on with this fantastic new book. Right, anyway, very, very quickly, how to shop. Two ways to shop. You can either do it by phone on the phone number there, 0800 001 4433, UK call centre, and it's free. They're just upstairs, lovely people. So if you have any issues at all with your order or you just want to speak to a human being, give them a call. The easiest way to shop, because you can see pictures, I always like to see pictures, is on www.sewingstreet.com. If you go onto the um, website, and then you see at the top there, it says watch live, Click on there and then you can watch us live and then you can see all the items. Now, they'll be in two columns, those I've shown and there was those I haven't yet. Coming up on today's show will be is pre-order. So this is where you can get ahead if you're going out. Now, look, there's Sally Ann's book there. Look at that. There it is. Signed, just $16.99, world launch. Can't get it anywhere else. So if you're worried that they're going to sell out, which they probably will, you need to get them in your basket and checked out. These are all of the other items. Right, so we haven't even played the book yet. I've given you a quick flash. We've already sold over 50, just like that. These are the, um, the kits from Tracy, the giraffe on the hair in two different sizes. Aren't they fab? Um, and then we've got all of the tools. We have got instructions on their own as well. There's that quilter's grid. It's amazing. It's like magic, magic material that is, because you can get beautiful, perfect squares with it. Um, we've got all the different tools that we're gonna need in that hour. Um, there, where's the scissors? They're in there somewhere. <laughs> there they are. There they are, the electric scissors. Mm, just to see Liam, he's very exciting. He's gonna come and demonstrate. That price will be dropped, by the way. It's on his holiday day and he said he'd come in because he loves them and he wants to show us. He just wants an excuse to come on Sewing Street, to be honest. <laughs> don't we all? Don't we all, exactly, <laughs> don't we all? It's just an excuse to come on Sewing Street, really. Um, there's Tracy's second hour with the bumblebee and the butterflies. Oh, now look at this. You see, it, as I said to you, it's not just any flannel. It's Muda flannel. Um, we've got Robert Kaufman flannel. I'm just, they just look like pyjamas, don't they? Fantastic. Um, we've also popped a few patterns in there as well for you so that you can make things. Anyway, this book. Right. World, I'll give you a few facts first. World exclusive, brand new book. This is Sally Ann's first book. First of many. She's laughing. She's laughing. First of many, um, this is the book that you need, that you've been waiting for, because it's all about sewing with scraps. It's about you having beautiful projects to use your stash. Now, we might pretend we don't have a stash book that we know secretly that we all do. And we want to have ideas. We want to use our stash. We want actually an excuse to buy more fabric as well. Go, I'll use that bit, but I'll buy this. Now, every book will be signed by Sally Ann. She's one of us. She's been with us forever, almost. God, you're making me sound really old. <laughs> no, just as old as us. You've been with us forever. I have. So, will they all say happy stitching? <laughs> After about hundreds, she might just say some, Sally. Some of them might sort of go into happy Christmas. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> Who knows what it'll be? Um, but they will all be signed. Right, over 100 are gone now. We've had the graphics in for a minute, over 100 have gone. You cannot get this book anywhere else. It is exclusive to Sewing Street. Um, if you go on to other sites, you can see it's available, but it's only on pre-order on other sites. They won't actually be shipping till the 19th. Whereas you'll have yours, you'll have it home. You'll have made half the projects by the 19th. The orders will be shipped as soon as we get them through. So this is the only one you can get them. Message from Marjorie. Morning all. Got my book. So happy. Well done, Marjorie. Fantastic. 
Well done. Because we obviously, we only have a certain amount of stock. Heather says, morning, Rebecca and Sally got the book. Fantastic. There is a small queue on the phone line, so please bear with us. We did let the team upstairs know that we've got a launch, so they do know. But just, just be a bit patient or just go online. Mm. Right. Once everyone's checked out, over 200 have gone in two minutes. So I think we'll go over to Sally. I can take my book with me. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Sally. This is your pride and joy, joy isn't it? It is. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, so before we delve into the book, for any of the um, any of the viewers who don't know Sally, and tell me a bit about you. How did you get into sewing? Okay, so like most people, I learned to sew at school, mm. and then um, I I got into sort of dressmaking when I was at school. Right. And then I would say the late sort of 90s, I got into curtain making, mm. which I would never do again. So I, really? made, I made curtains for my family, <laughs> for my friends, for my own house. You know, it, was, it became quite a big thing for me. Um, but it was when I moved to the States that I actually found a, a quilting shop for the very first time. Mm. And it was one of those epiphany moments. It, so I was walking through downtown Newburn, which is in North Carolina. Um, and I, I saw this stained glass shop and I am a complete colour junkie, if you haven't mm. realised that already, <laughs> complete colour junkie, saw this stained glass on the outside and it was the colour that drew me in. And then there's a little door at the back of the shop that said um, quilt sh shop and I opened the door and just like a room just like this, mm. it was wall-to-wall -wall quilts and I stood there and I thought, <gasps> I must do I this. I need to make a quilt. I don't want to make curtains anymore, anyone? I want to make quilts. Right. <laughs> yeah. That is a big jump. Yeah. And then from that, You've now written a book. Yes, it's sort of like, so um, I came back to the UK and when I came back to the UK, I started teaching. So I worked for, um, I worked for Ofsted for a long time. Okay. And then I started in the background, I was doing like little sewing classes here mm. and there. And I worked for John Lewis and I did some stuff for the American Museum in Bath. And they've got a fantastic quilt collection. And it's just around the corner from me. <laughs> is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it is incredible. It's amazing. It? Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, so I sort of did it as a sideline and then Ofsted made me redundant in 2015. And that's when I started getting into it more sort of big mm. time, you know. Um, so it was kind of a big life change yeah. moment, really. And it was um, Sally Stevens who, because mm. um, I did some work for her magazine when she was running a magazine. Yes, yes. And she recommended me to Sewing Quarter. Right. Um, and I worked for Sewing Quarter and obviously I went yeah, to Sewing Quarter. Wow. Yeah. And now you're here. And now, and now I'm here with your, a book. You're launching your book. So when you thought about, well, I'm going to write a book. Had you decided at that point what it was going to be about? What sort of things you were going to put it in? Um, I, because I'd written the patterns for Sewing Street, it yes. was sort of a culmination of I've written the patterns for several years um, and I got chatting to Stuart. Mm. And I mean, you know, Stuart's written several books. Yes, so I yes. Said, well, I was thinking I, I might have. Oh, you, you ought to, you know. Mm. And he was so helpful. Um, we had like, a few telephone chats. And he actually reviewed what I was putting to publish this oh, for me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Lovely. So, and that's so approved by Stuart Hillard. <laughs> mm, Self approved by Stuart Hillard. How nice. He was, he was absolutely brilliant. Oh. I mean, he's so encouraging. You kind of need that. You need somebody in your corner that goes, keep going. Yeah, keep, keep go going. Exactly. Keep going. Mm. Don't give up. Um, so, I started sort of, it must have been, where are we now? So it must have been at the beginning of last year where Stuart mm -hmm. started helping me and then I put it to several publishers and it went through several publishing houses and it wasn't getting anywhere. And then all of a sudden in November I had a call from Landauer and they said, we'd like to do your book. And wow! <gasps> so how many <laughs> projects? 20 plus? So there's 20 um, techniques. The 20 techniques and 10, 10 projects. projects yes. Okay. So should we have a little look? You'll have a little look. Should we have a little look? So we go through, we've got obviously all the contents. Now we start with tools and tips. Yep. So this is, oh sorry, I need to go right a bit. Oh, there we go. Um, so th this is so that people who don't understand, or maybe haven't used rotary cutters and rulers, yep. this is to give them an introduction yeah, exactly. to it. Um, so. Are beautifully photographed. But what I like is that then you move into techniques as well. So you talk through quite important techniques yes. in detail. Yeah. Yeah. So whether you're, um, you know, you've been sewing for a while or not, there's lots of things in here that you will learn. It's a real learning journey as yes, well. Yes, it is. Yeah. You, it's the, the idea is that you develop your skills. And I've written it. I, I'm quite surprised that Landau, I didn't sort of take, sort of try and mute my style because mm. I do tend to say things like, 
you know, in, in the book, like we've got oodles of fabric here, don't worry, mm. stick with me, because I didn't want it to be a dry book. I wanted people to feel that when they were sat in their sewing room, I was with them. Yeah, well, that's you know? fantastic. Well, because you're a teacher. Yeah, exactly. You're a teacher, you're an expert, you know, you've got a beautiful sense of colour and design and you need to be with them. Yeah, I, I, I wanted that feeling to come across. Right. Um, I mean, and they're beautifully laid out as well. So if once we move in, we'll move into the first project. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So they're beautifully laid out. What's lovely, I, I quite like the fact that you've got top tips here and there as yes. well. That's really nice, isn't it? And um, photographs, full step-by-step -step photographs yeah, as well. Yeah, step-by-step photographs taken by me. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, so we know they're right. <laughs> We know they're right. As I went along, yeah. Um, now then we move into the project, the basket weave cushion or mini quilt. Yes. So this is very much Sally Ann's signature style, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think the whole book is very <laughs> yeah. much, you, you can see it. Yeah, that's Sally Ann And that's Sally great, but that's why, that's why we're all going to buy the book. Because <laughs> it's your book and it's your signature style, isn't it? And in this, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. We've got all the projects around. I, I must admit, I, it, it sort of stems from the fact that when I was a kid, my dad's an engineer and I actually mm. dedicated the book to him. Um, and my dad did lots of craft stuff with me. He's obviously he was a mechanical engineer, yes. but you know, we would sort of play with paper and silver foil and, and mm. eventually for me it became fabric. And so it's, it's like engineering with fabric is taking a piece right, of fabric okay. and manipulating it and seeing how far I can take it, you know, what different ways I could put a sort of quirky touch to it. Lovely, and oh, we've got a message. Morning, Becky and Sally Ann. I love all of Sally Ann's designs. So I just had to buy the book from oh, Fiona. Thank you, Fiona. Thank you. You have so many fans of you in your techniques. <laughs> You do, and your style, you know, is very distinct. You it know is, it's yours. Yeah. Even if I, if I, you hadn't had your name on the book, I would have known it was yours. And it's beautiful. I love your choice of colours, and then you know your love of liberty. Yeah. Because it's oh, just, that comes. Yeah. That really I am comes a massive across. Liberty but fan. it works. You, it works beautifully, doesn't it? When you pair it with this. Well done for everyone who's got their books. Hundreds have gone, she's going to be in. I, t I said to her this morning, you're going to be in tomorrow. You're still signing those. Got a big stack out there for her to sign. Um, they are being exclusively launched here. So as you can see, because uh, I want to get through all the projects, every um, page has got step-by-step -step photos, very, very clear instructions. Because remember, Sally's a teacher. And if you're a teacher, yeah. that's how you do it. So that one in that project in particular, you're looking at um, a weave, so it's weaving and a little bit of quilt and go. And obviously there's the piping instructions is in there as well to make Oh, do you cushion. want to just grab the cushion? Because it'd be quite nice to, yeah. quite nice to see it in real life. That's what I always like when we have um, guests in to do book launches. We get to see it in real. Let me hold it up for you. Let me get, get it the right way. Look at that. It is timeless. It's beautiful. But it's can you gorgeous. see what I mean about sort of fabric engineering? There's yes, a little bit is, of texture yeah. to it. So it's not just woven. It's cinched and woven to sort of yeah. give it that, that feel. Oh, it does. It's yeah. very tactile, isn't yeah. it? But that's beautiful. I mean, and also when you look at this, sixteen ninety nine for this book, you're getting ten projects. Yeah. Wow, twenty techniques, ten projects for just sixteen ninety nine. And when you think what you would pay for one set of instructions, this is amazing. And it also means that you can start using up all your scraps and learn. This can be part of your learning journey. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. You know, for for people, you know, wanting to sort of ramp up their skill level there's lots of different skills in this book to sort of help you do that that you can develop and work right out. and then you see once you've made this because you could also make this into a mini quilt you say yes so learn the technique and then make it something I mean, it's beautiful isn't it beautiful worth it just for that one right let's have a look the rest through the rest of it um gorgeous little bucket bag yes no oh, i've seen that one i've seen that one where is it oh i'll get that in a minute here you hold the book okay i'll hold you the hold book. the book and i'll get the project yes so this is sort of <laughs> So initially, I started playing around with the, the um, pleated cushion. Look, there it is. It's lovely to see it in the real, isn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous. So what would you keep in your little, but what would you keep in yours? <laughs> I don't know what I'd keep in. Oh, I might keep hair scrunchies and, oh, and yeah. that sort of thing, yeah? That would be that nice, would, That would it? be good. I bet you could keep your fabric in it, keep jewellery. I mean, it's, it's it is a very special project, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is, yeah. It is like a, a true gift from the heart, isn't it? If somebody made that for you, you'd... Oh, that. absolutely. Yeah. But it could be kept, keep all your special memories in, your jewellery. I mean, it is a beautiful gift as well, isn't it? Yeah. 
Love yeah. that. Oh, another message. Good morning. Sally Ann is an amazing designer and wonderful teacher. I'm looking forward to receiving my book from Sandy in Windy Cornwall. Thank you so much. Thank you, well, Sandy. she's, I mean, Sandy, she is an amazing designer and teacher. She's also an award winner as well. <laughs> awards. Tell us about your awards. So, yeah, I've, I've won some awards. I haven't. So, when I lived in North Carolina, I did exhibit and I won some awards, mm -hmm. awards when I lived in North Carolina. Um, and then I also won some, I know there's a massive gap then. Um, I won a few awards from the West Country Quilt Show. Um, but this year in particular, I, I went back to actually exhibiting and I won five awards at the Malvern Quilt Show. Mm. And wow. I got the second place in the pictorial quilts category at Festival of Quilts. Fantastic. Year. Well done. Yeah. So, you know, you are have this is Sally Ann's years of expertise. So you're getting all of that teaching knowledge, but it's not just that. It is a beautiful project book to inspire you. Yes. So there's the, the pleated bucket bag. I mean, they are heirloom projects. Yes. Because, yeah. you know, making Sally Ann's projects, I mean, the, the finished projects are beautiful, but a lot of the focus is about enjoying the journey. Yes, it? exactly, yeah. It's not, I mean, the, the finished projects, obviously, they are a joy to have, but it's... But it is quite nice that you can enjoy the journey. And also, the scraps can be your very special fabrics. Yes, exactly. And that's one of the things I particularly like, mm. um, that people have written to me over the years and said that I used, you know, Grandpa's ties after you, he'd gone and oh, that sort of thing. That they'd used really treasured pieces. And for me, I mean, I expect most people at home are like fabric collectors. So mm. I tend to collect them when I go on holiday, different fabrics. Yes, yeah. And then bring them home and put them into, you know, pieces like this. And it's like, yeah, I bought that. You know, yes, yes. I bought that. So if you, you know, made something like this, you know, that you've just got this little peep of very special liberties, but this is where you can showcase yeah. your special scraps. Yeah, I sometimes say that people take photographs on holiday, but I actually buy little scraps of fabric, fabric. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that I bring home and I feature it in something. I think, yeah, that was that. Yeah, holiday. that was that, was yeah, that one. That's lovely. Or as a memory item as yeah. well. Um, but, you know, everything is very, very clear. You can see from the book, it's all, it's all very clear with photos, you know, look at for this one project, look at all the instructions because you haven't missed a detail. No. It's all in there. No. Oh, it's, it's a stunning book. <gasps> Summer Cushion, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Where is that Where? one? I can't. Oh, there we are. There we go. Okay, we're going to get overloaded here. I know. Well, <laughs> I'll, start put, I'll start moving them in a minute. So tell me about this one because this is like a little snapshot of fabrics, isn't it? With little windows. Yes. So... This, the, the whole concept for this started off, um, you can actually see, I have saw on Google, you know, like Tudor sleeves? Yes, yes, yes. Well, um, oh, they have the little opening. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So this is very much like that. And I started off by making a needle case, which was featured mm. on, on here, the Liberty Chain needle case. Um, and that was small little windows. Um, and then I wondered what it would look like if I made the windows bigger, which is what I've done on here, and slid them sort of against each other so they're offset. Yes, I see what you mean. So it's the same technique, but just used in a slightly different way to make the windows bigger and to offset it completely. Mm. Um, and behind each window, there is a separate piece of fabric. Wow. So this could be an amazing showcase. It yeah. could be like, like you say, like a memory of yeah. somebody's clothes or fabrics that you exactly, love. Exactly, yeah. Because every window is different. Yeah. Yeah. It is beautiful and it is all about enjoying the process. It's not about super fast stitching. It's not about getting it done, is it? No. It's enjoy it's the in, process. Yeah. Because I think also when you enjoy the process, when you've put the time in, the finished project means so much more to you. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't exactly. it? And also, I mean, you can just use this as inspiration. You know, you don't have to make the projects as they are in the book, you know, mm. put your twist on them. So something like for this one, if you're sort of put off by the fact that you're gonna piece it back or piece, you know, the, the, the feature windows, mm. you could use an ombre fabric instead and it would, just imagine what an ombre fabric yeah, would look amazing, like with it? perhaps a black overlay, it would look absolutely Oh, beautiful. I know, and I know what, what all our viewers are like, they're so creative. You they will are. come up with loads and loads, of, you'll get the book and this is just the start of some amazing inspiration. But I just think for 16.99, you know, you getting all of this, yeah. it's just fantastic, beautiful, love that cushion. Um, and again, you know, as I said, look, all of the, everything is explained. There's nothing left out. 
it really explains no. everything you and need. And I go into quite a, a lot of detail about making the piping because I do think the piping gives the projects a yeah, really no, sort you're of, right, uh, you you know, a nice finish, here. professional finish on them. And getting piping just right, sometimes people struggle with, so there's a lot of... Oh, that's brilliant that. because it is those little finishes, yes. isn't it? Yeah. And that is, and I mean, well, when you see it, it's absolutely beautiful. The, the corners on here are so perfect, neat. But you'll be able to do that because you've got the book. Look, you see this, this, you know, you know, with some books, you get maybe sort of 20, 30 projects, yeah. but then you only get a couple of pages, don't you? Yeah, so you can, you can see there that you've got a whole two sides yes. on just putting in the piping and getting it just peachy. And I think that's really <laughs> important as well, because these are skills and techniques that you will take on for other, to other projects yeah, exactly. as well. So once you've learned it, you, you know, from here mm. and got it right, then you can use it over and over again. And I think having 10 projects in a book is amazing. I mean, that's £1.69 a project. That is amazing value. But I think it's worth keeping it to 10 yeah. so that you can really explain it. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than just if you if you've got more projects you yeah. can put that. And that I know that's important to you yeah. anyway. Yeah, it definitely is important. I think a lot of people when they write books, you, you partly write it for yourself. It's got you've got to be happy with it. Yeah, exactly. And I I am a I'm not a typist, so it is painful. For me. <laughs> I'm not. I am like a two finger mm. typist. Um, but for me, I sort of so I sit down to write a pattern. So I thought as I go, as I make the actual item, I take the photographs. Right. And then I get the photograph stream up on my computer and so I can see all the steps and then I sort of type it and I'm like a one, two, three yeah, yeah. typist. And it generally takes me, I, I make myself do it, I sit down at eight o'clock in the morning and I might move from the computer at six and I've done it. And right. I, and I've done it as I would want people. Yes, you know, cause yes. Because I, I feel like, like I said, I, I want people mm. to feel reassured and I want people to feel like, yes, I can do this. Well, but you so, you know, <laughs> you know what people need yeah. to do as well, don't you? And I think, like you say, is if you make it and then you write the instructions, you know straight away, yeah. oh, that's how I did it. If you come back to it months later. Exactly. No idea. Yeah. So we're still going, still going. Yeah, and that's I like this in little lap technique, how to put in a lap zip. Let yeah. me show you what you mean so isn't this beautiful so you know I know a lot of people struggle with where do we put the zip in a cushion does it go on the edge do we do that but look at the detail in this so you've got that beautiful piece of liberty part like that and then you've got the zip hidden underneath it was an excuse to get some more liberty it was. In there. but the zip <laughs> the zip closure that is a feature yeah yeah it's not hidden mm -hmm. it's not pretending it's not there but why not use that I mean I love that and we've got Two pages about how to do, but your forte is attention to detail anyway, isn't it? Yeah, I, I like to I get down so. to the detail, yeah. I, I love this, because now we're moving on to cork. Yeah. So is this a new um, fabric for you? I, ha I haven't done a lot of things in cork. I've done sort of two or three things with right. cork. Right. Um, but what do you love about cork? So then? what I love about Look. cork is that it doesn't fray. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fray, so it's really easy to work with. I, it looks beautiful, team, with this blue. Yes, isn't it? Yeah, and also because cork has got a bit more structure than fabric, mm. it holds this a particular design well. Oh, okay. so I mean, it's supporting it's supporting the tana, you know, yes. quite well. If I put two 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 lawns in there, it wouldn't actually. Hold it right, quite so as the firm. Support of yeah, them. yeah. So the cork has got like a because it's got more body. To and it. you've done all the trial and error of that for them. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I love about it? If you look at this um, zip, this case, the pouch, um, it's the little details. Yeah, you see this little detail on the end. You know, we've got the tabs on the end of the zips, and it's for me. That's really important because when you make a pouch, if you have the zip going in, it always looks yeah. a bit clunky, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It? it just gives it a really nice finish. And that gives it, but using that fabric and also not making it too narrow, but having a nice wide one, it becomes a feature, yeah. doesn't it? But it's also the technique of how to do this is something you can then use in every zip purse and pouch you make from exactly. now on. Exactly, from now on. Because otherwise you do get the zip sort of disappearing. It's, I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? I would, I would buy the book for this one alone. I bet it's lined nicely as well. It's going to have a lovely look. Of course it is. Of course it is. Look at that. Yeah, it's lined with liberty. Of course it is. <laughs> Beautiful. I know, but I think that is lovely, isn't it? And none of these projects really require loads of fabric, do they? No, no, they don't. So it really it, is. Yes. Yeah. So it's, it's not a big outlay on fabric. It really is using up the pieces that you've got, the treasured pieces. So you, everyone's got those pieces, oh, don't they? That yes. You, you think, oh, no, can't you know, ever you, use you, that. Yeah, exactly. I look at it and you think, no, I can't use you that. You can't use no. none of them. 
of there. But some, I'm hoping mm. that you look at my book and think, actually, I really like that project so much that I'm going to bring that one out and I'm yes. going to I'm going to feature it. That's true. And you know, and with these with projects like this, you can think, well, I'm maybe I haven't, I haven't got cork, but I've got a bit of canvas, or you can use that. Um, so anyone who's just joining us, don't forget this. If this is the world launch of Sally Ann's first of many books. <laughs> you keep yeah. saying that. I know because then that's going to encourage us to write some more because we want more now. We'll pick up some ideas. <laughs> It, the book is an amazing price, $16.99. You're getting 10 projects, 20 plus techniques, and you can only buy it from Sewing Street for the next couple of months. Other websites have got it, but pre-order. If you want to get it straight away, we have been given the world exclusive today. Yeah. Which is exciting. Yeah. Not only that, they will all be signed by Sally Ann. She'll be here all day and night but they will all be signed by her. Um, and this is the only place you can buy it. But you know, this is, that's, well, it's really nice that you've come to us to do that. Well, I wouldn't be here without you guys. <laughs> I, I wouldn't. Well, you supported me over the years. Yeah, it's been fantastic, the relationship. You know. Well, it has. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess, yes, it's lovely yeah. that we've been able to work with you, but then it's very special to us that you've brought your book yeah. onto Sony Street. Yeah, it makes me feel emotional. Oh, it is very special. <laughs> Right, let me just say, when everyone's checked out, we are down to fewer than 100. We're okay at the moment, but there's loads and loads of you who want the book. And obviously the problem is, is that, is that a lot of people tune in sort of between eight and nine or later and they'll go, they'll go. We only have what we've been sent by the publishers. And, and it was hundreds we did, but you know, because Sally Ann's very important to us, we wanted to support you with this, and we bought loads. <laughs> you did. I was but, shocked when I heard how many you bought. Yes. Well, we are down to fewer than 100. So if you want your book, you check out. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait another couple of weeks and get it somewhere else. You know, who wants to do that? <laughs> because I'm thinking as well, some of these projects are bigger, some of them are little, you know, something like this pouch. You think, oh, do you know what? I'm going to make that just over that Christmas period yeah. when I've got a few oh, days. Oh, I always have a downtime over Christmas, yeah. don't you? Yes, it's just like, always. I, I always plan as mm. us to sneak in a two or three day sewing experience. Yeah, and then you just have a special little project yeah, exactly. to spend time on. Not just any, just so no, We could be do. twins. We could, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And I think I'm, this might be the one because I've actually got a bit of cork. Oh, there you go. It's a roll of cork at home. <laughs> and I've I've still got a piece of fabric I bought about 30 years ago, can't bear to cut oh, off. Ridiculous. Okay. Flannel. There is a queue on the phone line again, please bear with us, but they do know. But we do we do always get extra people on, so just bear with us. Um from Denise in Cornwall. Morning Sally Ann, I've oh, just hi, ordered please. my book and I can't wait for it to arrive. Fantastic. They are beautiful. This is my favourite so far. I don't know, I think it's the cork and the blue. I think the two together. The rope baskets are absolutely gorgeous. Um, really, really clever idea for using up Ooh, scraps. Oh, we're meant to be covering up the thing, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. So there is, I've got to put, I'm going to um, put my hand over there because there is a full video tutorial for making a rope basket, but there's a QR code to take, which I'm putting my hand over, because only people who've bought the book can have that QR, QR code. code. Yes, and, and watch the video. Um, look at, shall I show you the rope basket? Have oh, we got images as well? I mean, this is beautiful, isn't it? Yes. So oh, these are some of the others as yes, well. Yes, so in the video, I actually talk about these other ones that I've made. So I, I must admit, it is totally addictive. They, they do come <laughs> yeah. with a health warning, seriously. It is really? so, so addictive. And it's so mindful, you know, putting the colours in, wrapping mm. them in, spinning the bowl. It's like, what's it, the... What's the, the pottery? It's like the great oh, pottery. creating the great pottery you throw should, down. Yeah, yeah. The great rope basket throw, throw down. down. Exactly. Well, it is beautiful. And, you know, and well, obviously it's lovely to have yourself, but what a lovely thing to put a gift in. Yeah. You know, if you yeah. gave that to somebody with something in, I mean, it is stunning, isn't it? Yeah. I really, and I, it, they're so lovely to make as well. You could make one definitely. Uh, like a Christmas one, you can oh, theme. Yes. Oh, I know, yeah. and it is scraps. Sally, I'm going to show us a little demo in a minute, but it really is scraps of fabric, isn't it? Is, it is, yeah. I mean, isn't that beautiful? It's so neat, so neat. I like the little tab on the side. Yeah, it's, it's, a, good, it's a good way of finishing it off. Well, it looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like a little, but that, isn't that gorgeous? I mean, obviously, this one's in Liberty, but you can see, can't you, that it could be in any fabrics. And full video tutorial, so that you can really get to grips with it. And loads and loads of walkthrough photos as well. Yeah. 
loads and loads showing you. I mean, what I like as well is Sally Ann's taken photos on her machine so you can see what it really looks like. Oh, I've just been looking forward to this book launch for months and I love it. Wow, it's fabulous. My Christmas present to myself from Sue in Staffordshire. Oh, thank you, Sue. Sue, that is a brilliant Christmas present to yourself. We've got loads of messages, Sally Ann. What a treat. I can't wait for my book to arrive. I went straight through, so I've secured mine. Well, well done, collector in Bristol, because Ooh. we are getting low in stock now. This book looks amazing. Worth it for the couple of projects alone. Well done, Sally. I got mine from Collecting Most Ads. That's what I mean. $16.99. Now, stock warning, there are more people who've got the book in their basket than we've actually got. Now, obviously, not everybody checks out. People put it in their basket and, you know, people change their mind. But if you've got it in your basket and you want it, we're 40 minutes into the show. If you want the book, you need to get it checked out because we've only got a certain amount of stock from the publisher and that's it. We might be able to get it back later. Certainly not today. <laughs> not today. Yes. I mean, we have asked whether we'll be able to get any more because um, we did buy hundreds and hundreds. Because we wanted, didn't want anyone to disappoint you, you know, because Sally Ann's part of our Sewing Street family. We didn't want to disappoint you, but there are more people who've got it in baskets. Uh, another message. This book is stunning from Sandy and Cornwall. Yes, it is. Sally Ann's attention to detail is going to be amazing. Whether you're just starting out or advance her, congratulations. Oh, well, that's lovely. That's lovely, isn't it? Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, that's really sweet. Yeah. It is, and it is the intention to detail. And I think having the photo actually under your machine, you, th you can hold the book and go, oh, or, <laughs> yeah, exactly. or you can go, mine doesn't look like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's really important, it isn't is. it? It is, it is. I was doing some crochet <laughs> last night and I was thinking, and then I got the photo and I went, mine looks nothing like that <laughs> which is quite good isn't it yeah it is yeah because you know you've gone wrong and you know you don't want to go any further no like, you think okay. mine really i mean because you don't want to see the picture at the end and go well why didn't it turn out you want to see that picture yeah. so so much detail the oh, other thing fun. that i would say about mm. the book as well is because i've got like a facebook community support group okay so if people buy the book today mm. then yeah get in touch with me and you can join the, the community as oh, well that would be really yeah, nice so you can share your what you make from my yes. book in that community and, and are the details of that in the book how do they join that so they'd have to go to go to my website right which is sallyanquilt.com okay and, and then they can join your community there. yeah and you can share your makes yeah just say that you bought the book from here and and that you want to join the group right there are fewer than 20 books left and over 100 in basket um hannah is talking to the buying team are they in <laughs> Oh, chat. She's on chat. Um, <laughs> it's very early. It's not early for us, early for them. But anyway, she's chatting to the moment. Obviously, we need to wait for the publishers to open. So we will take, we'll have to take the code out. But that's fine, because we could do some demo then. <laughs> um, but when they've sold, then we are going to find out. We didn't think we would need any more, because we honestly bought hundreds. But we will find out. So there are 20 left. If you are one of if you are one of the over hundreds who've got it in your basket, please do check out. We've only got halfway through the book. It's only four left now. And right, we'll carry on, Hannah. You get on the phone. <laughs> Um, but we'll carry on. Yeah, we'll just carry on. We'll just carry on. Chit chatting. Well, we go home now. <laughs> um, I love this one, and I what I like about this one is the calico. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I presume it's calico. Yeah, or is yeah. It it's neutral no, fabric. I, it looks like calico. I think. I think I did one that. That's the one over there. That's probably Essex linen. Right. Oh, I okay. Have so done it with calico. But yeah, I'm sure I've... There's a Sewing Street one with calico. I thought yeah. I'd seen it. So this and it one does work linen. well with calico. Let me put it flat shot. Um, if you want calico, because it's calico works with a lot of your Yes, projects, it does. Yeah, it? it works well. Um, we've got it there, half a metre. This is lovely calico as well, because this is the... Um, it is. I've used it. It's, it's, it's good quality. This is the one, isn't it? It's a good quality calico. That, yeah. So it's that lovely, would work. I mean, look, at, you could hardly tell the difference, could you? But it would work with lots of the projects, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah. So it's And also, it's wide. I think it's 150 centimetres, wow. and it's only 2 99 So it's well worth getting the calico, because that does go with a lot yeah. of your projects. This is beautiful. I don't know how you do it. It's tw twisted. It's just twisted pleats, um, yeah. So, again, I started out, I made a pouch. Have you actually got a different liberty in each triangle to pleat? I'm so. <laughs> 
This doesn't embarrass it's me. me. <laughs> so, yes, and was that just, just a small part of your collection? <laughs> well, well, I'm not going there. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going because Sally Ann has actually got, look, look at this, right? She's actually got a different liberty in every one. <laughs> that is beautiful. And you just, you see, so this can be very inexpensive as these makes as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Which is quite I mean, nice. if you made that in calico and you could just, if you wanted to get something like this, you could just get like a scrap bag on eBay or, oh, yeah, that's use, true. you know? Yes. Or yeah. use your stash. Yeah. yeah. But when you think, you know, the, the background fabric, there's, what is the feature of the little pieces of fabric that you're using within it? So it doesn't even need to be an expensive thing either. No, no, it doesn't. Not or it can just be an excuse to buy more things, to be yeah. honest. So that's the rainbow pleat cushion. Um, your flower quilt. Now we can see that because that's behind me. So yes. tell me about this one then. So um, I have... A, a Liberty fabric named after me, which is called Sally Ann, and this is oh. this is the print. How did you get a Liberty fabric named well, after you? Well, I'd like you? to say that they hunted me down, but they, they hunted didn't. you down. So they say. did. <laughs> <laughs> Just say yeah, yeah. They, they said Sally Ann. It was part of a charity thing. Um, they do like a charity push every year, and I donated to the charity. And uh, do you get a say in what the fabric is? Uh, yeah, you do. In a oh, bit. fantastic. <laughs> Well, yeah, because it might be one you don't like. I mean, which would be hard with you. Yeah, you, you get to pick. So you have right, like okay. a little interview with them and they show you different ones and you think which one, you know, and what do you want to call it? Wow. And which one do you want to pick? And is and it still pick. available to buy? Yes. Yeah, it's still available to buy. Fantastic. Yeah. This is really clever, isn't it? I like it. Is it, what's the tech? Is it, is it a technique? So this specific? is, yeah, so I think, I'm not quite sure whether I did all of them the same. So in the book, there's two ways of doing this. You can either do it by applique or mm. curved piecing. Right, okay. okay. Um, just to explain with the graphics, I know it looks a bit odd that we're selling the book and that we haven't got the book graphics up, but that's because we sold out. But Hannah is trying to get hold of Barry Dubai. And we're trying to get some more. We don't know whether we will, but we, as soon as we find out one way or the other, we will let you know, which is why we've got Calico in the graphics and we're talking about the book. Yes. Calico works with lots of them. So this is a beautiful technique. Yes, and again, it only features, a, I mean, I know that Liberty is an expensive fabric, but only fe oh, features yeah. a very small yeah. amount yes. of, yeah. of the Liberty fabric. And yes, and I said in the book, you can either um, do some curved piecing Teach yourself mm. curved piecing, or you can go for the, uh, an applique, you know, curved applique. Yeah, which applique is fantastic, approach, isn't Which it? will give you the same image overall, but it depends, you know, which skill you want to develop. I mean, you might hate curved piecing and love applique, so. Oh, okay, so you yeah. can do both, and, and both, it explains. Both of them are in the book. So when in the book it says, like, new techniques to discover, so for each one, yeah. you know what you're going to discover for it. Yeah. Um, a few little templates. That you'll need if you if you're going to do yeah. the applique. Um, then the Japanese origami cushion. This one is really unusual. Yeah. So what what was your inspiration behind this one? Let me show you it full on. There so, we go. Isn't that gorgeous? What is this wool? Yeah. So that is uh, is wool felt or oh, felted yes. wool. Um, and again, so that's something that doesn't fray. Mm, so always handy. You see what I mean? So what I'm doing is I'm manipulating fabrics specifically a lot of them that don't fray deliberately right, so that okay. I can manipulate them because like the, this is just sort of pulled back mm. um, and revealed but basically this is a reverse applique technique okay um, so you're learning that but in a small space yes without having to make a whole quilt yeah so that's quite nice isn't it yep so yeah so I, I really enjoyed doing that and sort of like pulling it back and, mm. and stitching it down and I know that the editor of my book, um, she's also a, um, an editor on a magazine, and she's made a version of this in a pin cushion. Oh, wow. Yeah, as a little pin oh, cushion. Oh, just as so taken the same technique, yeah, exactly. but used it really small. And at the it's moment at home, I've got, um, I'm using the same technique, and I'm making a little cork bag, because I'm using cork oh, in okay. the same way. But I'm, it's a little black cork bag, oh, so and it uses it the, exactly the same oh, idea. So okay. yeah, you, you could make it as big or as little. Right, and you yeah. could use cork or yeah. so, something that doesn't, doesn't fray. fray. Yeah. Okay, that's gorgeous, isn't it? And very different to your other projects. Yes. It's very monochrome, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, gorgeous. yeah. Gorgeous. That's just another one. I just did one. Right. So that shows you how to cut it out and how to peel, peel it back to reveal the reverse applique. 
So that every single part of the technique is covered. And then there's putting the zip in the back. Oh yes, of course, yes. Because yeah. the zip, look, features right across the back as a feature to yeah. the zip. And also it's got like a little, I don't know what you call, would call these like a little stub end that stops it. Oh, the little tabs. Yeah, that fin stops it finishing. But that's a feature though, isn't it? Yeah, that's a feature as well. Right. So we've only got, we're still working on getting more books. We will let you know. And this is the, the final one, the heartstrings pouch. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, there it is. You've got it. I love this because another, another material, we've got PVC now. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm willing to work with Elmer's Day. Yeah, have a go with anything <laughs> that doesn't that, fray. Oh, anything that doesn't fray. Oh, I'm sure we can think of other things. Um, this is lovely, beautiful, because so you can use this to keep a project in or yep. something you want to see. Oh, a little wash bag, couldn't you? Yeah, you could do. Put items in. But the little hearts are then... Applicate on. It on. Is, and you've hand-stitched these? No, no, I, I did them on the machine. Oh, did you? Well, that's a machine blanket stitch. Gosh. Yeah. That's beautiful. Really, I, really I was like totally that. intrigued. I went through a phase when I was totally intrigued by PVC. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, Sally was totally intrigued by PVC. Yes. But luckily she loved Liberty. <laughs> so it pulled her back. I, I couldn't. Yeah, I was sort of wowed by the fact that it was so easy to manipulate under the mm. machine and to applique on top of. And the idea that you could sort of partially peek through. Yes, yeah, that that's sort really of won nice, me over and thought, I've got to try. And again, you're learning a technique so here. So say if you just thought, well, I love that idea of that. You could then create this yeah. purse using that. And you'd have like a sort of slightly Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gone already. You can your next see my one. Eyes. I'm looking like yeah, because they're quite cool bag. You know, when you get like little shoulder bags or crossbody bags that are see through but not. Mm, quite cool there. I am really. Yeah, that's mm. a good idea. Yeah. You can have that one. Do you want to come in and sort of live? Yeah. <laughs> or so? Yeah. I'll just go. Well, I just bounce off each. Yeah, I'll just throw you some ideas and then walk away <laughs> and say, right now you can get on with it because yeah. I don't want to. <laughs> um, all the techniques. Yeah, and there's a template. Beautiful. We will update you if we get any more. So that's the, that's the whole book, and we will update you if we get any more. So should we... Oh, right, we're going to do the little rope bowl, but we've okay. also put together from Liberty Bundle. So for all of you who have already... Shall I move over? I'll just move on to this desk while Sally Ann gets ready, because okay. she's going to show us how to do the rope bowl. Well, part of it, anyway. Um, so we've put together some, some little Liberty... Um, step bundles for you they're not based at any specific project um they were just you know because obviously all the different projects use different amounts but they'll just supplement it and then they'll be really useful to use so in it you've got it's the osnaberg isn't it oh, i haven't seen the osnaberg for ages it's a natural seeded beautiful cotton fabric it's called osnaberg and what it is it's, it's slightly heavier than your normal quilting weight cotton and it's got more drape than a calico it's a beautiful fabric osnaberg and then we've got the liberty in it so we've got one two three, four, in pinks. So you're making a saving of two pounds. So we've we've got this two and a half metres here. So you've got half a metre of each of these. So this is the pinks bundle. Isn't that pretty? And if you've never worked with Osnaberg before, you'll love it. It's just, a lot of people use it for embroidery because it's slightly weightier, but it's perfect for these projects because it just gives it more of a substance. So if you've bought the book, 34.95, this will get you started, won't it? Amazing. Right, the next one, I'm going to go green. So again, you get half a metre of the Osnaberg, which is natural seeded. And you've got green oh, and green. I like this one. This is like a beautiful, it's like a lime citrine colour, isn't it? So those are your greens. Depends what colour palette you like. Which is your favourite, Sally? I like the pinks, but I'm a bit love this the pink. one. That green is amazing, yeah. isn't it? Pink and green together would look great. Oh, that's true. Goodbye, both of them. Save two pounds <laughs> as well. Right, that's that one. Um, oh, I'll, tell, I'll take the other one. I'm going to take the uh, the natural seeded Osnaberg, and then we've got. <laughs> oh, it's just the natural seeded. Oh, that that one is okay. That's white, because that's very important. Just plain white. Right, we're just checking what's in that one. 
Okay, we'll just check that one. Um, then you get that tiny little rosebud print, a larger floral print, and then you've got um, two of the Wiltshire shadows. Yeah, that one's not in that one. That confusing. So this is just plain white, and then you get the four liberties with it, 34.95. Okay, the next one, again, we start off with the plain white, because different colour fabrics need different backgrounds. You've got that beautiful pale blue, navy blue. So these are your Liberty Wiltshire shadows. And then you've got that lovely stripe and a little floral print. So if you love blues, you think of the, some of the projects in the book would look amazing in that, wouldn't it? I think, um, mm. how nice would that look? Yeah, it would look really nice. In fresh, the blues, look really sweet, so fresh. fresh and clean, aren't yeah. they? These are gorgeous. This is going to give you more inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got white again with this bundle and then we've got like almost like a denim blue um print beautiful bluey gray hang on this one's only got four there's one missing from that one Oh, we'll have to have a look at that one because there is... Oh, well, we've got a picture of it. Ah, okay. That's no... That's that's the one. There we go. Is it that one? Anyway, look, there's a picture. I, I've obviously missed one in my little bundle, but there is the picture of what you will actually get in this bundle. So it's blues again, but just more grey blues this time. Right, we're, we're just going to give you a couple of fabrics that feature in the book. Because I know loads of you have bought the book, and obviously Sally Ann does use very specific fabrics that she loves. But if you haven't got any, but you want to use some of your stash to mix with it, we've got the clear glass PVC. It's actually one of Sally Ann's favourites. We've got it by the half metre, £2.99. Um, if you buy more than half metre, it will come multiple. But obviously, that's more than enough to, if you wanted yeah. to make the little pouch. Or if you wanted to make the cork pouch, you could make it with that half metre would be more than enough. But I know because we, um, Sally Ann uses some very specific materials yeah. and others just stash. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's 130 centimetres wide. Actually, it's amazing value. Two yeah, it's 130 centimetres, which is about 52 inches. That's the width of it. It's really good for 2.99. to be fair. And everyone who's checked on that as multi ball, it is really good. It is. It's a really good quality one as well. And it's nice for sewing. Yeah. Okay. Now, the only we'd wanted to give you some cork as well. The only cork we have is got the silver and gold threads through them. Well, not threads, but it's a slight little print. Have you seen those? Yeah, I have. They're it's almost like a little crackle. Yes, effect. I don't know how they What's do it? that. Yeah. It's very subtle. It's not like glitzy. No, no, it's not. It's understated. Like cool. So there's the cork vinyl with the silver sparkle. But again, you could use that. So for the cork projects, you know, the, a lot of Sally Ann's projects are using fabrics that don't fray, that, that create that pleated effect. This would be ideal. So that's the spark, the silver sparkle. Um, it's not like glitzy, glitzy. It's more like a crackle. Um, 949 for half a metre. And we've got it also in gold actually the picture almost looks the same but it's just a very subtle little sparkle it's more like when you move it you can see it sparkling rather than being super glitzy um half a meter nine pound 49 so if you want them you can get hold of them right shall we do our yes so in the book there's um obviously one of the projects is the rope basket yes um and there's space. a video that you can use the QR code to access the video and in the video and also in the text I show you how to start and to finish a rope basket and I probably and I make elements of the rope basket as I go in the video. Right so what's about rope what do we need? So this is a 5.5 millimeter rope cotton rope okay so um, any rope with a coating is not going to work. Right okay, okay. So, so this is just that, a sock because it's just too much for the machine to, to okay. cope with. So where do you buy this from? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is it like um, DIY store? Um, yeah, you might be able to get it in a DIY store. I used to get it um, through the Long River for a long time mm. and then it got out of stock. 
um, but I know that a lady wrote to me recently in the club and she told me that she'd found a new supplier. So if anybody is struggling okay. to get some, please message me and I will look up what the lady said about right. the supplies of cotton rope. So it needs to be a five mil diameter cotton, cotton rope. rope. Yeah. I mean, and could you use thicker or thinner? Um, no, I wouldn't go any... Well, you could go a bit thicker, but it all depends on your sewing machine and the clearance that you've got. Yes, So okay. I would say, and I do point this out in the book, that um, sewing a rope basket depends on the clearance on your sewing machine. And the only sewing machine that I've come across so far that won't take a rope basket is a Janome Gen. OK. OK. Can you use piping cord? Or is it too yeah, it might be a bit too floppy. Too floppy. Mm. So you need this kind of cotton core cord. I've done them before using sashing cord. You know the, you? the cord you buy for, you know, the windows, sash windows. Yeah, but that's got a coating I on. know, but it was, yeah, obviously didn't. It still works. Oh, you obviously made it work. I, you're right, I don't know how. to make anything. It with wasn't it. that coated, to be fair. OK. It was more like this. Yeah. Uh, this is years ago. Yeah. So I have no idea where I got it from. Yeah. But it was, you know, like the windows that have sashing. Yeah, yeah. And it had got a bit of a coating on it. It probably wasn't, yeah, it probably wasn't quite as nice as yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Right, okay. So, so, so yes, yeah, so um, I'll show you how to start off and I'll show you how to finish. So I was going to just show you just a little bit of what it looks like in the middle. Uh, it's sort of the middle step. So this is creating the base and then you will build it upwards. Okay. And at the moment I'm just wrapping. So it's, it's quite fascinating. Well, I think it's fascinating to watch. I told you it's, it was quite meditative. So I've got like a wide zigzag going on. So do you wrap it all in advance? No, so I, I tend to wrap against the sewing machine as I go. I sort of, I like the, the talk, you know, the feeling of the talk. Right, okay. Um, you can sit down, you know, at home and go, go and sit there with a bowl of rope and some pieces of fabric if you want to. Um, and wrap that way. Yeah, no, I quite like this. But I don't think... I told you, I do, I, years ago I did it better and I sort of made it up a bit. Yeah. So this is... I quite like the... I like the idea of you wrapping it as you go because I guess you can also see how the colours are moving. Exactly, you can see how the colours are moving, what it's looking like. Um, and I presume you have to have quite specific width, which is all in the book. Yes, it's in the book. It tells you what width um, I've tried wrapping with. Because um, I've obviously tried different widths, yeah, different yeah. fabric, different baskets, and to, to actually come out with this, which I think is the, the best. Because as the this robust. spiral gets bigger, you get more or less of the colour. So at least you can see, I think this yeah. is, yeah, so, the thought of wrapping it all anyway. So I, I just quite like the process, the, oh, the, the, the wrap followed by the sew, followed by the wrap, yeah, and, yeah. and seeing the colours sort of evolve as you go. Fabric clips are very useful for this. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you definitely need clips. It does say that in the book. So, and I presume all in the book, it explains the width of the zigzag and everything yep. and how to do it. Yes. So what I was going to do is I'm going to show, show you how... Yes, so that's how, how do you do that? That's how you begin to, to just hold it up against your sewing machine to help begin to generate uh, okay. the shape. So what do you do? You decide how big you want the base. Yes. And then... Yeah, and there's a discussion in there about different base sizes because you don't want to go too small because you can't hold it then against your machine. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. Which you've done all the trialling for. Yeah. No, I've never done... But I've only ever done map. I never got curves. <laughs> <laughs> this is one step on. So, yeah, so you just cut yourself a pile of strips. That's this amazing. Is... So just by holding it up, it starts... It starts, to, it starts to curl up. You can see just a little bit, can't you, how it's... And all I'm doing is covering the last one. So it really is wrapping. scraps, so you don't have to do anything specific. And it's raw edges as well. But what I'm amazed at is when I look at your basket, there's no fraying bits ah. at all. Ah, oh, is that another thing? <laughs> oh, okay. Hang on, yeah. You need to buy the book for that. <laughs> no, no, um, what I do... So, it depends whether you like the fray or you don't like the fray. No, so I love this. This is so neat. There's a way. So if you want to cut it on the bias, you're going to get less fray. Oh, OK. But if you've made it and you look at it and you think, and I've done this, you look at it and you think, I don't like all that fraying, then I put the beard trimmer on it. Oh, really? <laughs> shave it off. Oh, OK. <laughs> and it just takes it off. But that's so neat. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's been shaved. <laughs> I, I think you're right, though, about this cord because you get... It was ages ago and I did it, and I think I made a rug. But because this is much more flexible, not coated, you get a finer yeah. look to it, don't you? You do. And I quite, I think that's lovely. Yeah. Let's 
just keep I wonder going. what it's used for. I guess, it, is it used for piping? I don't know what people would generally use it for. Because it has like a cotton core in the centre. Yeah. And core around the edges. So in the book as well, we discuss like different needles, so machine needles for this, different threads, whether you want the thread okay. to, to show or not, whether you want it to be a coloured thread, whether you want to go clear on the thread. So I guess the thread, the thread could be a feature. Exactly, you can make the thread a feature. And also the stitch, I mean, you could change the stitch. I know a lot of people will do a rope back basket with like a triple zigzag for a oh, more... okay. Well, so then it becomes even more of a feature. Yeah, exactly. And it is a great way, or, you know, if you wanted one colour, you could just go through your stash and say, find all your blues or your pinks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or go rainbow. And then just layer them up on your, you know, mm. your worktop and just cut and just, a load at the same time. Yeah. I mean, that's what I did with your, you know, the pack that you sent me. Right, you just... Yeah, just I just layered them up five... Cut them all. Five half metres, you know, just cut But also, the edge. like you, you said right at the beginning, this is a really mindful technique because yeah. you are doing a little bit of sewing, a bit of wrapping, a bit of sewing, a bit of wrapping. I tell you, it is totally addictive. It's lovely. Uh, so many people have come back to me and said, well, we've made one after another, after another. I mean, it's, we've totally got on board with it. Um, and also, you can make them different shapes. So I've made ones before that are oblong, you know, that go up that way. Yes. I've made ones that have got a square base, a slightly square base, where I've sort of done something funny with the corners. Uh, okay. And again, that's in the video. Well, it's all in there. I guess you could make, like, a waste paper basket. You wouldn't want to put anything in it. <laughs> only, for, only for paper. So I... I just sew to here and just get it out from under the machine so you can see that it's beginning to curve upwards. So can you see I'm just rotating it with my yeah, hand? Yeah, yeah. So you've got to try and keep it. Let's just cut it so you can see the beginning. There we go. Can you see it's just beginning to I know, to go it, up. you know, that's lovely just that though, isn't it? It's a trinket tray. <laughs> it's a trinket it's tray. A, it is, yeah. That's, that's put you like... I like that. It's a really fancy coaster, actually, isn't it? <laughs> and you, you just literally keep going like that, keep rotating it. The well, same also pressure. by wrapping and sewing, you can then stop. You think, you know, I'm, that's that's enough. That's, yeah, I've got there. But that is a little trinket tray. It is beautiful. This is just one technique, and you can see from Sally Ann demonstrating it here. You know what you're learning, and you know, and, and like me, as soon as you start looking at it, you go. Well, you could, and I could, and I've got this. Yeah, you know. exactly. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much, Sally Ann. Um, we haven't heard back from the publishers yet, but as soon as we do, it's only just after nine, they'll probably just walk in, in the door, probably. won't they? They are working on it. We have spoken to them. And well done to all of you who've managed to get the book. Thank you so much um, for supporting Sally Ann. Yeah, I mean, thank you. you know, yeah, it's like. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm going to go and have a little cry. I'm just going to go and write. Well, she's <laughs> signing books. Uh, but thank you so much for supporting us. Sally Ann's been very special to us. You know, she's been with us since the beginning of this journey. And it's so lovely that you've brought the, the book yeah. to us. And you will learn loads. And I think it's just that little spark of an idea and a technique. Yeah, exactly. Um, but Hannah's just telling me, as soon as we know about the book, we will let you know. And we'll also put it onto the Facebook page as well. But we are—we have spoke. Well, Barry's spoken to the publishers. They are getting back to us. Um, but unfortunately, the next lot will be unsigned. <laughs> if I sell them, have to come back. <laughs> if I she have to go, I know. Otherwise, she like, she's got hundreds and hundreds to do. <laughs> but well done to all of you who got it. And please do join Sally Ann's Facebook page because she would love to see what you've made. Yep. Because it's so nice to see it what... Is, it's, it's wonderful. It really makes my day. But it, you you yeah. might, must find the same thing when someone says, I've made this from your... Well, and I, I like, love yes. it as well when they say, I've made it, but I've done this uh, Yeah, exactly. Even you think, better. what a great idea. Yes. <laughs> well, it's just lovely, isn't it? But anyway, thank you so much, Sarah. It's been That's lovely it. being with you this morning. Um, I hope we see you back here soon. Good. With book number two. I'm going to have quite another one. I'm going to keep spading up. Anyway, um, I'll be back with you in a couple of minutes' time uh, with fabulous Tracy, who's going to show you this amazing technique um, of sewing these the squares together and also using this little um, grid, which is really fascinating. So you're going to love that. I'll see you back here in a few minutes' time. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, 
click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together.
Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Sewing Street. Uh, congratulations to everyone who got their book and we will let you know when they're back. But this hour is all about Tracy. Hello. Morning, Tracy. Good morning. It's just your second show with us. I know. It's still butterflies. Is it? Yes. You're going to be absolutely <laughs> fine. Really excited about it. These are so different, aren't Thank they? You. They are. Just so different, unique yeah. and wonderful. I love the giraffe. Look at his yeah. little face. Has he got a name? No. Jerry. All right, we're going to call him Jerry today. <laughs> Please message in your names for the giraffe, because Tracy hasn't got one. So what I'm going to do, because we've got various kits, I'm going to go through all of the kits first so you can see what we've got, and then we'll talk to Tracy about how we do it and why. Yeah, great. Because those both things are very important. <laughs> they are, they are, <laughs> yes. I'll go through all the kits first, because then it's good, because then you can choose, because we've got a, a mixture. So I'm going to start with giraffes. So the most similar to the one that's on the wall so what you get in your kit now you get the full set of instructions okay how big is the finished quilt Tracy uh, that I think that was 42 by 60 okay so it's a wall hanging or a smaller quilt 42 by 60 so that's you get the full instructions and we will go through those in a minute um, then in the bundle you get all of this fabric so you get dark brown they're all, that's a fat eighth. Some are fat eighths. Then you get um, beiges, creams, caramel, green for the grass, and a lot of blue for the sky. So that's all the plain fabric. Now these are very simple colors in that they're plain colors, but it's the way that they're pieced together that creates, that it creates that beautiful, I don't think you, there we go. It creates like a, a masterpiece. It's beautiful. Oh. It is a beautiful piece of wall art. But I mean, that you obviously it would look really nice um, on your sofa. Lovely play mat. Yes, and in the nursery. Yes, gorgeous yeah. for that, wouldn't it? Definitely. So that's one of the kits, because I know you're going to need to decide. Now, what we tried to do was get the most similar colourways to the ones that Tracy had done. Now, also, so what, we, what Tracy's going to be demonstrating today, there is a way to make a smaller a more mini version and in the instructions so whether you buy the large quilt or the mini quilt you will get this um sh sheet with a qr link i put my hand over um to the mini giraffe quilt instructions of how to do it which is what we're going to be um we're going to be showing now in this bundle you've got enough to make the large but we have included the mini giraffe instructions link for you as well so everyone will get that, whether you've bought the large or the small, doesn't matter. Right, so that's one of the colourways. The next one, pinks. Okay, so this is the pink, pinky one. Yes, so we've got the mini pink. So uh, why did you, so let me show you, this is what it looks like in the mini. Look, look. <laughs> it's so cute. And I just love doing it in the pinks. It's so cute, yeah, isn't it? Really. Is yeah. Now, the, obviously, I'm showing you the mini version. Your bundle will have enough of these fabrics to make the size that's on the wall, the big one. But obviously, I've only got it in this little colourway. He's just so pretty. So, why did you choose these colours? I just wanted to do something a bit different, mm. uh, not just the normal browns. Um, so, I just thought pink would be nice and bright and fun, 
uh, to make. He is. It's very cartoony almost. Yeah. He isn't. But I can imagine, like, yeah. you know, like some of the sort of zoo um, cartoons. That's what he yeah. looks like, doesn't he? Or yeah. maybe he's a she. Don't know. Maybe. Absolutely beautiful. So if you so you can either make the large brown or the large pink. And what you'll get in this kit is obviously you will get the full instructions. You will get the extra sheet, which has got the information about making the mini one that we're going to show you in a moment. And then you have all of this fabric. So you've got um, the, I don't know what that colour is, burgundy. That's for the eyes. For the eyes. Yeah. So burgundy for the eyes. Then you've got mauve colours. Um, I love these because they're the mottled fabrics. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? So that looks like grass. Yes. And, and the sky. Pink. Yeah. And the sky in particular... Look, the sky fabric, two meters, really does look like sky. Now look at the price, 43.99. That's amazing, isn't it? 43.99 to make this big quilt. It's beautiful, isn't it? So that's that one. Um, and don't forget you get the extra sheet as well. And that links you to making the mini. This... It's the same colorway. Right, it's the same colorway, yeah, but the, the mini, mini bundle. And the large, yeah. Yeah, I think I, I think that's the large. Anyway, they're the same colour, but this is if you want to make the mini. Thirty-four ninety-nine. So, what's the size of the mini? It's um, it's around about this twenty. Size? Yeah, twenty by it's this size. Thirty. So you've got enough fabric to make the mini. You get the link to the mini instructions but you also get the full size instruction. So basically it's the fabric that's different. So whether you buy the large one or the mini one, you will get all the same instructions to make both. It's just the fabric sizes that are different. So this is the fabric for the mini. Exactly the same as that large one, it's just less fabric, 34.99. Now to make this, and you'll see why in a moment, you need this gridded interfacing and you will need to buy four units. Um, because you need two meters. Oh, this is what the min this is what the interfacing looks like. Oh, we'll do that in a moment. Um, now, if you want just the instructions, so maybe you've got lots of your own plain fabric already, or you can use print fabric, or you want to have your own pattern of giraffe. Twelve pounds is for the instructions, and you will also get the mini link with that. So, if you want to make the mini one or the large one, but you want to use your own fabric, I mean, what a beautiful wall hanging, isn't it? I think it'd be lovely, or for the nursery. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, it's one of my popular ones. Is it? But also, yeah. I think, um, it's particularly in the bright colours, it's not just, it's not childlike at no. all. No. It's like a piece of pop art, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And I've seen it done in cave fabrics as well. Have yeah. you? Yeah, that's amazing. Oh, wow, I bet it is. Yeah. Yeah, so depending on what you make them in, it is like a piece of pop art, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely gorgeous. So if you want the pattern on its own, just £12. Right, now I'm going to move on to the hair. Once we've got through all of the bundles, then we can do everything. So they, here is the hair. He, the hair is behind Tracy. Now this one is different. This is different in this colourway because obviously that's got, is it cave in the background of that? Yes, it and is. And a black yeah. hair. But we've done, the one that we've got here is grey colourway. So it's similar to the one that's on the front of the pattern, but this is just because I wanted you to see it. So our colourway is very similar to this one. Beautiful. Again, an added extra, you will get a link to the instructions and information about how to make it into the mini version. This is the, this is the big one. So in the kit, now just to let you know there are fewer than 20 of these left because they have been selling out. So you've got all shades of greys, and cream to make that one. Three meters of fabric in total, 33.99. So that is the full size hair quilt kit in gray, okay? That one. Now, then we've got another one with Lewis and Ivy fabric. Oh, this is nice. So I presume, so the hair is in this one. That's for the mini. This is for the mini? Yeah, that's the mini, which I'm going to demonstrate. Right, OK. Um, so I want, I'm, what's that one? Is that the mini? No, that's the... OK. Right. This is the full size. Yeah. Right, OK, I'll do the full size and then we'll move on to that one. So this one is for the hair. Yes. So it's beautiful. Look at it, it's blue as an iron. It's got a bit of gold. I know. Shimmy when hair. I saw it, I was like, oh, we need to use that. Yeah. 
You get a meter of that to make the hair. Isn't that lovely? Again, this is wall art. I mean, you can put it on your bed if you wanted to. Yeah. And look at this for the background. I mean, that is, look at that. It's beautiful. This is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. This is midnight hair. Yeah, isn't it? That's what I wanted. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So when um, when we put together these bundles, it was done very much with you on choosing oh, definitely. how to create the bundles and what fabric you thought would work. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Because this, I think I like the idea, the sort of the hair in the moonlight. Yeah. I want to make a big one now, but I don't have time. So I'm making a mini one. Oh, right. OK. I love that one. So again, fifth, that one's 58 99 So you're getting enough fabric to make the hair you've, and the background. And it's all Lewis and Iron fabric. And you get the instructions with the sheet inside it as well. Um, right. Finally, and then we've nearly finished. This, let me show you what the hair, this is in a different colourway, but this is what the hair looks like in the mini version. Gorgeous. And you're going to absolutely love the technique to do this. Now, the mini bundle, so this is the one that you're going to be demonstrating with yep. the hair again. Lewis and Irene, this is on single figures. Can you see the shimmer on the metallic? I mean, it's beautiful Lewis and Irene fabric. It can be ironed, it's, a, it's not a metallic that you can't press. Beautiful shimmer, and then the background is this gorgeous, it's almost like celestial. You've got the um, beautiful, like midnight shades of blue with little gold stars sprinkled all over it. There we go, so that's all of them. So, Tracy, tell me a bit if people haven't seen you the first time, tell me about your you and your designs. Okay, so. Um, How did you start? I started when. When I started quilting, which was about 10, 11 years ago, mm. I didn't know what I was doing, hadn't got a clue, um, and found it a little bit difficult to follow patterns. So I thought, I'll just I'll get my graph book out and I'll design my own. Right. So I was doing that for a few years, and um, and then I made the Bumblebee, which I'm going to show on the next show. Oh, OK, so that's the next show. Yeah, it? so that was my first, um, right. my first uh, design. Mm -hmm. And I made a few, and people were like, you need to make this into a pattern. Where, where's the pattern? I'm like, it's in my graph book. Yeah, OK. Um, so, yeah, then I started along that journey, and um, two and a half, three years later, this is where I am now. I was doing PDF downloads, but now I'm doing the booklets because oh, I want okay. booklets so people can see how nice the patterns are. Yes, and I think that's really important to see that. We have got the hair quilt pattern on its own, if you want that. That's, because um, I know, sorry, I've missed that one. That's 12 pounds. So can we have a quick little look through the yeah. patterns? Because they are beautifully written. Thank and you. And you've written them so they're very easy to understand. Yeah, I've had a lot of feedback from people that uh, struggle with words, a little bit mm. on the dys dyslexic or l are more visual learners. Right. But these are really good for them okay. to, to follow. So um, they're all laid out the same. I've got my scribble on this, so... OK, that's all right. Um, well, and you can have this one if you like. OK, shall we do that? Yeah, have ours. I'm going to take that off just because of yeah. the QR code. So there we go. OK. There we go. Now we can see it. Right. So, so there's your full chart. That's what it will look like. Yeah. So when you've got your recipe stand next mm. to your sewing machine, like I have, yeah. or <laughs> whatever you use, you can refer to that quite quickly. And they've all got lovely little tick boxes here on um, the fabric that you need. So once you've chosen your fabric, you can tick it off. And then um, along here, um, it tells you how many um, two and a half inch unfinished squares you need, how much you need for the um, uh, half square triangles, and you just tick off each one. Um, and then there's a little diagram here on how to make the half square triangles. Right. There's a note section there. Um, and then they're laid out in row by row. Oh, OK. And underneath each row is a, um, a little graph. OK, so not a graph, a little chart. So you can see, so it's like cross stitch yeah. in patchwork. Yeah, Got absolutely. It. <laughs> so if but you, you do it in rows. You do it in rows, yeah. Brilliant. And then you um, uh, pull, pull all the rows together. So um, my sister, when she does it, she pulls 15 of these, three, three of the little hair and then mm. two of the half square triangles. What I do is I make mine in batches, so I'll make all the all the fours and oh, chain okay. stitch all the back so the right. people make them in different ways and then you've got the little tick off boxes because i mean who makes a 
quilt in a day or an afternoon. No, no. no. <laughs> and I wanted them to be nice, they're like this little motif. Oh, they're here. beautiful instructions and really easy to understand Thank and you've really you. broken it down. So, you know, you can think, well, well I'm going to make these few rows. The, yeah. the instructions for the giraffe are done in exactly the same way other than it's a giraffe, but it's, yeah. it's done in the same way. Yeah. Um, so that's that. And then I wanted to have a colour your own section in. Ooh, so say nice. if you wanted to do um, uh, a pink hair, with um, a green background. Oh, that's quite you nice. Can... So if you've bought just the instructions, this is really important. If you've bought the kit, then once you've made it with those, you've got the pattern yeah. to do again. Yeah, absolutely. And, and for example, if you're making the pink giraffe and you want to just you've got to get your crayons out or your mm. felt tips and then colour it out so you can see what it's going to look like yes, and which yes. of the fabrics correlate with the other fabric. Right, the yeah, no, that's really important, isn't it? Yeah. So you could even photocopy that page. You could, So yeah. you can get it wrong. That's right, <laughs> yes. Again. Yeah, and then there's uh, a little bit here on um, the background previously um, uh, was two metres, so and then you can get that. Well, that's going to be green now and the body's now going to be pink. Oh, uh, OK. Um, and then there's times when I've gone back to quilts um, and gone... What fabric did I use? Where did I get that from? Oh, I know, I know. I do it all the time. And yeah. I think, why don't I keep notes of this? Yes. So here you go. <laughs> and you that's what you do. Notes. You keep all the notes there. It's yeah. brilliant. So stick your little bit of fabric there. I just use a, a print stick and then write down what it is um, or where you've got it from. And then I've got some other bits here that I wanted to write down threads. Um, and, and wow, these it, are very comprehensive. I think for twelve pounds, this is fab because this really shows you. And obviously, um, Tracy's done all the work, all the work for you. We've done all the hard work to work it all out. And all, obviously, all the kits come with instructions as well. So, yeah. So there you go. Things and all the, all, uh, something mm. else that's important. What stitch length did I use for doing my quilting? Oh, okay. Because sometimes I forget if I've used three, three and a half. Oh, four. all the time. Uh, and then go back to it, and I'm like, can't yeah, so, remember. And if you're get, if you're doing the let me get the giraffe just to give you a quick show. Can we do it on mine? Uh, the, at, the, at the moment, I'll put it just on here. At the moment, the giraffe in this colourway is the most popular. So the giraffe is the same, obviously, but you've got more pictures. Single figures on the bundle. Uh -huh. uh, the blue one that's on the wall, um, we are in single figures. So look, you can see. And actually, when it looks like this, you can see him sort of forming can't yeah you, you can <laughs> it's great it's becoming a giraffe so this it's exactly the same thing and then obviously you've got a color your own which is quite nice yeah. because you've put where the spots are Do yeah spots marks yeah. patches yeah. <laughs> not sure <laughs> right so moving on from um moving on from making a big one you decided to go small Yes, I decided to go small because I love the quilter's grid. I just need to cut a strip of Do that. this. Um, right. So if, can I now, when you're making the light, you cut this thing and I'll talk about this. You, um, you don't need this when you're making... I did have a piece. No, I've done with it. I did, and now I've lost it. What did I do with that? Oh, there it is. Thank you, Kat. So when um, when you make the big one, you don't need this grid because you just cut you just cut the pieces. But when you're making the miniature version, this is what will keep it accurate. Your squares of fabric are going to be a lot smaller. I mean, it's not tiny, tiny, weeny, tiny, but it's smaller. Then using this quilter's grid makes it amazing. So this is what it looks like. So this is a, that's a meter piece. You'll need two meters. So you'll need to get two pieces of this. So it looks like this. It's like normal interface, normal iron-on interfacing, but it's got a grid printed on it, which you can just about see. This is only needed for the mini. You will need two units, because you need two metres. So on one side, it's like normal interfacing. On the other side, it's got the iron-on. But it has the... Is it one inch? It's one inch, one yeah, inch but we... Yeah, then, on it. Yes. And this is... So you will need this if you've got the mini version. And honestly, because I know you might be put off and think, oh, I've got to sew together all those one-inch squares. I'm no. never going to get that right. This is genius. So you need to get two units of that. Yeah, you will have a bit left over. Right. Um, which is which is fine, because you, you'll find loads of uses. OK, I just product. need to go through the two mini kits, and then we can get up just before you... Are you cutting...? I'm just going to cut this, and right. then we'll go on to the... OK. Oh, but um, Hannah wants to see you use it. Okay. <laughs> I'm 
So <laughs> fine. I'm I've got wait. to just do quickly do the mini kits. So the giraffe mini um, kit, you get the instructions for the big one, and you also get the um, the, the extra insert that shows you how to do it, and it will make the pink mini giraffe. This is what Trace is going to be demonstrating. Similar to that, almost the same, similar. And then if you want the mini hair, which is using these colours. Yes. Um, then obviously you get the full instructions. Now the mini hair is in single figures. They all come with full instructions and also this extra sheet, which has the QR code underneath, which means that you can then find out how to do it. And then with the mini hair, you get obviously um, the enough fabrics to make it. Right. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly um, cut some more one and a half. So you could use normal. You don't have to use stripology, but this is just quicker. I just you, you can use whatever ruler you like, but I love the stripology ruler, and I'm going to demonstrate it a little bit more on the next show. Okay. Um, but um, I just want to cut some one and a half inch um, squares because that's what we're going to use, and. Along the bottom here, um, let me just move that up a little bit. Along the bottom here of the ruler, you've got little stars there, which show you the one and a half inches to cut. Right, okay. If so you're, you're cutting these all into little squares. Yeah. And this is just quicker. It's so quick, okay. it's so quick. So uh, I've just trimmed that front bit off. Normally I'd be whizzing up there, but uh, I'll show you a little bit more about that later. Okay. So I'm going to, so you cut now. your two strips. Cut two strips there. And I'm just going to place them, let's pull them over there a little bit. Uh, this is a brilliant tool for me to use, especially with my designs. Um, now what I'm doing, because the fabric is dark, you've got white lines along here and black lines along here. So I'm just lining up with the ruler, not with the cutting mat. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to trim that edge off. I'm going to follow those stars along the bottom. Yeah, so this really speeds up the process, doesn't it? Oh, it really does. There's no, otherwise, you'd be moving your ruler all the time, but you don't have to. It, I can cut out a full-size quilt um, in about 35 minutes now. And see, there we go. We've got all those accurate squares. Okay, and obviously in the instructions it tells you how many little squares you need to cut out. So now you think, so I'd be thinking, oh, I've got to sew those together. Oh no, we don't have to do. Well, we do, but we. But don't this is where yeah. it comes in, doesn't it? So I've bought various stages of this mm. with me to show you because um, you don't want to see me just sewing all day. <laughs> so this is what. Uh, so when I'm making a mini, I break it down into different pieces so I probably break it down into about three mm. um, I've broke it down into a little bit more just to demonstrate for you and I've got different that is beautiful isn't it because it's amazing that when you sew all of these back together again yeah it, you still get that really starry night look absolutely and look how it's how absolutely neat those corners are isn't it? yeah and that would be quite hard to do without the grid not impossible. For me, it would be, yes. Okay. <laughs> Not impossible, but it would take a lot more concentration. Yeah, definitely. Um, so let me show you how... How does this work then? Right. So I think we need to... We'll have to put this, unfortunately. Let me move. We'll have to swap over just because of where the camera is. Okay, that's it. I was told that. I forgot. No, but I forget all the time. <laughs> it's only because I have to consciously think, look at the screen. Otherwise, I forget as well. Okay. So which way up are we putting this grid? Right. So one side is nice and smooth, and that's with the lines. Um, and then this side is a little bit bobbly, and that's the fusible side. Right. So that's the side that you want facing to you. Um, so you can still see the lines. Uh, probably on screen doesn't show as well, but you can because you because of this grid underneath it yeah. but you can you will still be able to see the lines yep definitely so i've just gonna I'm so you've cut out all these little bit. squares got my little squares yeah and i've trimmed up my half square triangles so there we go let's get these in place 
Um, so. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, I just got this little bit here that I was going to fuse on and show you um, how it all works. So I'm just... So with this, do you do the whole thing in one go? No. I do it in stages like like that. I've got another piece here right. to show you. So you do it in set, bigger sections? Yeah. Um, because also getting it through, you know, handling it through your sewing machine. And then what you do is you stitch them all together. Um, okay, so you make it anyway. And all the instructions explain this anyway. I've written a blog right. on using this. So okay. yesterday. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, so Tracy's got a blog on exactly how to do it. But the instructions that you get with this will explain. They won't explain how to use the quilt. No, spread. but how to do the. Um, but the blog will. Right, okay. Yeah. Um, so. I'm placing these on here. The, you can see these are one and a half inch squares mm. and not an inch square, but you follow the lines um, and you leave a little gap okay. in between because you're going to fold this over. Oh, so although the grid is inches, I guess because you just mark the top and the bottom and then it matches yeah. up. And you can use whatever size you can go, go larger so if you want So do you, wanted. when you place them, do they have to be like touching, the right, right touching? No. You want a tiny little gap in between, like so. Can you see that? Yeah. So I've just got a couple more to do. So you just leave the smallest gap then? Just leave a tiny gap because we're going to fold that over and we're going to whiz up a quarter of an inch seam allowance, which, which I'll show you. So let's just do one more here. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to fuse this in This place. is quite nice. So you're following your chart and you just place yeah. it out. I quite like this. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, it's lovely. It's like a little jigsaw with little pieces of fabric. Um, I will put that little part of the, the bunny, bunny tail start in there. And you just follow the chart that's in the instructions to lay this out. This is magic. I like this. I, and Quilter's Grid is so, it's so easy to use once you've used it a couple of times. I'll just yeah. There we go. So, so that's one little section. That's just one little section. I do it in bigger sections than that. Okay. Um, so make sure that they're all in place. And see, there are little gaps there in between. Mm. And I've got to damp the iron cloth from um, Vlizeline here. It's a little... So you can just use a piece of fabric for this? You can use a piece of fabric, you can use uh, baking paper. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just something to stop it sticking. Yeah. Um, this is on, isn't it? Can mm. we test it? No, it's not on. Oh, it's not on. <laughs> it won't take long, though. Luckily, it doesn't take long, It's does the it? quickest iron in the world. Yeah. Um, but now, don't forget... Hang on, that's not... It's working now. Um, so don't forget, you will need the gridded interface, and that's what Tracy's using here. You will need two meters, so you just need to buy two pieces of that. You'll have some left over as well, so you can use it for other things. Yeah, there'll be. Um, you don't need it for the large; it's just for the minis. For the large one, but the, all of the instructions come with a sheet for if you whether you're buying the mini or the big one. To be honest, that will yeah. link send you to a link that will show you how to do this. So you just, it's, so I guess it's just like normal interfacing. Yeah. 10 to 12 seconds, fuse it in place. And actually with this sign, it's, um, it's quicker. You don't need to hold it for that long. Yeah, so you could use muslin if you wet that. It's only 199 for half a metre, so you could do that if you wanted to. And then you just pull it off. Yeah, just pull that off. Um, I was a little bit previous there, but that's fine. So you get the, the general idea yeah, of how okay. to use yeah, so that. Yeah, that's all stuck on nicely. So yeah. just um, an ironing cloth, but is it better to damp it then? That, that's the Vlizeline one. Right. Um, and that, the instructions are to damp that down oh, first. Okay. Yeah, use a dry iron mm. um, and then just fuse it in place and there we go. Right, okay. So now we've done that. So now we've done that. So let me show you. This is fab because I've seen people use that, but not actually seen it demonstrated this is right. brilliant okay so i'll just pop that to one side here's one i prepared yeah 
So there's a one. So you can see the little gaps. Do yep. you have to be accurate and get them the same? Not really. Right, ish. You don't want to be too far out. Mm. Um, let me just um, move some of these scraps. I don't want them to get in the way. So on the side, there's the code is there for the mini hair. <laughs> I'll clear that up later. <laughs> got a lot of half square triangles on the floor. Yeah, there's a lot of half square triangles. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold down here. Okay. And see how easily that folds. Okay. Yeah, so you fold it along the line. Yeah, fold it along the line. Now you can follow the grid line, mm. or you can follow the natural line of the quilter's grid. Okay. Uh, the way that it falls. So and because you've left that little gap, it folds nicely. Yeah. Okay. And so... I'm just going to... I'm going to... That's all right. Whiz down here. So you just say, what, with a quarter of an inch seam allowance? Quarter of an inch, yeah. Right, and can you see that on the... Oh, wow. That can we see the stitching? Oh, well, it's in white thread, so not easy, but look. Oh, it's... yes, I didn't think to do it in the dark. It doesn't thread. matter. You can see it's in... Um, it's just a quarter inch seam allowance. So you haven't cut anything. Nope, I've not just cut done anything. that. I'll right. just do that again. Just and so then you work you... all the way along like this. This is yeah. brilliant. So this is how you do like miniature patchwork without any matching up anything. Yeah, and if you want accuracy. And actually, with this quilter's grid, the squares are printed at one inch um, increments. But you could use this. You could use this for the big quilt if you wanted. If you, I do know could, people that have. If you could do it, I mean, obviously the the squares are bigger for that. But if you find matching up squares or any project more difficult, then the, use this grid. Yeah. So this is one I prepped earlier. This is the main part of the hair. Mm. Oh wow! See. Right. Let me move my. So that's Fab. the size that I work on. Oh, okay. Because the you, full width of it. Right. So do you do kind of like half and half then? I do th th in threes. Thirds. Oh, okay. Thirds. In threes, thirds. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then that goes down to that size. <laughs> that's amazing, yeah. isn't it? So um, I'll show you the next stage now. So you sew them all one way. So we've sewn them all one way. And um, I guess it doesn't matter which way. No. No, it doesn't. And then the key here now... Because I guess you've got now sew it the other way. Yes, but what I don't want to do is just sew it like that, fold it over and then sew it. I want, what I want to do is nest these seams. Oh, OK. What happens if you do do that then? It just gets a little bit bulky. Right, OK. Yeah, gets a bit bulky on the back. Um, With all the, the little folds yeah. and stuff. OK. So what we do is... It's looking like that now, which mm. looks a little bit odd. Yeah, it's wonky. <laughs> it looks a bit wonky. <laughs> and then we are going to... Do you know so what? Do you just snip along... You snip... Oh, bet between them? Between, yeah, between the squares up to the stitch. Oh, OK, of course. And, and you can see where they are anyway. Yeah, if you've got good lighting. Um, well, because it's so see-through. Yeah. It doesn't really matter if you go over the stitch mark, but uh, try not to. I've just got one more row to do on here. And, and once you've fused everything in place, it's really quick to do. Yeah, because yeah, but I quite like that process. I like that would be my favourite bit to be honest. Would it? Laying them all out yeah. and pressing them all on. Because I think, oh yeah, I quite like doing that. That'd be nice. Excellent. So look, see how that folds over a lot yes. easier now. Yeah. And what we're going to do is make sure that one of those is, goes oh, one way. Oh, okay. And one so that's where other. you reduce the bulk. So the yeah. snip is so that one's going one way and one's going the other way. Yeah. So I this would... is great. I'm really inspired and I'm thinking, right, what can I make with this? I like it. <laughs> you could make so many things with this. No, but I really like this. I think I like the... Because I used to do a lot of cross stitch. Don't do so much these days. Loads. And so for me, this is like your, your fabric version of it. It is, yeah. But I love the miniature look. Right, so the, um, the, kit, to, the kit to make the mini hair, that's there. Can never get that line there. It's there. 
yes. Now, don't forget, on that, you get the instructions to make the full one, you get the insert to make the mini, the instructions to make this mini one, and the fabric to make the mini. But you will need two metres of gridded interfacing, so you'll just need two units of that one over there. Uh, but this is the fabric that you will get is the one that Trace is demonstrating here. But there's only four of those left. So if you want to get this one, there's only four left. Oh, brilliant. Oh, let me see the other side. Yeah. So when you... So you've got them facing to so do you have to sort of hold one down to make sure yeah. they don't flip back again? Yeah. So when you're sewing them through, does that yeah. can we see the machine? Here? Just one moment. One moment, caller. <laughs> one moment, caller. Okay. So all you can see is my threads. Mm. Um you've got one, you start just just above your squares. Yeah. And you have one facing, one of the seams facing up, one facing down this, on this particular yeah. row. Um, and then just make sure that the other ones... So just as you're going along, just as you I'm just going adjust along. them. Yeah. And it's just, see how quick it is? Yeah, it's brilliant. Seams. So the time really is in the placement and the pressing, but because uh, you've got yeah. the lines... Look how... Oh, that's genius. Look how it's neat so cute. they are. <laughs> it's so cute. And then look how neat they are. Can we get really close on that? Is that or not? I just want you to see how amazingly neat they are. It's, the, prob the problem is, is because the background fabric has got a small print, you can't see it as well. But they are, but they look, that's what it looks like on that side. It's just beautiful. It it's very tactile as yeah, well, isn't it? It is. It absolutely is. And then when you've got all your pieces sorted you just stitch them together and I presume you well obviously I was gonna say you take it out but you can't it's just it's only in stays in anyway yeah it stays in and this is oh it feels lovely it's quite nice but isn't that funny so that is the same so this would sit on top of here yeah but look at the, what how much it shrinks look. yeah we've sold hundreds of this gridded in and I'm not surprised because it's amazing and the bundle to make this hair, the mini hair, only two left of this. But look how much it I know, it shrinks. <laughs> and it looks so funny as well when you're, I mean, that look. Yeah, yeah, when you've only gone one way. Yeah, is that going to look good? Yeah, so when, when yours goes like that, you haven't gone wrong, you just keep going. Just keep Bear going, with. don't stop. Yeah. I love this. You've got to finish yeah, it off. I've got to finish you? it off, yeah. You've got to finish <laughs> it off. But I'm thinking, I mean, it, it is, for this mini one, to me, this is your wall art. This is the textile art, isn't yes. it? And, yeah. you know, it's the sort of thing people will come into your house and go, wow, yeah. you make that. Yeah, they? absolutely. And it's brilliant for a spring project. Yes. So, yes. you know, get your kit now. Mm. Um, it's something to make in January. Yeah, because we need those. We do. We need those things. And also, this is a really... Um, it's from sally Ann who I do and earlier. We were having a conversation about um, how we always get a project for that sort of Christmassy time. Yeah. You know, when it's all a bit down. And, yes. Um, but this is very mindful. It is. I like that. It really is. And it's so... I mean, people worry about their points and working with tiny pieces. Mm. You don't need to use in the quilter's grid. You really don't. No. Um, you don't have to. No. I like I like the quilters grid. I think this is genius. This is yes. brilliant. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna go through your bundles once again because they are selling thick and fast. Starting with the quilters grid, which I've lost again. How have I, how do I keep losing that? Um <laughs> I don't know. We've got a lot of pieces going off, haven't we? No, <laughs> that's the second time I've lost it. Anyway, anyway. I've got some spare. Oh no. But you get one piece. I'm, I am gonna find it. Um yeah, there it is. Um, you get one piece of quilter's grid, eight ninety nine. That's a meter, and you're and if oh, you're good. and if you're making the mini um, the mini ones, you'll need two of these. But you will actually have some left over. So I'm thinking, you know, if you wanted to make like say a little um, wash bag in miniature yeah. miniature one inch squares, use this. Yes, and if you make if you cut the, your squares to one inch, so they're yeah. like half inch. <gasps> Oh, I want and to do this. And the points are perfect. I want to yeah. do this. I'm going to take this piece home with me. Just saying. So anyway, A99. <laughs> I want to make one of these. I want the giraffe. You'll need two of those for the miniature one. Um, have we got any of this kit left? 
So we had two, so I'd be surprised if we've got any. Um, but for the one that Tracy was demonstrating, I'm just going to move this iron out of the way, in my way. There are two remaining, but we've got more of you have got that in baskets. Now, in this one, don't forget, you get the full instructions, which we've been through with Tracy. They're brilliant. Oh, that's a giraffe. Oh, too many bits on my table. There's the hair. Full instructions with the extra sheet that gives you the information how about to make the small as well. So if you buy the mini kit with the mini fabric, you can then make a bigger one as well. Yeah. And like you say, you could do what um, Tracy's done where on that one you've got a plain hair and a pattern fabric, but you could do it the other way around. Definitely. Could yes, you? you could. Yeah. Which so many options. So many options. I love it. Love it. Um, remember, you'll need the gridded interface. And there's only two of those left. Uh, but there's enough fabric in that one to do the mini one. Right. Mini giraffe. So that is pink. Pink giraffe. I love that. It's just gorgeous. Thank you. It really is. <laughs> it's got a lot of personality. It's amazing, though, isn't it? When you think it's made from just squares and half square triangles. Yeah. It works really well. So beginner friendly. That's lovely, isn't it? And that's what we yeah. need, isn't it? We need some big projects that we can, well, well, we're learning a new technique, but that isn't actually that difficult. You see the whole thing. But you're actually learning something new. You're yeah. trying out something different. And again, this is the sort of thing where people go, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> and if you've got, you know, a new baby coming up, no one else will have made one of them. No, definitely not. No one else will have made that. And I love that. I love the quilt. You've done the quilting as well. It's really nice. So you've uh, done it just as a criss... A crosshatch quilt. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's using a, a thicker thread, an oil thread. Yeah, let me just show that on here. Just because I think sometimes people get put off quilting because they go, well, how am I going to quilt it? Yeah. So um, by doing this, it means that you can quilt it on your own sewing machine. So that might, you know, encourage you to do it. Um, yeah. So you will get enough in the bundle with the giraffe to make the mini. So you get the full instructions to make the big one as well. So that's a bonus, isn't it? And then you will get all the fabrics to make the mini. You'll get the, the fabrics to make the mini. And you have this fab fabric on the background that looks like clouds. Um, if you want to make a big giraffe, big giraffe. The one, the bundle that's most similar to this gorgeous one here um, you'll get the ins you'll get the insert to make the mini as well. So once you made the big one, you can make a matching baby <laughs> and hang them next Great to each other. Mummies and babies. So you get the full instructions, and then you get all of the fabric that makes. It's very similar to them there, but with the big one, you do not need gridded interface, and you can buy it if you like because it. You can you use that to. if you want to. Yeah, Good. absolutely. When everyone has checked out of this bundle, we've only got four left. So we are getting very, very limited in stock now. So I know you've all been watching, <laughs> but you now need to check out. You now need to check out, otherwise you're going to miss out. And then we've also got the pink giraffe as a big one. The big, so pattern, and then all the fabric is a bit more to make. If you want the, you know, the pink one that I showed you in the mini, if you want the large version, but in pink, all the fabric to make that, including that fab cloud fabric. If you've already got loads of fabric in your stash, you just want the pattern. It's only £12. It's £12. So you can make in whatever colour you like. You can choose. And because there's the colouring in page in the instructions, get gather your fabrics together, have a look at them, colour it in, and there we go. So that's the big one, um, the pattern on its own. And if you want the hair on its own, there we go. If you've got your own fabrics and you want to make the hair, just £12 and you've got loads and loads of information in there. They're a beautifully written and laid out set of instructions and really, really beginner user friendly. Thank you. They're fab. I love yeah, them. Great. Right. Anyway, um, thanks so much, Tracy. This is great. So you're going to be back with us in an hour. I am. Bumblebees yes. and butterflies. Bumblebees and butterflies. This yes, going to be definitely. Great. So we're going to show you that. So it's this the same technique, big ones. Um, yes. But you'll be able to go through it in more detail for us. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to use tripology ruler, trimming up half square triangles yeah. and a couple of different methods. Brilliant. Well, thank you. We'll see you back in an hour. I will see you back in a, in a few minutes time. It's all about sewing room tools. Very exciting news. We've got Liam, Liam from Hobby Maker here, and he is world launch of 
the electric scissors. Now, the price that you'll see on the website at the moment, we will be going lower. If you've already checked out them, don't worry, you will be charged the lowest price. Um, Liam's here, especially on his day off to demonstrate them. And he's even putting a shirt on. I thought he was going to wear his Christmas jumper today. Um, but anyway, we'll be back in a few minutes. You're going to love it. These scissors are great, extremely affordable and an absolute must-have for fabric and for your Christmas wrapping. See you back here in a few minutes. <laughs> Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. 
They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Welcome back to Sewing Street. I've got the lovely Liam today. Hello. So people who don't know you, Liam, introduce yourself to um, our lovely Sewing Street viewers. Uh, yeah, so I am. <laughs> I am. I am. Who am I? Um, I am Today. Liam. Uh, Liam Dickin. So I am the planning and content manager at Hobby Maker. Wow. Um, which is basically all about buying in product, scheduling product, mm. dealing with all of our suppliers. Fantastic. And, and going on um, glamorous, of, all expenses paid tours yeah. to America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, not glamorous, <laughs> yeah. work trips. Work, work glamorous yeah. trips to America. <laughs> and on one of these glamorous work trips, you bought this. Yes, we did. The amazing Ooh. We Are Makers um, electric scissors. They are incredible. Um, we were, I've been playing with them for like weeks now. I, and they are, they are just... Amazing. Yeah, we love them. So they, this is the world launch. Yes. So the world launch, and the reason why it's the world mm. launch is because as we went over there to Salt Lake City, which is Utah, which is where American Crafts, so American Crafts is the brand, uh, the, oh, the company, okay. and then they've yeah. got little brands yeah. off. Um, and um, we were looking at all of their amazing new launches that they were bringing out, and mm. we were like, we have to have them, because <laughs> not only will they work with paper, which is yeah. where I work. They'll work on sewing. Absolutely. And we're going to prove that today. We're going to put it through its paces. Wow. Um, and these are great. So we're not giving you the price yet. Yes. No. First, we're going to mm. we're going to learn a little bit about American Crafts. So if you don't know who American Crafts are or mm. who are we are makers or who I am, um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a little bit of... Um, Yes, there is video. Yes, that is. Hannah's saying there's a video of me doing, doing work. Well, yes, we'll so get to that in a minute. To show that it wasn't actually just a glamorous... <laughs> yeah, not just a lad's holiday. Lads, it was. Scott it. and Liam went. It was a lad's tour. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but if you don't know who um, American Crafts are, this is a little bit about them and okay. what they offer. American Crafts started in 1994. Our goal was to become the one-stop craft shop for all of our customers. And over the years, we've developed thousands and thousands of products, and today we offer over 25,000 different SKUs here at American Crafts. Our mission is to develop high-quality, innovative products that inspire creativity and educate customers. Innovation is the key to any company succeeding in today's times. We're excited to have you here. Hooray! So that's how it all works. Yeah. That's so, American Crafts. So that's so they American do, Crafts. They do, they do like sort of cakes. Yeah, so they do they do cake making. Um, they've, so cakes. they've got a whole, I mean, that was a fascinating thing to walk around. Mm. Um, they do oh, lots of paper stuff. They do a little bit of um, soft craft, obviously okay. electric scissors. And electric scissors. But also, scissors. Um, you know, the We Are Printmaker that, that yes, we yes, brought on, yeah. Hubmaker? That is um, that is also from American Crafts. Oh, this is you actually. Too. So yeah, this was our trip. So this is when we went out. So this is Tavnir, um, who um, is basically wow. the creator of everything we are makers. So everything right, that okay. comes through the doors, he's had a hand on and he makes it. Oh, okay. um, but we were like kids in a sweet shop oh, when I we was there, were. looking at all that. And they've got this massive um, window as you walk in, and there's this lovely like mountains in the background. And then we were like. We'll just come back to our windowless uh, yeah. office over here. <laughs> yeah, okay, um, then. But, I know, it's an amazing place, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to be expecting some more products. Yes, yeah, some of the stuff them. that's in the pipeline is phenomenal. Right. Um, but the reason why we picked this as one of the very first mm. um, for Hobby Maker and Stone Street was because not only is it world launch, but it's a must-have. It, it is genius. 
it just makes everything so much easier. You haven't got to faff around with Because we've had electric scissors. scissors before, but these are really affordable, aren't yes, they? Yes, and I think that's probably the big, the, the, the big reason why, because they are portable. They're the most affordable because the price is just mm. silly. Um, and, it, and, and it's also just, um, they're so versatile for, for paper craft, soft yes. craft. Even jewellery making in in in, in certain really? things because you can use them on leather, you can use it on denim, oh, um, fabric. Well, and also they are light, aren't they? Yes, they're really light. And really, I mean, the only thing that makes them a little bit well, not even weighty, no, are they? Is no, the not. batteries. And you don't even need. You a don't even need batteries. So, Magic. shall we show you how they work? Yeah, go on then. Go on then. So, on. first things first, it does have a little safety feature on there. This is just a rubber cap that is nice, just so when you're storing them away. Yeah, because there is there. a blade. Yeah, because it is a, a a blade, but they're not. They're not like. It's almost crazy. like a pencil. You can't shop. really get. Your no, I try. I did either. try earlier because I wanted to see how safe. Um, I could get my fingers. So you've in. got a little cap there. Then also on the top, another little safety feature at the moment. This is on the off position, so you can't actually press the button. Oh, okay. So it doesn't work. So like your rotary cutter, yeah. you can turn it um, off. And then you flick it up, and then that activates it. Now, there's two ways you can do it. They can either be battery operated, which is what these currently are. They're right. portable. So batteries aren't included, but they're and two they're double just, A's. Just two double A batteries, so yeah. easy peasy. But and they just go in there. But you can also, it, so it comes with its own USB cable. That's fab. So you can plug it in either to, you can, if you've got a USB plug, plug it into the wall, plug it into your laptop. Yeah. If you've yeah. got any portable um, power banks, you can just plug them in there. Um, yeah, into yeah. your sewing machine. Yeah, so if, if you've got, got a USB, USB port in your machine, how cool would that be? But that just means, and then you can use it. Then you've got endless, endless power really? supply, yeah. haven't you, really? Um, Makes and it even lighter then. What the most exciting thing as well that I think is, it um, doesn't lose power. So no. if it's plugged in, it will be just as powerful if it's battery operated. Oh, okay. That's so shall we start good. cutting? Yeah, yeah, go on. Because go on. What can we um, cut? I want to I'll tell go. you what, let's do some card first, just to prove it'll just go straight through card. Okay. Um, so literally, okay. all you do, hold the button down, slice it straight oh. through. So normally when you're using scissors, it oh. would like you'd see, you'd see, um, like the streaks and the marks, but it just slices through like butter. So it's perfect. Or you can do curves and You also. can curve. So you can get a bit creative and you can really kind of have a play um, and make shapes, I suppose. So that's card. So templates, bag making, um, dressmaking, things like that. You can, um, you can cut your templates. So that's card, slices through like butter, yeah? And you can do really thin strips as well. Yeah, uh, you, yeah you can get really, really delicate with them. Now, this is fussy foam. Um, <laughs> what is fussy so it's called, foam? It's called this fussy is the foam. world of hobby making we don't um, understand. This is kind of like thick foam, but it's, it's quite dense. So actually, it's quite difficult to get through. Oh, OK. Um, but this proves like, yeah, your things like your PUs, your leathers, your corks. Um, oh, just wow. Slice through that again. Um, and you can make curves. I've just made a, an easy curve there, but you can also put it on the table and get a straight line. Um, and now, I suppose everyone's big question is, will it work? Yeah, will fabric? it work? Yeah, because much as we love the paper, so, we love the fabric more. So we've got some fabric here. A <laughs> little bit of linen there. Yeah. Now, one thing to note is, notice how it's really frayed. Let's see whether if we cut with these, whether it wouldn't fray or yeah, not. Yeah, does it? Because this is quite a fray thing. The only thing is, is when, you, when you've not taught it, there you go. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, literally slices through that easy, I suppose, yeah. if you go that way. There we go. Actually... Yeah, it does actually. Let me have a go. Oh, beautiful. Really nice, neat cut. The best way to, when you're cutting fabric, that probably the easiest way to do it is you've got to almost let, yeah. feed it to it almost. So that's a bit of fabric. How about this one? So this one's a little bit thin, but these are yeah, so templates this is and stuff. This is our, our printed panels, isn't it? Um, so, I mean, this, it's going to go like. Yeah, it's going to love that because it's plain cotton. 
Yeah. I guess, yeah, so it will work on that sort of bumpy linen weave, but on a nice... So if yeah. you were doing it on a quilting weight cotton, it is And perfect. it's basically putting it through its paces. So that's one. So that literally cuts one bit of fabric. How about if we try to cut oh, two yeah. bits of fabric? And bear in mind, we're still on batteries right now. OK, right. So two bits of fabric. Easy. Yeah. Let me just get that last bit. There you go. So two. Shall we try four? Yeah, let's go four. Let's see how many we can do. In fact, let's do three. So... I've got a perfect thing. Yeah. Well, so when you were cut, you're cutting out panels, like when, when we have our printed panels, you could easily cut around the edge of them. Just have a little go so, doing that. So this is three. It's gone through three. So now I've got six. Should we try six bits of Yeah, do it. I mean, this is literally putting it through its paces. We, we're not, uh, we're not like, um, we've not pre-arranged this. Oh, wait, I missed the bottom bit. So hang on a minute. So that was seven. So what's that? One, two. <laughs> Three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Shall we try ten? <laughs> do it, do it. I'm trying to cut round the panel. Right, we'll go this way. So pieces, templates. Oh yeah, see that's. Look at that. So if and I how want... easy is it? So if I wanted to cut round this panel, and it's not like a rotary cutter, I can even cut towards me. Yeah. Look at that. And That's genius. Right, go on, do I've ten. I've got ten. Right, I don't on. actually know where I've <laughs> But still, it cut six. Let's see how we go to. So it slows down a bit, but then yeah, it still goes. Yeah, but it's goes. still going. And it's just not heavy, so if you've got so dexterity issues, you know those. when you're using scissors a lot, eventually you get blisters, don't you? Because they're just yeah. tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, um, we are, so, so when I say it's a world launch, it's a world launch here at Gem Pro Craft. So right. it went on Hobby Maker. Uh, last week, okay. we brought thousands of them to make it world launch. So we had to kind okay. of make minimum MOQs, things like that. Um, and we sold thousands. So <laughs> over half the stock has already gone. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, what the massive stock was. And when I say thousands, we brought thousands. The warehouse manager's livid. It was the only way that um, you could get the world launch. Yeah. <laughs> right. And now we're buying, now potentially, I mean, it, won't, it, it could have gone today, doesn't it? Yeah. But, so we need to know how much it is. Yes. So, Hannah's going to show us the should-be price, but right. I actually think that is a silly, silly price. I mean, thirty-nine ninety-nine mm. for something that not only is good for your paper craft, um, will cut ten bits of fabric, cuts, cuts around your template. Yeah, um, it cuts around, and it's batteries. It takes the ease. It's also left-handed and right-handed. So we even oh, had Bruce out once to um, oh, okay. to prove that it is left-handed. So you can use it as, if you're left-handed. Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, because it's identical each side. All it is is just yeah. the way you. Yeah, it works exactly you, the same. Side. So thirty-nine ninety-nine, fantastic price. Not only is it uh, battery-operated, but mm -hmm. it's also you can plug it in. Yeah. And it comes with the cable. Yeah, it comes with a cable. Doesn't come with a power bank, but of course, if no, you've got power banks at home, or you can plug it into you your just laptop. Just plug it into or... the wall, into yeah, your plug. Into your wall. But it comes with the cable, so don't worry. Do you want to know why thousands and thousands have sold out? Yeah, why thousands? Because and... Hannah's going to show us the price. Oh, okay. So it's not thirty nine ninety nine. This price was actually. I can't believe we've even managed to do this. <laughs> That's because you bought thousands and thousands. Yeah. Because How I'd much? expect, if it's not 39 99 99 like, You'd expect maybe 29 40 99 Yeah, I was expecting, yeah, 24 99 For essentially honest. scissors that are going to take... Oh, this is the best gift, isn't it? Yeah, it is the best gift. You know, I mean, Christmas, you don't want to buy someone who wouldn't yeah, want these. the crafter that's got everything, but they've not got a pair of... Um, I bet they've not got a pair of electric scissors. No, no. Who's got a pair of electric scissors? These are so... Now, do you want to know what else they're good for? Oh, apparently we've got a question. Uh, will it cut through wrapping paper? Oh, in my yes. Present? Catherine, that's amazing. Because... That was literally what I was about to say. Because... Uh, did you save that question, Hannah? Wrapping paper. Can... Um, oh, is there any normal scissors anywhere? Oh, yeah. here we go. Sorry, I've got some. I just want to show you some normal scissors because... Um, I've actually been wrapping my paper, and I wish I these had landed in time right. for me to use them at You've home. You've actually been wrapping your Christmas Yeah, I've already done already. it. Yeah. No way. Very organised. That's really organised. So, normal scissors, I get... I mean, I just... I hate yeah. wrapping paper. Like, I literally hate it. Because <laughs> mm. I'm not even trying... Like, I'm, I, I'm trying to be gentle, and... Yeah, always. That's what I mean. I'm not great with scissors, so that's yeah. me being sensible. And then... And then people try and do that thing where they, oh, where, yeah, they yeah, no, I do where they cut it and then they go. So how do they do it? So they cut it and they go like yeah. this. They're meant to. It meant to go. Shh, 
However, I've tried. No, but I've tried that, and it doesn't. You get it doesn't so work. far, yeah. and then it rips. You think, oh, I've got. This. And then you end up oh. with a mess. Yeah. Or and then that you, bit, yeah, you, have, you have to fold underneath then, don't you? Yeah, you then you fold it underneath, paper. so you're wasting paper. Or, I mean, we've wasted loads of paper there. But then you can just bring in your electric scissors, can't you? Yeah. And just... Oh! Oh! That's a dream! I would be buying them just for wrapping, <laughs> my, pa wrapping my presents up. I'm absolutely with you. I'm going to have to have a go. Yeah. I'll, I'll use one of these pieces. Yeah. I feel like he's wasted all his... I know, I've wasted so much. For fourteen ninety nine. I know, that's... this is... Oh, I need... So you just get it flat on the... Yeah, so to, to, for straight lines, the best way is, is it's almost got um, a little lead on the bottom of the scissors, so you can kind of run oh, it okay. across, so you'll get a perfect straight line yeah, by doing it. Absolutely. So you use that as your support. I mean, you can use it in the air, because they're so easy and to use. And you don't actually need to hold it taut. No, no. It just slices through, doesn't it? Like, perfect. So, you know when you've wrapped a present, this is what I do, and then you realise that you can't fold that bit in because you've got too much? Yeah. You could actually, whilst it's on the plate, yes, you know you, you need to go trim in a bit off. Just trim it you off. just go in and trim that bit off. Yeah, because if you was going to do it with scissors, you'd end up doing all this. Oh, yeah, thing, yeah, you do. You go yeah. across. Um, uh, there's a small queue on the phone line. 14.99. They're getting to it quickly, don't worry. But you, you fold it in half and then it, you chop it and then yeah. it's a right mess. Yeah, it's a complete mess. Whereas this is just perfectly... And I always wrap mine then in cellophane afterwards. Ah, see, that's it protects the paper, fancy. doesn't it? You can get, like, So basically, what you need on. to do is buy a pair of scissors, mm -hmm. uh, electric scissors to wrap your presents, but then also buy to gift so they can <laughs> undo the present. <laughs> yes, that's, that'd be good. So and then get into the cellophane. You know, but you wish you had these. <laughs> are the scissors electric or battery? Um, so they are both. Well, they're both. So they're battery operated. So currently, when they're portable, all they take is two AA batteries. And we've basically been cutting everything up to 10 bits of fabric. Um, oh, we've got wool. Yeah, we'll, we can cut some wool all on the battery. So, two AA batteries, but also, if you didn't want to use batteries, I'll take them out just to prove that it does work. Um, you can use it with electric. So, you can either plug this straight into a USB plug or into a laptop, into a sewing machine that's got a USB, yeah. um, a power or bank. Or you'd plug like it this. into like a phone plug. Yeah, thing. a phone plug yeah. and straight into the wall. Um, machine, and now it's yours. now it's electric, so you've essentially got. So also, it's yeah. And so if you out, really wanted it lighter weight, because they yeah. really aren't heavy. Because that is a little bit lighter, then, isn't it? It's not. Um... Oh yeah, yes. Yeah, this is just great. This is you need a pair of these on Christmas morning for undoing your paper. Yeah, I, I agree. Because you know, don't yeah. you always have a pair of scissors when you're unwrapping presents? Because you need to get. Yeah, them. normally with my family because they like to just put a lot of sand I tape do. around. I do. Yeah, it. you need scissors. And actually, you you end up just. Yeah, and just, ribbons and yeah. string and you. Yeah, need to ribbons. Cut the well, ribbon. talking of ribbon, we've got ribbon. Um, still, still slices straight through ribbon. Really oh. easy. You. Can, Oh, oh yeah. yeah, cutting down your bits for the recycling bin. You can even do those little, what's those shape things? There you go. You can, you, you can make a little, you can make a little triangle end, I suppose. Oh yeah. Or you um, can do... I wonder if this would be a good tool for snipping rag quilts, Leslie from Glastonbury. Yes, it would, Leslie. Yes. Why not? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, if you've got fabric from charity shops. Let you see, look at that. If I cut across the end of that, I've got a nice little V on my yeah, ribbon. Yeah, see? So you can get creative with them. You can use them to, as we saw, you cut a, a template out. I mean, so this is this is fabric on a roll. Oh, this is I, nice. It's, it is Where'd very you get nice. that from? Do you know what? I don't know, but... It's nice, isn't it? Um, <laughs> so how many pieces did we cut earlier? So, we, so should we do... Ten. So should we do... So that's four. So that's... So that's four. So we just so we just cut four. That's eight, isn't it? So mm -hmm. let's see if we can cut eight. Oh, see, it's thinking about it because this is thick, but it's still doing it. Yeah, it slowed it, it down. It slowed it down, and I've not done it in a very straight line. But that's still eight. Yeah. So still eight pieces. Um, are the scissors ambidextrous, please? Yes. Yes. Should we have a um, go? Pretend to be left-handed. Yeah, I can try to be. I can try to be left-handed. Um, Yeah, look. Yeah. It's really weird using the other hand. But if you are left-handed, look. 
Yeah. Obviously, I'm not. <laughs> Me and Bex aren't left-handed, no. so we look. So it looks, <laughs> so it looks like. Are you left-handed? Should we get cat? Yes. Cat, come and can you do it? Because we look like like a dog's dinner. <laughs> Right, cat's left-handed. So yeah, cut try and keep your paper. Uh, wrapping paper. This is cat, by the way, everyone. Cat, our fantastic floor manager. I am terrible at cutting wrapping paper. Well, well, not, I'm not with electric scissors anymore. Oh. It is a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like it's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, cat. See, that proves it. But we had to get a real lefty because we looked. Yeah, you just look rubbish but, at doing but, it. But 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 they are they are they are ambidextrous because mm -hmm. if you notice from that side um, to that side, it, it's identical. It's the same shape either side. So yeah, it is. Isn't, yeah, it's going to work around. Um, and I know um, a couple of safety features as well. Um, you do get a little rubber cap, um, which keeps it nice and secure whilst you're um, not using them. But even and if you put your fingers on, it doesn't cut them. That's because obviously yeah. Because obviously, I think you should try such things. Yeah, I mean, I want to know that it doesn't. If you, if, if, Don't do if it you can yourself, see, if you I can see when we're actually them. pressing it, it's not necessarily. It's only. It's almost vibrating, but it's vibrating. But so I fast, think that blade it's not really. Is, it's right in there, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It's not. It's not. Um, Yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah only um, the top blade moves. Moves. The bottom blade is actually fixed on. Um, but also, it does have a locking feature where you can't press it once that's on. Um, so but the cutting for... is so far in, that it's quite hard. You'd never yeah. get your finger in there, yeah, would yeah. you? Yeah. Um, excellent. Thank you. Another Christmas present for me from Delia. Yeah. Is that another Christmas present for you, Delia, or for you to buy? I think both. Yeah, yeah, I think these are great. I want some of these. Definitely, these are brilliant little presents. But that's they? the thing, there. I'd say that for the crafter, that's got everything because no one's. Yeah, really I know, them out but it's there. not just crafters. This is just. Well, no, it's it's is, for anything. Yeah. yeah, everybody would. Imagine open this, everyone would go. I want. I have. I, I was meant to go home and try it, and I forgot. I want to know whether it'll cut the fat off your bacon. Because <laughs> I always have kitchen scissors. Yeah. I wonder whether it will. Because then you'd always have kitchen scissors, then you can have fabric scissors and paper scissors, because you don't want to get your fabric and paper. No, well, you wouldn't really want to be washing these. I well, no, yeah, you don't want to wash them. Yeah, you could wipe them. And actually, it'd be great if you gave this to someone on Christmas morning, because there's so much wrapping paper, you can imagine yeah. them sitting there on the sofa going... Yeah. I also Cutting see, everybody's stuff. Every time we get them out, like when they first landed and we got them out in the office, Everybody was running over to to see about to have a look what they mm. were doing because not only yeah not only were they they were a little bit noisy they're not not really that noisy but everyone's like what is what he is doing that? why As is he vibrating easily cut without without any even like oh I think it's wonderful and like and the fact that they work on our panels so look you know all you do and obviously because this blade here it's got a slight curve but you lay that flat on the yeah. table, and then you can quite easily follow the printed outlines. And rather than if I was using scissors, I'd now be having to turning it all round. But you see, you can just go round. It's brilliant. Yeah, it, it is. It is. It's so good. Like it is. It's making the panels so much easier. Yeah, I know. Though, isn't it? Well, I mean, and that's only one little piece, but some of our panels have squares yeah. and circles. And, and you all can sorts. do circles. I mean, I, I I had a go earlier, so. Well, I guess if you drew a line, I mean, there it's. Yeah. Like, I've got a printed. Uh, what line. I would say is, I'm not a very good. The bit. There we go. Obviously, if you had a line to follow it. Yeah, it'd be better. Um, I know um, Hannah's getting a couple of questions as well about um, replacing replacing the blades. At the moment, because they are brand brand new and they're world launch, <laughs> world launch. there's not been talk about replacing blades. Mm -hmm. However, um, they do unscrew, um, so I, I think there will be replacement blades in the future. But I also heard that you can kind of, sometimes if you run run it through your tinfoil, that oh, helps. Oh, OK. Um, helps the longevity of them. So actually, yeah, um, you they could do, do that. unscrew. You'll have to find yeah. out. And I don't think I don't think they'll be going no, like blunt anytime no, soon. No, I don't think so. I mean, the, the, how fast that is actually moving and stuff. I think um, we're, 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 that's the thing. I feel like you should... yeah, I know. I could just imagine sitting there on Chris stages and then there's all this wrapping paper and that, that person you've given to them. You go, what have you done? And yeah. there's bits. And there's just bits everywhere. <laughs> yeah. and now, now you need a Hoover to go with it. 
Um, yeah, uh, lovely is a, you know, if you want to put it into a stocking, it's like a special little secret. Or oh, Secret Santa. Who secret doesn't Santa. want one of yeah. these? Especially for 14 99 That is in the realm of yeah, Secret Santa, isn't is. it, really? I mean, the fact that it should be 39 99 Yeah. But it's purely because of how many thousands we brought. Um, so a couple of people want to see us do wrapping paper again. Now... But I'll really... be able to cut through my cellophane as well. Yes, and my yeah, wrapping you can do paper. cellophane, uh, things like acetate. Um, well, yeah, if you can do wrapping paper, you can definitely you can do acetate. Do. Um, and obviously fabric. And maybe you're using templates. You know when you use the plastic, temp the template plastic, you could use do it with that. Yeah. Now, my biggest bit hate with... with um, with wrapping paper is you're trying to be really fast because I actually hate wrapping paper. Have you tried running the step um, down and, well, and it gets to about there? That's the it? thing. You, know, like, you go right. These probably aren't the most. Uh, and thing you sort of try paper. running the scissors but down. You normally do that and then you go like this, don't yeah. you? But, <laughs> but it, it goes well. So, being, I buy paper with get rid of that. That's what I'm saying. To help with that, and I still rip it. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. You yeah. know they have grid lines, and you think well, I'm. Yeah, the them. posh. Yeah, the posh. posh stuff. Um, the posh stuff. Still, and even then, you're not gonna. Rips. It's not gonna be Honestly. as easy as just going. Well, you can keep it flat. I think because you can keep the wrapping paper flat. I think that makes the difference. Yeah, yeah, because you can, yeah, like you say. Because whereas you can normally you'd have to lift it up, but because you can keep, and also you, you can keep, hold your hand there, so you haven't got to have something weighing yeah, yeah. it down. But you can just keep the scissors, oh, this and is it, move, that's yeah, how you do it. it. Paper, yeah, that's the one. That's it, isn't it? Yes. Move the paper, keep the scissors. I've just ordered a pair of these as I make memory bears. Thank you, looking forward to seeing Oh, yes, facial. amazing, love it. Yes. That's it, move the paper. Yeah, move the paper, and that's even easier. Yeah. Um, well, I guess you see, because with, um, when you're making things like memory beds, you're using lots and lots of different fabrics, so it's much easier to cut out all those little pieces. And you might be using templates as well, and then you can do, and you can do it. I think for cutting out small pieces, they're absolutely yeah. genius. Like, yeah. oh, look, What's I've absolutely of... cracked it. Top tip that anyone who's bought them. What sort out. of fabric would you be using with uh, memory bears and things like that? Can oh, well, you might be using fleece fabrics, you'll be using cotton fabrics. It, we had some denim the other day, and I don't know where it's uh, gone, but this is this is faux leather. Oh! Um, it'll ah. definitely cut through faux leather easy. Oh, that is good. Two layers? Without even, without even putting it on the table, you can... So would that go through two layers of faux leather? Uh, let's try. Oh, yeah. Shall we do the test? Yeah, test. Right. Two leathers. Oh! You see, and a lot of time when are. I think when people are using scissors, you know, you've got to keep your scissors, you make your hands hurt, all that kind of thing. Let cutting. me see if it, should we do if it'll go. I'm thinking dress patterns. So if you've got all of your um, your dress patterns all pinned out all on the table, you can easily cut round yeah, them. Yeah, nice. And also, when you're cutting out dress patterns with a pair of scissors, you really have to lift up the fabric. But with this, which is why a lot of people use rotary cutters for cutting out dress patterns, and I just can't do it. I end up slicing the arms off and things. But this, not my own arms, and also, the sleeves. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and and if you're about to go wrong, I suppose, with, with like a template or something, you just let go of the button. Yeah. And it's and it's stuck. But you see, when you cut it on the sewing beam, they used to cut out dress patterns, they would use a rotary cutter, and mm. this curves. I've tried it. Yeah, as soon as you through. slip, yeah, yeah. Mm. But these, oh, what's that one? Wool. Oh, wool. This will be This is nice. You can't now, cut some the of this, of this we are literally thing. just trying as we go along. But if it's if it cuts, it's, we're, we're going to find it out. I don't know. Cat's just found this. Cat's just wow, got Wow, this a, is very thick, Yeah, isn't just it? cut the edge off. Yeah. Oh, they want it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just see Lim cut through the middle of this. We just cut the edge off. <laughs> just right. the corner. Just this bit. See if you can cut along the line. Oh, along the line. Yeah? Yeah. It's going through so the So with easy. some fabrics, you will, obviously with paper, you will need to hold it taut. So not only is it, is it cut through wool, it's cut through your templates, through scissors, through ten bits of... Te ten, ten bits, bits of, of fabric. Yeah, and that's quilting. Three bits cotton. of faux leather. Yeah. The card. Um, what else can we try and cut? Oh, funky foam, we can cut through that. Funky foam. Well, funky we've got foam. Th we've got some quite thick... Ooh. Ooh. What about that? That's like mount board. Oh, mount board. So this might be a bit too thick, but we can give it a Let's go. Let's give it a go. <laughs> I'm glad you pre-tested yeah. your bits. 
No, so mount board's too thick. But that's because really that's a bit more of like a car. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But <laughs> if you do, all, 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 all it's going to do, if, 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 if you try it and it doesn't work, it's not like it's going to break yeah. them. It's that is very thick mount board um, though, isn't it? Yarn, cuts through yarn. Yeah. Do you know actually what that would be good for? Have you ever made pom-poms? Yes. With pom-pom makers? I had a pom-pom. I started making a pom-pom wall. Um, you know when you cut? The pom pom. Yes, and you've got to trim. You've yeah, got to trim and the, you've got to get your scissors through. Mm. Oh, what's this? Oh, this yeah. is um, PU. Bring them coming, cat. <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget, you yeah, this, can. Uh, tomorrow's show, everyone again. Where's all the products? Yeah, where's all the show? Oh, it's fine, but it's just in pieces on the floor. <laughs> yeah, you've got to just just get up and just say you could have this. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we'll try a little bit on this because we don't want to ruin all of their product. But uh, so, what's this? Ooh. This is faux leather, is it, or is it real leather? No, it'll be PU. It's PU, isn't it? Seventy percent PU, percent polyester. Oh, easy. Oh yes, nice. Nice. Um, how about thick felt? Oh, now I was actually trying felt. I, I wanted to try felt the other day, and I couldn't find any. Well, there you go. Turns out you just have to go to Sewing Street, and you can find it yeah, all. Yeah, you just got to find Cat's secret cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Yeah, nice. And this is called... I'm not very good at cutting a straight line, am I? Yeah, let's try that. There we go. Uh, a message. Hi, everyone. I'm thinking of loads of things, these scissors. Um, is the underside of them at the front smooth or would it scratch a table? Ah, mm. so they are smooth indeed. They're very, they're, they're, they're very smooth. And actually, we've been using it on this table for quite a while, and it's not scratched mm. that. Or no, they, it's well. Also, it's plastic, so the underneath is plastic. Yeah. It's not metal, so there's nothing that it can scratch. Yeah, not really. No, because it's Cause it's it not like just... using a pair of scissors. And you know, when you grab in your presents and you look at the scissors, table after you go, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you've got yeah, metal you've, scissors. Yeah, you've just got. Shh, shh. <laughs> yeah. um, Whereas this is plastic and, and it doesn't move either. No. That's not moving. Yeah, the t See? Uh, only the top bit moves, so actually that isn't then going to then... like that. See, the bottom of it isn't actually moving. So yeah. there's nothing for it to actually do. Anyway, it's plastic, so it's not going to scratch the yeah. table. No? Yeah. Oh, I could just... I I want to give these to someone for Christmas just to see how much mess they can Just to make. see, yeah. And, I mean, look at the mess we've made in, what, 35 minutes? Imagine <laughs> just giving it... Just giving them someone to say, go away for an hour. Yeah. Them. You can yeah. imagine like giving them to you like an eight year old. Yeah. And sit there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, they are fairly safe, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you'd want us to necessarily recommend it, but they are very safe. Give yeah, them they to are. granddad. Yeah, yeah, granddad. Granddad will have a lovely time. <laughs> I mean, and like you say, they are very safe because they have got that safety feature where it won't press if they're locked. Yeah, and that the is rubber, quite good. The, the rubber bit on the, on the top. Yeah, I've lost my well. rubber bit. And don't forget that they do come with the cord. Yes. Cables, not So the they cord. come with a cable which allows you to... It allows you to have a cable uh, so you can plug it into the wall, but also you can go wireless and go battery operated, which is two double A's, but they're not included. Just so how do they come? Stuff. That's what we haven't uh, talked about. Because yeah. I might want to wrap them up as a gift. Well, they come in that perfect little box. Do you know what I'd probably do? Well. I'd cut the bit of cut <laughs> wrapping paper, then stick it in and then wrap it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they come in a box. There we go. Yeah. Um, and it tells you everything that on about it. Perfect for wrapping paper, cardstock and fabric. Yeah. AA batteries not included, USB charger included. And then we open it up. Susan's messaging saying, can you cut hair? Wouldn't advise it, but I did Should try. Should we have a go? Uh, yeah, <laughs> honestly, I cut, it, I cut it the other day and it worked. Really? Yeah, hang on. No, you're going to... Gonna... I wouldn't advise cutting hair. But that's, it... where, that's, where, that's what's going to happen on Christmas Day, isn't it? Not only yeah. will there be bits <laughs> everywhere, there'll be like... Can you imagine these the two kids coming downstairs? Going... Yeah, when there's just... <laughs> bold and... Yeah. Yeah. I had to go. You said they could cut anything. He said, yeah, I could cut his hair. Maybe that's what I should do for Secret Santa and I'll just, I'll just yeah. give every, all my family a haircut. Mm. I'm sure they'll like that. Somebody will cut Grandad's hair while he's sleeping <laughs> after Christmas dinner. Uh, do they work cable free? Does the charger need AA batteries? Um, so, you either have batteries or... Yeah, maybe my, oh, they've batteries. been confused by your so here's my portable ba so charger. So, you either have batteries, yes. which is... Um, 
double A's, so you just pop them in uh, like that, and then if I unlock it, so mm. battery operated, or you can have them with no batteries, and it comes with a cable. So this cable just plugs into the back. Oh, I lost some lose batteries. So USB plugs into the back like that, and then this you can either plug straight into um, a phone charger, you know, the USB Yeah, plugs, USB ones or... Plug it into a laptop. Um, mm. I mean, loads of people have got them these days, haven't they? Pretty Sometimes much everything. Sometimes you can actually USB. get these in the wall now, don't yes. you? Yes, so I've actually Amazing. just put all these in my wall. Um, I love these. I've ordered two. My 50-something son will have a great time with them. Absolutely, Heather, honestly. I actually don't think... I don't think there's a... You know, last year there's a maximum age yeah, on some just, things. There's not on this, is there? Because yeah. everyone will just get them home and be like, I oh, want to play with yeah, them. Yeah, I really want to play with them. And then they'll start looking around. Yeah. They also come with an instruction leaflet in it. So um, you're not that you need many instructions, as in hold down switch to activate. Safety switch slides, power socket, battery cover, cuts through paper. There we go. Yeah. And you will need, if you want to get batteries, you'll need two AA batteries. The, the yeah. AA are those slightly bigger the ones. They're not your remote control batteries. They're AAA. You know, those. Yeah, slightly bigger ones. You have those in your uh, remote, Hannah? Are they available? Sounds like Hannah's got a very, very big old. telly. Yeah. <laughs> a very big remote. Does your, does your TV also come with that big, <laughs> massive thing on the back of it, Hannah, yeah. as well? Both. <laughs> So they're just, you know, yeah. normal... Normal batteries. But not the mini double A's that yeah. you have in remote controls. And, of course, they are, they are world launch. They're from our partners over at, um, in America, which is American Crafts. Um, meant that we, we got to get, have a lovely trip out there. They yeah, should be thirty nine ninety nine, but because we got the world launch and we got thousands of them, so that's the we only managed way to bring you the price yeah. down. So if you'd only yeah. bought hundreds, they'd be thirty four ninety nine. Yeah, and, right. and... So we're sharing that. Sharing if, is caring. Yeah, sharing is caring. And if they do sell out, I mean, chances are, if we bring them back in, will they be that price? Well, um, are you going to buy yeah. thousands again? This well, is yeah, kind that's of a, the thing. This could possibly be a one-off price, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. So anyway, it all comes in that box. So they're very easy to wrap as well. Yeah. They are great for fabric, all sorts of fabric, because we've tried everything. Really good for our panels, because you can cut around all the little shapes. They're really good because you can keep them flat. For anyone with dexterity issues, you haven't got that movement. You're just holding it and holding a button down. But for wrapping paper, yeah. they are the absolute answer. Uh, I think that's and the thing. And top tip, move the paper. Yeah, move the paper and make sure it's down. Yeah, just do that. And Well, you can move that, but moving the paper is genius. Yeah, or just move the paper, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And it'll cut 10 bits of fabric at least. Well, we tried 10 yes. bits. Depending on the Confetti quilting, they'd be brilliant for, wouldn't they? Because you have to cut confetti quilting, you have to cut lots of tiny scraps uh, of fabric. Oh, yeah. And then you put them all down and then you sew on top of them. Oh, yeah. It? That's perfect then, isn't it? Hundreds of you. Thank you very much, Liam. No, That's thank, brilliant. Thank we, you are we going to get me. another really good tool soon? Uh, Potentially, but I am um, locked away. I can't no. tell you what it is. I know there's some storage coming. I've just really, mm, really big storage. Oh, I want to go on one of the tours. I want to go on one of the tours. <laughs> or is everybody to... in the office lads holiday? Yeah, I want to skip round a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Going, doing deals. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all for checking up. I'm gonna. We are going to do some. We've got more tools, yeah. but we'll let you go because yeah. it is your day off. It is my day off. I'm now driving down to London. Are you? Yeah. What are you doing in doing London? Um, I, I'm going to film some football. Yeah. <laughs> are you? Nothing exciting, oh. really. What's that? I don't, yeah, take. But I'll take my scissors and yeah. I'll, I can see what I'll cut down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just do some wrapping or... Take your scissors with you. Draw ah, I reckon if you took a box, a few of these, you could probably sell them. Yeah, probably for more than fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. Tell them all they're nineteen ninety nine and pocket the fiver. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you so much, Liam. We'll see you again soon. Please do check out your baskets. We have... Oh, so many of you have checked out on this. <laughs> yeah, sorry about oh. that. Yeah, anyway, yeah, Liam's just walked across the camera. Of course, he's never been in a studio. Doesn't run, hobby, make or anything. Um, Hannah, can I do my favourite tool first? 
Oh, sorry. Please do check out your baskets on that. Uh, that's an amazing deal. $14.99. And with this time of year as well, isn't it? You know, when you think, oh, I don't know what to buy someone. Or you just want to get something for someone that's a bit of fun. Or if you've got some Uber wrapping to do. But it's not just then, is it? You're going to be using them all year round. They are brilliant for your fabric. Um, really easy to use. They come with batteries. They come with the power cord. So quite a, a simple thing. Very easy all of you checked out well done and i bet you won't be if you're giving them as a present i bet you'll end up using them just before mm. right i'm going to do the safety handle next which i'm looking for oh here it is this one the ruler grip safety handle i've got one of these I've had it for years actually That's why I'm laughing because Anna, <laughs> Anna says they look like those handles you have to get out of the bath, but don't use them for that. No, they're not for that. They are for rulers because they're suction. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm thinking about, yes, don't use them for that. Although I, I would be tempted to have a go <laughs> to see if they work. They are for rulers. So, you know, when you've got your your creative grids or your rotary cutter ruler and you need to keep moving it but you have to sort of try and get it off the off you get the handle no there's no nothing complex about it it's got suction pads so you pop pop it on you clip the suction pad down Ooh, that pulls all the air out Ta da look at that This is great. So if you, you know, if you're moving it quite a lot, so say you're you're cutting something and you've got to move it and move it again. Obviously, they will fit on. They're not. They don't. They're not brand aware. They don't care what rotary cutter ruler you put it on. Just think of the hours of fun you can see what you can actually attach these to and what it will pick up. And then when you want to take them off, you just lift up the sucker. Lift up the sucker. <laughs> Oh, no, you have to undo, lift up both suckers and, and then it will come off. Right, there we go. $7.99. They're absolutely brilliant. They're, they're really good if you struggle picking them up, but they're also really useful if you're doing lots of sewing. It just speeds up the time as well. And also, you know, when you've got to press down, particularly if you're not a bit you're sure if you're cutting small pieces or near the edge, if you're not sure about it, the, it's slipping. You know, when you're pressing down on something, when you're pressing down on the ruler... So it's really good for lifting, but also, you know, when some, you know, when you've got some rulers, if you haven't got a creative grids, not all rulers have that grip, do they? So if yours haven't, well, click it back on. Um, if yours doesn't have the grip, then you can, um, you can, you hold that instead. So I tend to use mine really for moving it lots, but yeah, for for the grip, it's brilliant. Only seven ninety nine as well. Comes in a box. The cable ties. Oh, okay. <laughs> Spool huggers. Pack of 20 of these, loads of them. So these are perfect for keeping your, stopping all your thread from unrolling. So you know what it's like when you've got thread and even I keep my thread on a wooden stand with the little pegs. It still all keep, it all still comes unthreaded all the time. So you know when it's like that, and although you go round and round and round, it doesn't hold it, just pop this round, they just open up. And if you pop it round, that just holds it still, doesn't it? I mean, they are really useful as well, thinking about Christmas. They're, what a nice stocking filler. They're brilliant for cables. So you know when you've got a load of cables behind the telly, or if you've got a lot of cables, you know, like that you're using for um, charging things, you can just attach them all together. So they are brilliant for spools, but for keeping cables together as well. Very, very useful. Multi-use product, $9.99. There's 20 in there. So they call them spool huggers, but a lot of them do use them for cables as well. A bit like fabric clips are used for crisp packets. Well, I use them for my crisp packets. This one. Oh, that is magic. I have never seen this one. This is magic. No, I've honestly never seen this one. 
So it's, um, you can thread needles with it. Fantastic. So look, you pop your needle in there and um, it's got a light, you see? Then you can use your, the needle threader that comes on here to thread the needle. You can, wow, that is genius. So I bet you can't see this. When I want to use them, my, when I thread it, I put my needle on in there. I can see the eye beautifully. You can use it on a tabletop. So you, I, want to, I don't want to lean, you can see my head on it, but you can lean over it and then you can just thread your needle. So if you know somebody or you, like me, who really struggles to um, thread their needles, this is brilliant. Because the reason we can't thread the needles is we can't see the hole. But when you've got a magnifier and a light, but also, I think what I quite like about it is because you can put it on a table, it's still. And half of the problem when you're trying to thread a needle is that it's moving, isn't it? So you can keep it absolutely still. It also means, because sometimes I find if I can't thread the needle, uh, because the eye is so small, I use a bigger needle. And it's not as good because I actually need a really fine needle because of the fabric I'm sewing on. But I give up because I can't thread it. I love that. That's brilliant. What a fantastic product. Very excited about that one. Thread Magic. Love Thread Magic. Let me bring this one down. Thread Magic is fantastic. It is a thread conditioner. Now, people used to use um, beeswax, which you can use as well, but this is more a synthetic one. It's absolutely brilliant um, for conditioning your thread. So maybe you're doing lots of, um, you know, when you, you're doing hand sewing, and, and to be honest, not even if you're doing lots, you'll get little kinks and little knots in your thread. And then you have to stop, or sometimes you can't get the knot out and you have to start all over again. If you run your thread through this, so in the packet, there's like a little, little grooves so you can run the thread through this synthetic. It doesn't make it sticky or greasy at all, but it does stop um, that happening. So it strengthens it. You don't get as much static. Um, and it doesn't melt or freeze, which I guess is quite useful if you were taking it away. Um, if you're doing, it's quite useful for doing things like cross stitch or embroidery, where you want the thread to not have the static for it not to tangle, and it just lasts a bit longer. For 9.99, it lasts a really long time, and you just run the thread through it, and it does give it that extra strength. Also, maybe if you're doing hand sewing, like you're sewing on buttons, where you sometimes want the thread to be stronger, by running it through the, med the thread magic, it does make quite a difference to it. So if you're doing, it is for hand sewing. I mean, it does say on it, that on here, it does say you can use it for bobbins. And you can actually, there's a there's picture here, which I've never tried. Oh, interesting. Um, that you can actually put it on your sewing machine so that the thread from the bobbin, um, from the sewing machine runs through it as well. Which I guess, if you did it with the bobbin while you were winding the bobbin, it would make your bobbin thread that much stronger. So it can be used for hand sewing or machine sewing. Brilliant. This is my favorite. Thank you, Hannah. I love this product. The meter stick. It's just really nice because it's, um, it's just a lovely thing because it's very, very useful, but it's also very beautiful. So it reminds me of being in school, like a proper old meter rule. Now, it's brilliant for measuring fabric because it's nice and flat. And when you're measuring fabric and you want it to be flat, it's much easier than using a tape measure that might wibble about. Also, it's more accurate because sometimes, if you're like me, you catch them with the iron and they go funny on the edges. So if you are measuring, say, increments on something, so say you need to be measuring, maybe you, sometimes you're doing, like, pleats or something, you need to measure it, like, or different um, increments, it's easier. Um, it's also a really beautiful thing. It's just, I mean, it's only 4 99 It's wood. It's printed on one side in Imperial, one side in Metric. It has little holes at either end so you can hang them up. But also, if you're hanging up a quilt or a wall hanging, what a lovely thing. You, all you need to do is you could put some tabs on the top and then thread them through there. You can use the little holes on the end to hand it up. But it just makes it, it's quite a feature, isn't it? But honestly, I find 
What I use mine for as well is, is when I'm doing um, backing a quilt and you have to smooth out your lining fabric and your wadding and your top fabric, I use my metre rule for just smoothing it if it's on my table and it smooths out the wrinkles because it's nice and long. So very multi-use and because it also doesn't take any space and it looks quite nice when you have it hung up on the wall because you can just hang it on a little nail. So that's the metre rule. Next. Oh, can I do that one? Can I do this one? Oh, I can't do that one. Okay, the needle grabber fingers. This one. Oh, so this is great. Now I I use like oh god, I've used my teeth once, and that's why I've got a chip out of my teeth. Don't do that ever. Still can't. Get, it's there forever. So these are for you know when you need to be pulling. Um, a needle through and it is particularly when you're sewing on buttons and you want to pull the needle through the fabric but you just can't get it through you've realized that the fabric's too thick it won't go through these little needle grabbers you pop them on your fingers and then you can you've got some grip that will hold a needle to pull it through and when you are sewing something, maybe like coat buttons on where the fabric is a bit thicker or if you're sewing through several layers then you really need these just five ninety nine, but you'll know. You'll know when you need them. What is the, what the point is? Never use your teeth. I did it a long, long time ago, and that was that. Since good morning, Rebecca. The easy threading magnifier is so useful for many things. I take mine to the supermarket to use it to read the labels. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Right. Okay. I'm gonna have to have a go with this. Oh my God, you could take it to a restaurant to read the menu. You know when it's a bit dark and you see people with their phones trying to read the menu? Oh, wow, you're absolutely right. Particularly, there are some labels in the supermarket, you know when they've got like a red label and black writing? Can't even see it with my glasses. Oh, <gasps> brilliant message, that's genius. Um, which, sorry, Hannah. Sloth mat, everyone loves a sloth. These are brilliant. These are brilliant if you want to take them on workshops or if you are short of space in your sewing area. So they're padded on the front and the back and they've got sloths on. And then you open it up and on one side you've got a cutting mat. So say you've got a small area or you're just doing a little bit of FPP, you don't want to get out the whole cutting mat or you'll go into a workshop. You've got the cutting mat on one side Um, and then on the other side, you have sandpaper, which is where you can keep all your little pieces. So say you've cut out lots of pieces or you're doing some FPP or EPP, you can pop them all there, that holds them still. And then you put the little piece of, um, it's almost like a felty piece over to hold them and it just stops the, the sandpaper from, from um, marking the mat. But that's a good place to keep pieces. Then, this is the best bit, turn it over, it's an ironing board. Now you can use it big like that, or if you fold it up, you've just got a little ironing board there. So this is fantastic. You know what it's like at a workshop where you can't get to the ironing board, you can't get to the cutting mat, or maybe you're going away on holiday, you want to do a bit of sewing, you're thinking, how am I going to get that cutting mat and the big ruler and the, in, in the car? Well, this is perfect. $23.99 makes a nice little gift as well. Right, very quick recap on the star of the show. The electric scissors, they should be $39.99. But because Liam went to America and bought thousands, he managed to get them at an amazing price, $14.99. They will cut through fabric. They will cut through wrapping paper, which is genius because you know what it's like when you're trying to cut wrapping paper and it tears all over the place. This just cuts through it. You can either put double A batteries in them or they come with a cable that you plug in and then you can plug them into a US, you can plug them into a USB port, um, wet, like on a computer or, you know, sometimes they have them in the walls now or like a phone charger or sometimes some sewing machines have them. But it's just a little cable so that you can use them as battery operated or you can use them 
with the cord. They're lightweight. You can be used right-handed or left-handed. They're very safe. They come with a rubbery thing on the points, but also the blades are very safe because the cutting goes right down inside. They're not heavy. Um, they will cut through layers and layers of fabric, PU, cork, felt. They were great for cutting out the um, cotton fabric panels because you can cut round curves. I think they'd be fantastic for dressmaking. When you've pinned out all your pattern, you can cut very slowly because the blade is quite tight in there. Uh, you're very much in control. So you know when you're cutting dressmaking patterns out and you've got to lift it slightly. Also, underneath it's plastic and it's curved. So when you run it across the table, it won't mark it. But if you've only just tuned in, you didn't see how genius it is for wrapping paper. I'm going to show you. So once you, you're cutting up your wrapping paper, you know what it's like when you're doing with scissors and it tears and wiggles all over. You just run that. And a top tip, if you keep the blade still and move the paper, even easier. I mean, you can cut it the other way. You can cut that way. But you just keep it down and look at that. Honestly, the paper that you will save and the ease because the worst thing about wrapping presents is cutting all the paper, isn't it? Fabulous. They come in a box, nice box, so they're perfect gift as well. And honestly, who would not want a pair of those? Mm. I'll leave them, I'll leave those with you. There's loads of you got them in your basket needing to check out, so I'll leave those with you. We're going to go for a quick, quick break. And I will be back with Tracy, who is going to show us a fantastic technique uh, at making, we've got two quilts, we've got the bumblebee and the butterfly. They are really lovely. We're going to go more in depth this time because the, in the first hour we showed you about the mini, but how it works and how you cut it out. These are beautiful quilts and really very, very unique idea and design. You're going to love them. I'll see you back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, 
Then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. And welcome back to Sewing Street. So we've got Tracy back. Hello. Right, so you're going to show us, well, we've got bees and butterflies we today. We have, yeah. Um, so before we get started, so how did you get into sewing? What's, what's the journey? Well, I was working as a HR manager. Right. And I got a new job. I'm working all hours. And my husband said, you need to get a hobby and you really? need to go and buy a sewing machine. Oh, OK. Oh, so each said what it was as well. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I can't sew and um, I've got no interest in sewing. Mm. And, and I went to um, a, a local store, uh, it was on Boxing Day, and bought myself a, um, a basic brother sewing machine. Okay. And some fat quarters and some scissors. I didn't know that I needed a cutting mat <laughs> or in... a ruler or a rotary cutter. But why would you know? I know. So I tried to make this quilt and it was absolutely dreadful. Um, and I've still got it. It's about that big. It's, not, it's too bad for the dog bed, actually. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, and then I just started writing my own little patterns. Um, and we're on a narrowboat, so we've got a limited amount of space. I love that. So where's your narrowboat? We are down Leighton Buzzard, Milton Keynes. So we okay. move every two weeks. Yeah, so do you, because I've got friends over there, do you have to move every two weeks? Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what we've chosen to do, yeah. Right. Yeah, no one mind doing you, but then in December and January, they're allowed to stay where they are. Oh, right, okay. Do you have that? No, we don't have oh. that. Oh. Yeah, so we're moving tomorrow, and I'm really hoping it's not going to rain tomorrow, because we've got the little boat, mm. which is my little floating studio. So what does the little boat look like? Is it, like, look like a narrow boat, but just... It's a narrow boat, yeah. But just a small but one. it's 26 foot long. Mm. So my working area is six foot wide by 18 foot long. I've got a little log burner. Oh, OK, so it's quite a big... It's quite big. Yeah, you've got quite a big yeah, I've, table. I've got benches either side. Yeah. I've got my sewing machine set up. I've got... Um, uh, boxes with fabric in and my threads and things hanging and I've got jars with oh um, wow uh, laces and all that kind of stuff so oh, you know you could like rent yeah. that out to people can you imagine it'd be like a retreat yeah. wouldn't it it would be lovely yeah so I've got For me that. and a wood burner have you got a little bed in there as well no I've got a beanbag there. oh <laughs> I can get in it but getting out sometimes Is there a kettle yes there's oh, a kettle. okay yeah Perfect. Kettle, there's a sink yeah 
Um, and there's a free dog if you want it as well. Even better. <laughs> the tugs are normally there. That's fantastic. And that sits behind you. Yeah, so we tow that behind us. Oh. Um, <laughs> are you ever in the big boat? No. <laughs> No, I'm it sounds gonna... absolutely. That's almost. That's mm. better than a shed in the garden. Definitely, Be better oh, than a she shed. Just, that's my perfect life. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and I've got people that follow me on my Facebook group. Yeah. Made, made on the cut. So. Uh, um, well, all made on the cut. Is that what it's called? Yes. I'm gonna follow you. Um, the because the canal is. Yes. The, old the cut. cut. But I'm going to follow you definitely. Brilliant. That sounds fab. But this is very mm. unique to well to you now, isn't it? I know I'm yes. saying completely 100% unique, but yeah. this is your mm. signature style. It is. Creating quilts from squares and triangles. Yeah. But you, it's amazing. <clears throat> it's so effective. It's bold. It looks, I think it looks way more complicated than it is. Yeah. Which is fab. Yeah. Always love that. Yeah. But it is absolutely gorgeous. And I love the fact that you quilt on your sewing machine, simple quilting. Yes. That often puts people off because, you know, you have all these like long arm quilting patterns. Yeah. So this is quilted on my sewing machine. I have got a brother now. I've, I've gone from my base. I've moved on and it's got a deep, deep throat area mm. there. So um, it's uh, quite easy when you roll it up to, to quilt. Yes. And it is gorgeous. So we'll start off with the butterfly. Right. Now, we've got a couple of different bundles for you. So the one, this is the la this is large. Now, these only make the large. So if you were with us at nine o'clock, uh, we did the hair and the giraffe in small and large. These are just large. So we're just concentrating on that large. So this bundle, this kit here, has got all of the instructions, the pattern. They are brilliant. We'll go through them, because I know there's a few of you who've just joined us as um, Tracy's demonstrating to show you how, how it works and how you do it. And then in the kit, you get a lot of fabric. You get three meters of white, a meter of black, half a meter of purple, a meter of pink, and a meter of the pale pink as well. And that will make the quilt that's behind me, which is 68 by 60 inches. So it could be a lap quilt, it could be to go on a small bed, or it could just be a piece of beautiful wall art. It's fantastic, isn't it? And obviously the full instructions. We've also got it in a different colorway. So if you fancy a blue butterfly instead, we have it in the blue version. So again, obviously you will get the full instructions and then you get the three meters of white, you get a meter of black, that's you sort of the edges and the antennae. And then for the butterfly wings, oh, and the body, the wings, you've got a royal blue, a turquoise and a pale blue. So that's your blue butterfly or pink butterfly. Now we also do instructions on their own. So you might have a lot of fabric in your stash or you might have a specific butterfly you want to make. So if you want just the instructions, they are very comprehensive and we will be going through them in a moment. 12 pounds, just 12 pounds. They are lovely. They are produced by Tracy and they're really good. They're really good fun. Oh yes, yeah, should we have a quick look? Because um, you put in a chart. Yes. You can really see them. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, and then you've got all of the cutting out. So you've got tick boxes. Yeah, so um, you've got little tick boxes. There's note sections as we go through. These um, are beautiful quality. Thank you. Yeah. I spent a lot of time researching paper. Yeah, and good, good. Product codes. And, yeah, no, uh, it's lovely. They're really good quality. Thank you. So we've got little squares here. Um, sorry, you've got the um, uh, colour, they're colour coded. How many you need to cut? Um, and you just tick when you've cut them because right. you might not want to cut everything all in one go. Um, you've got the um, make how you make the half square triangles, how many you need to cut and sew together for that. Yeah, they're ever so user friendly. So like like you say, if this was your first quilt, you could do this. Yeah, you could. You could. Yeah. You just start off by cutting out squares. They're just squares. So that's fine. And you make the half square triangles mm -hmm. and the diagram's easy to use. Um, and then you put them together in a row by row. Um, yeah, so it's just like colouring in really, but you colour in one row at a time. So you yeah. make one row, then you make another row. And I guess you could join the rows on as you go. Yes. Or make all the rows and then join them together. Yeah, I tend, I don't know why I do this. I tend to start at the, the top and the bottom and then work my way up. Okay. Um, so, oh, so that you meet in the middle? Meet in the middle. Oh, so okay. I don't sew the whole lot, row each row down 
to there. I because it gets really heavy otherwise. Oh, I see. So you could split you it, it into sections. Sections. Um, and I guess you you've used plain fabric, but you could use print fabric for this. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's all sorts of you know ways that you could make this. I use the plain because I'm making it up for the pattern. So then that that fabric's not going to go out of fashion. Right. So I like using blenders and solids. Mm. Um, so and then as you do each row, you can just tick along what you've done. Okay. So when you go back to it next then you, Saturday yes, afternoon. You know where you are. Yeah. Um, just to say, if you're having any problems viewing us on few, free view is Sky, we know there are problems. They're not our fault, we try, but we're trying to sort it out with them. But there are issues. The best way to watch, you can either watch it on the website or on YouTube. And then it's fine on those. We're working on it. We don't know what the problem is. It's not our end, but I know that there are issues. Just so that you know that we know, but you can always watch us on the website or through YouTube if you would prefer, just because we don't know what, but we're trying to find out there are issues. Right. Okay. <laughs> so that's your colouring in. Yeah, so in all the booklet patterns, you've got a colouring section. I like so that. you can write down that white is now cream or black right, is yes. now brown. You could do a bright orange. Um, I forgot the name of the, the butterfly. Oh, like the Red Admiral yeah, ones. Yeah, or is it the Monarch or... Oh, yes. So, or you could do those really pretty ones, couldn't you? But you could, yeah. Yeah, you could then colour it in to create your own butterfly. Yeah, before you actually get your fabric and Brilliant. start stitching it out. And then when you've got your fabric, I've got this page here. Um, stick your own, so just get your print stick or your fabric glue, stick it on, write down what your fabric is, where you've got it from, just in case you need to go mm. back or you want to make another one. And then there's a section here on what threads you've used, what wadding or batting you've used, what your backing fabric is and anything else that you want Fantastic. to. Fantastic. So they're really, really comprehensive. Yeah. And a nice picture as well. And thank you. Um, well, it's really important, isn't it, to be able to actually is. see what it yeah. looks like. Yeah. So that's the butterfly. Now we've got the bumblebee. The bumblebee has flown into place instead. Now, this is obviously, we haven't got the kit to make this one exactly because um, Tracy's used a beautiful cave fabric yes. in the background. But this is how you can see how it works with the with different way you can do it with prints. So the black one is like a black and yellow print. So you can, yeah. you don't have to do them with planes. No, no. So that's got a like a nice gold fleck in mm. there. Um, and you could do something similar with your, your gold and the yellow. Yeah. Um, and I have made it before with like little love hearts, white with little love hearts oh, in there. That would be nice. Yeah, like a little silver running through it on the wings. Gorgeous. So we've got two bundles for that. Oh, right, yeah, so one is, they are similar, but one is actually Liberty, actually, which is that one there. You started with the Liberty. Right, so the background is green because he is flying across the green meadows. Yes. <laughs> of Liberty. Of Liberty. <laughs> so this is your Liberty Wiltshire Shadows. It makes the same size as the one on the wall, which is a 55 inch square. But how lovely to have a Liberty Fabric Bumblebee. So you're getting two and a half meters of this. And then obviously you get the um, yellow Wiltshire Shadows, but it's kind of a golden yellow. It's lovely. Um, and then you get the black, obviously for the bumblebees body and then you get white you probably can't it's not a plain white this is Wiltshire shadows so this is all liberty fabric and you get the full pattern as well which just like the um butterfly has the lines the, the order which you do it has the cutting out it has the coloring guide exactly the same as that but how beautiful just 78.99 you can make a liberty bumblebee glorious the other bee bundle We've kept with the same colourway, um, but we've used plainer fabric. Well, actually, the background is a print fabric, so this is a different price point because it's obviously not Liberty. But we've kept that textured green fabric, you can see. It's got, got tiny little flowers on it. You can just about see, can't you? So that's the green fabric. And then we've kept a, a nice golden yellow, so, well, bumblebee yellow and black and white and obviously full instructions so there's your choices and then obviously um, it comes with instructions if you want instructions on their own because you want to make a bumblebee from your own fabrics there we go just 
12 pounds for the instructions on their own. Excellent. Right, so you're going to show us how to use the, how to make the bumblebee. Yes, so I've made a little sample up first of the, so you can see in the Liberty. Oh, um, nice. I wanted to show you what. Yes, what it actually looks like. Yeah, sorry. I'm I going. love the green. It's very uh, vibrant. Yeah, it's so bright, Can isn't I it? I hold that up, actually? Can we hold it up? You hold one end, I'll hold the Do other end. One. Right. Yeah, so that's, you can see that's part of the, the body. Yeah. I thought that was a good part to show you. Um, and it's nice and bright and it's with gorgeous, that... gorgeous, um, isn't it? Yeah. It's beautiful. The, the Wiltshire Shadows is lovely. I mean, it's a lovely fabric. Yes. But doesn't it look bright and gorgeous? Yeah. It's a 55-inch square quilt. Yeah. So it's only got 22 squares across. Right. Okay. Yeah. And 22 down. Um, so, but I wanted to show you how I cut those squares because... Yeah, that's... Well, yeah, I'd love to start in from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning then. So, um... I will just pop that there for the time being. I've got some bits prepped here, which we'll come back to. But I think the first thing is, is to demonstrate um, how a lot of people say, oh, there's a lot of um, squares to cut out. I'll just put that to one side. Yeah, I'll have that. I'll have that back in a minute. Okay, I'll keep it safe. Um, but I've got the stripology ruler here, which I... So a stripology ruler is... Just a ruler with, for if you've never heard of a stripology, I used to hear people going on about it, what are they talking about? And then I had to find out. Um, it's just a ruler with grooves in. So then you cut in the grooves so that you can cut several pieces at one, well, without having to move the ruler. So if you don't have a stripology, you cut a strip and then you move the ruler and then you cut another strip. The ruler itself has grooves in it. Yeah. And Do you want me to move the ironing board? Am I... I'm just trying to make sure that's it. I'm okay. in shot. So let me explain a little bit about this ruler before I cut in. So it's this is a large one and it measures 21 inches. So it goes up to 20 there, but you can actually cut up to 21 inches there. Right, that's the code that's on the screen at the moment is for this ruler. Yeah. This has saved me so much time with my oh, I can imagine. patterns. Um, so there's different lines down the side. You've got your inches down the side and you've got the white line and the black line. So depending on what you're cutting, if you're cutting a dark fabric, I tend to use the white line. And I'll place the fabric on the cutting mat, but I follow the lines of the ruler and not the cutting mat. So I think that's quite important. So along the bottom here, um, you've got one and a half inch cuts, which are the stars. So you don't need to think, oh, what's the next one and a half inch? Add them on. Uh, so that uh, speeds up the process. And then you've got um, two and a half inch, which is the squares. So these are the most popular ones that you would put. Okay. Cut. So you, you, you can use this for loads of different projects. Yeah, absolutely loads. You're cutting your binding, okay. two and a half inch strips yeah. binding, just cutting no problem. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to cut off the raggedy edge there. Um, and these particular ones are, um, let me just move it up a little bit actually. So I'm starting in here and what I'm doing, I'm getting my rotary cutter and I'm putting it in to the side and then straightening it up. So to the side and then uh, straightening well, it up. Rather than going straight down. Yeah, because you might chip it. Right. Which I have done. Yes, <laughs> I check my, my rulers all the time. Yeah, so I'm cutting uh, three inch squares here, so I'll just do a couple. See how easy it is to cut. That's four yeah, all done strips in one of go. fabric, so I don't want that. So I'm just going to put that to one side and see how straight they are. Yeah, because you see, because when I do, because I haven't got a stripology, so when I do, I'll do a few, but then I have to straighten it up. Yeah. Because if you're moving the ruler, uh, the good after when you've done a few, they do start going off, but that doesn't happen with this. No, and on the other side, I don't know if you can see, it's got these... Oh, you yeah. You feel... It's got the nice... I've forgotten what they're called, but... Yeah, um, the grippy things. That's it, the grippy things. The grippy <laughs> that's things. The technical the term. gripping section. Yeah. So I'm just going to... to greater grids, that is. Open that up. You can leave them folded if you want, but because I'm doing three inches, I can get more out of my fabric by opening them, them out. So again, I'm going to use a white line here. Square that up. Just make sure that it's running the same way on the top. 
and sorry, I've, that's all right. So I'm going to go every three, three, six, nine, twelve. Just see how easy these are to cut. And the, you know, it's going in at the angle there. And 21. So I'm just going to use that end bit and hopefully, yep, I've missed the selvage edge. So, so very, very quickly, uh, quick, got all your squares. Accurate. Yeah, that um, is brilliant. It's one of those things, it's a bit like, you know, when you invest in a cutting mat and a rotary cutter to start with, you think, oh, you know, I've got to invest in all this. Yeah. But it's so useful and it saves yeah. so much time. It's kind of your one-off investment. Absolutely. Isn't it, really? It, it is. And I know, you know, that's 69.99, but for me, it's the best 69.99 yes. I'll pay <laughs> because um, it's just saved me so much time. Yeah, and, ac and it is all about accuracy as well, isn't it, yeah. with rotary cutting? It is. And the thing with my patterns as well is there are lots of squares and half square triangles. And if you are a new quilter, then you you get your practice doing your quarter inch. Yeah. Squares. And the only way you learn people go, oh, you know, I wish I could say, well, it's just practice. It's nothing genius. It's just repetition, isn't it? Yeah. Designing different matter, but sewing, you know, it's it's just repetition. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. The more you cut it, the better you get. So that's that part of it. So I'm just going to put right. this under so here. So you cut all the squares out. Of course. And I guess if you decided you wanted to make a bigger one or a smaller one, you just cut the squares big, as long as you do it to the same to the same, because all the squares are the same size. Yeah. You just cut bigger or smaller squares. Yeah. You follow the pattern the same way, but yeah. you decide on what you're going to cut. Obviously, you'll have to work out how much fabric you need yourself, but um, yeah. you could do five inch squares. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. that's massive. Massive. That would be great. Can you imagine that on like a big bed. Yeah, that'd be huge. <laughs> Fantastic. So that's cutting your squares up. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next thing is to make your half square triangles. Okay. Um, so I meant to bring a pencil in with me. Oh, I can give you a friction pen. A little, little that's bit. all right. I've made the line on here. So oh, okay. I get my... Um, Do you need a pen? I can get you one. No, I'm good. Okay. Thanks. A smaller ruler and make a line down the middle. And what is this ruler? Oh, this is the perfect five. The perfect ruler. five. We've got one of them. Yeah. So now, why is it? I, I haven't used this yet, so I want to know oh, all about it. Tell me what it does. Why well, I need one? So it's it, relatively new. Yeah. There it is the perfect five. The perfect five. That's what so it looks like in the packaging. Five, five by five, five inches by five inches. It's right. Great. So if I, right, you can use show yours because you, yeah, can't see when you just got. I mean, it does. The lucky good thing is, is that they do have QR codes on them. These creative grids, yeah. and you can go through that, and they give you like little videos of how to use them. But which is great. So basically, I presume it's a five inch square. Yeah, it's five inch square. Brilliant for um, trimming up. So I'm going to show you a diff couple of different ways that I trim the um, half square triangles. Um, so great for making your own charm squares. Yes, perfect for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, particularly if you wanted to fussy cut them, so you wanted a charm square because you, you can see, see through them. See through great. them. Look. But you use them for your half square triangles. I do. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I am going to show you how I make my half square triangles. So I put my fabrics face down together, and I draw a line down there. I've done that in pencil, but you can do it in any. You can do it in any type of you know friction pen. And then I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch seam allowance down that side and then a quarter of an inch seam allowance down there. And I'll just do that now. Quickly do that and show you. And what we're going to do then is that we're going to cut it in half. And there's loads of ways, aren't there, that you can make your half square triangles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, this is just different ways. You can do twos and fours and eights and... Yeah. Because my patterns have got lots of different colours in and... Yeah, um, yes, I see. it's simpler just... This is how I do my twos. Well, so. yeah, you know, and it depends. And if you're a beginner, do them like this. If you've got other methods, you know, you, that's yeah. where... With any pattern, you just you, you do which, which you find the easiest, don't you? Yeah, you adapt it for, you know, what you know and how you want to do it. So... Um, let me know if you want any pressing done, because I have the iron. I will in a minute, actually. Have we got the... Can I have that? You can have that one. I was keeping this one safe for you. Yeah, I will have it in a minute. It's just that that one's not... 
Yeah. What is that one now then? Well, I will show you this one in a minute. This is a smaller um, stripology ruler. Um, but I will show you how to trim up using that. So if you've got this and you want to buy this one instead of the larger one, then there's loads of things that you can do with it. So I just want to show you an extra okay. thing that we can sew. We can press those open to the dark side. I always like to go over to the dark side. Please. Remember, we are demonstrating, when I say we, Tracy, <laughs> I'm ironing. Tracy is demonstrating the bumblebee in the Liberty Wiltshire Shadows Green. Well, not green, that's what I'm pressing at the moment. Wiltshire Shadows. It's the green, <laughs> yeah, the Wiltshire Shadows. Yeah, the Wiltshire Shadows green, no, it's just the fabric I was pressing. So I've made these a little bit bigger than the pattern says, so I could show you um, a bit easier on screen how to, um, how to cut them. So if you see, you've got this diagonal yeah, line. Can you just go right just a bit, like this there? One. Perfect. There we then go. we can get them really close, you see. Look at that. There we go. Let's move these out of the way. OK, so you can see this diagonal line down here. Mm. Um, and then with a perfect five, you can turn it around the other way. Um, now, what I want to do is trim these to three inches. So I'm going to trim up here and across there. So the rotary cutter is away from me. And again, it's got the, um, the little grippy bits. It's because this bench is a bit higher, isn't it then? It's very difficult. So you can see there mm. that I've trimmed that one side. I'm going to turn that around. And I am now going to square up, not just the diagonal, but the three, three inches down there, three inches down there, and make sure the diagonal line is um, following the seam line as well. And just hold on to it. And again, trim it away from myself. If you've got a rotary, uh, if you've got a cutting mat that spins... Oh, rotating one, rotating. yes. Yeah, that's great. You don't need to even move the fabric. So there we go. So perfect. A lovely. And, and I guess you points. just sit and trim them all, put the radio yeah, on. Yeah, put the music on and yeah. fires on, <laughs> boats wobbling a bit. <laughs> um, oh, God, yeah. there you go. Oh, no, someone's coming past. Someone's coming past. <laughs> yeah, stop cutting now. <laughs> so that's how I use it with the, um, the perfect Well, it's nice ruler. and small, isn't it? Because you can obviously trim them using a bigger ruler, yeah. but it's just too much. It's isn't it? too much, I find, and then it gets, mm. you know. I like that little ruler. Yes. 18.99, nice little ruler. It's lovely. Uh, you see, mine's well worn. So that's one way of doing it. And then the other day, I couldn't find my, my perfect five. I thought, oh, I don't want to use a long ruler. I will use. This one, so you can see that you've got on the white. Oh, difficult. yeah, so you've got the diagonal line on that one. So this is yeah. the smaller stripology. Yeah, so you've got different lines going across for different sizes. There's so much you can do with these rulers. Um, I haven't even explored all of them. But what I want to do is just show you how. So I'm, I'm lining that up there. And... It needs to be three inches, so I'm going to trim off that edge, edge there, and I'm going to trim off that edge there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking, oh, you'll have to move it around four times, but I forget you can do two, oh. two cuts in one go. So I take those away. And then turn it, it around. Looks a bit funny. Oh, I like that. And then we are going to... That is brilliant for trimming half square triangles, I have to say. So we're going to use this one here, the, the three inches there. Yeah. So see, you've got your square there. So you can match it up. You can match it up. And I've also, because I'm not that careful, brilliant when I sew those lines, quarter of inch either side, so some of my squares end up a bit <laughs> different, wonky. <laughs> yeah. But So this is really worth it. I have to do a lot of serious trimming. Definitely. Yes. If you've not got one of these, definitely. Yeah, so, no, I definitely need one of those. Yeah, so I'm just going to trim up that side mm. and that side. And so that's just another way of trimming. Oops, I've just moved it. Oh, no. But it's fine. You should move it back again. I moved it back there again. There we go. There we go. And... That is so satisfying because it's so perfect. Yeah. See? 
So Absolutely easy perfect. to do. And the bee will be needing that for his wings. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. So that's using those two different tools, two right. different ways of doing it. So once you've cut it all out, you've then got to start laying it out in some order. Yes. So that's where we can look at the instructions. Do you want the bee? Should we go B? We're going to go B and we're going to go row seven. Row seven? Row seven. Yeah, I like the fact like with this one, you've used all sorts of fabric in the background. They're great as a scrap buster. Um, okay. They're really great. If you've got lots of greens um, mm. and you've got, you know, uh, you, just, you just want to go, okay, I can, I can just do... The same with the hair that I showed earlier on. If you want yes. to do yeah. different fabrics in the background, different greys, then... No, it's lovely because it is a real scrap buster as well and you just yeah. mix and match. So if you've bought the kit, then you get the instructions anyway. But if you've bought the instructions, then you can just use whatever you fancy. Yep. And you Over half of the instructions on their own have gone, by the way. Oh, brilliant. Mm, it's good, lovely. That's good. It, I mean, this was my first pattern that I wrote. Oh, was it? Yeah. Well, everyone needs a bee. I'll just go through the two yeah. bundles of the bees because the one that um, Tracy's using in the demo is Liberty. So obviously you get that pattern and we've only got nine of these left. So the background is your beautiful green Liberty Wiltshire shadows. Um, you've got the yellowy gold colour of the bumblebee in Wiltshire Shadows, black in Liberty, Wiltshire Shadows, and white, 78 99 full pattern. Let me just show you what it looks, this is what it looks like when it's actually all joined together, just in this fact. Well, this is a section of it, obviously. Oh, it's upside down, sorry. <laughs> I did it again. There we go. Yeah. That's what it looked, a section of it, obviously yours will look big, but, but if you are buying the Liberty kit, this is what it will look like. Beautiful. Um, we've also got it in a, um, same colourway, but more affordable bundle. Um, the background is a green. It's a green with like a tiny floral print of it. And then you get a plain bumblebee yellow, black and white. And obviously the instructions come with these as well. It will look very similar to the Liberty, but obviously it won't be Liberty. But it will look similar. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I have put together, which rows are they? Um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so it's quite good. So if you do it in sections, you could say do it in groups of four or five or six, yeah. or whatever you fancied. Yeah. And then join the sections together. Absolutely, yeah. So we're going to do row seven. So I've put a few bits together here. Um, and underneath each key, Underneath each row is a key. So you need mm. 15 greens, six whites, and one black and green um, half square triangle. Okay. So you know exactly what you've got to pull together. Um, so you just follow it one row, and I guess you yeah. lay it all out. Yep, if you've got the space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, you've got a big table in your boat, though. Yes, I have. <laughs> it's full of stuff at the minute. <laughs> Right, let me just move some of this out of the way, sorry. Okay, so we're doing row seven and I've pre-prepared this. And we're just doing one of the little legs now. So I'll make sure that I've got the half square triangle. Right, okay, in the facing right the right way. Facing the right way, because I have done it back to front before. <laughs> you know, I'm, so I'm just gonna turn that over, I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance. And I'm just going to make sure those seams are together. So that's that. And then I need to add in um, two greens. Mm. I thought I would piece most of it together so you don't have to watch me so... Uh, no, it's nice. Oh, no, right. This is how you see how it works because um, otherwise you, otherwise you're just showing the bits you've done. But it it, it really does make it because it looks. I said at the beginning, it looks way more complicated than it is. I think, but it's 
it's quite a mindful thing because you're cutting the squares, you're making your half square triangles, it's repetitive. And then I love the fact of laying it out. Yeah. And then I've got six whites. And again, just a quarter inch seam allowance. And it does come together really quickly, especially this one because they're three inch unfinished. Yeah. Okay. And just, I've got two more there to do. And then you've got the two green on the end. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll add the row on. So you can make all the rows together individually. Yes. And but then, then you see, I would be like, I'd get to about five rows and go, oh, I want to see what it looks yeah. like now. I know, that's me. Yeah. I'd uh, be like, I want to see what it looks like. I can't help myself. <laughs> think, no, no, I'll do all the rows. But I'd, but because once you start joining them like this. It soon grows. I mean, mm. look at that. So um, the next thing then is to press. So we press that um, the opposite way to that. So, so those seams nest. Right, so you always make sure you press your seam yeah. in the opposite direction. So it needs it. to go that way. Are you in charge of the yeah, iron? Yeah, I'm in charge of the iron. If I've got that the right way around. I like ironing. I don't like ironing, I like pressing fabric. Yeah, I, I do like ironing. not on my light list. No. But pressing fabric, I find it quite pleasurable. I, I have difficulty on the little boat because it's all solar powered. Oh. So I have to use the engine oh. from the large boat to um, generate the electricity. <laughs> and then with having an iron on, I need to have the revs up on it. So it uh, can oh. be a little bit, you have to think about these things. A uh, message. I would be tempted to quilt crystal organza um, over the wings. <gasps> Tracy object to me making changing it. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's your quilt to make. You make mm. it however you like. They, they're just the guidelines for you to use. <laughs> I think so. that's a great idea, actually, Sue. Because if you put that, it would make them shimmer, oh, it would, wouldn't yeah. it? It really would. That'd be nice. And you could sew on little, you know, if you've got the patience, I don't have the patience, but you could sew on little sequins and beads yes. and all sorts of things. And when I'm making the, um, I don't know if I've got the word right, the antenna and the little yeah, ends yeah. to the legs, mm. um, in, see here in the pattern, it's got these, let me move that over, um, it's got these little bits here. Yes, yes. So you can chain stitch those, you could add some rickrack. Oh. That's true. You could add any embellish with some ribbon just to make them stand out. Mm. So that's something else that you could add on before you quilt or you after you quilt. You could even make the body from fleece. Can you imagine? You could, can you? <laughs> you? It might be a bit scary though. I wonder how hard that would be to patchwork fleece. I don't know. In squares. Or you could use um, a nice wool blend, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, you could. That would sure, be nice. yeah. Yeah. Um, We've got flannel. Flannel in the next flannel. hour. Love a bit of flannel. Oh, can you imagine a flannel bumblebee? Oh, it'd be amazing. Why didn't we think of that before? Oh, it'd be brilliant, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Especially if you did him in, like, checks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the strangest bumble. <laughs> Check flannel like a pair of pyjamas. A nice mustard. Mm. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah, you could have, like, a mustard check, a black check. Yeah. <laughs> amazing, wouldn't it? It'd be quite dapper, wouldn't it? You would. Yeah, because I'm not sure about fleece. I wonder how, whether you can patchwork fleece squares or whether it'll... Not sure. It might... it might all stretch. Yeah. It could be get, make a bit of a mess. But flannel would be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. What? It's really cosy. When you make it, can you... Yeah, I'll let you know. Thank but you. also you can mix and match, so you could use different fabrics for the different parts. You could use flannel and plain for the background. Yeah, and... yeah. Oh, yes, got all sorts of ideas. I like Scrappy Bee. Mm. Yeah. So next bit is to, um, is to sew the rows together. Uh, just add those on. So what we've done is you can see here is one's pressed one way and one's pressed in another. I'm glad I got that the right, right way. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's fine. We'll just redo it. I do that all the time. <laughs> go, oh, how? And I've gone left, yeah. right, and then... And then go, oh, I need to press it again. So when you're just, this is nesting up your seams, basically. And they will sit nicely um, and go through the sewing machine pretty well. So do you want me to do that or do you, while you're? Yeah, do it. Yeah. Do it. Uh, do it. I'll, I'll do go through it. the kits. 
Right, so the Liberty one, just to let you know, is um, in single figures. So if you get the Liber the one that Tracy's working with, it's all Liberty Wiltshire shadows. So you will get full instructions and really comprehensive, beautiful instructions, which you can then use time and time again with flannel and all sorts. Um, then for the B, it doesn't show up as well on this fabric, but you get white, you get black. There we go, show it like that. You get a piece of black. And you get this lovely bumblebee yellow. They call it lemon. I've never seen a lemon that... Yeah, it is called lemon. It's not lemon, is no. it? No. It's much too bumblebee to be a lemon. Because lemon is, like, really pale, isn't it? Yeah, but it works. Yeah, no, but this is not lemon. This yeah. is bumblebee. <laughs> We've changed the name of the Liberty fabric. This is much too... It's a great thing. <laughs> tell them. It's much too bumblebee to be a lemon. And then you get... Um, how much is that? Two and a half. Two and a half metres of the green, which is a beautiful grassy green. He's joyous, isn't he? Joyous. He'd be lovely on a bed or just um, put him on the back of a sofa. He'd look lovely. Nice present for somebody. Who wouldn't want a bumblebee quilt? Um, but it's quite a nice project as well. You know, you think, right, over the winter months, thing, I want something that I can really learn, I can be really mindful, get really into it. And then you can actually just quilt it yourself. You won't need anything special. Now, the other bundle is more affordable because it's not Liberty, but it's using similar colours. It's just whether you want the Liberty look or not. $47.99, full instructions. Now, we did have a few more of these, but we are now in our teens. So if you want one of these, you need to get it checked out. So uh, for the background, it's it is grassy green. It's got like a tiny, almost floral print on it. It's Ditsy Daisy, I think. Daisy Ditsy. Or... Daisy Ditsy Daisy. Ditsy yeah, Daisy. No, I agree with that. It's called. Yeah, Ditsy Daisy. It is very appropriate. Ditsy Daisy. I was just seeing if it had anything written on itself, which is, but it's called Ditsy Daisy. Um, and then you get the plain colours. So you've got the yellowy gold, sunshine yellow. And then you get black. And then you get white. And that's all the fabric you need to make the top of the quilt. And obviously, you will get the pattern in both of the bundles. Don't forget that. Now, pattern on its own, if you have your own fabric, over half of the stock of this one has gone. Just £12. It walks you through. It gives you all the lists you need. It explains exactly how to do it, how to join the rows together. Um, you don't have to do it in traditional bumblebee colours, you know. You do it anything. What about a pink bumblebee? Pink bumblebee, <gasps> always good. Striped bumblebee, spotty button bumblebee, Christmas bumblebee. I'm mm, not sure about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a Christmas butterfly, I'm not sure about the bumblebee. No. Um, right, butterfly. So we showed you the butterfly earlier. Um, exactly the same technique, it works in exactly the same way, only this one is a butterfly. So, full instructions tells you all the fabric you need or the quantity that you're going to have to buy um, and exactly how the rows are constructed. Now, the bundle that's the most is similar, it's not exactly similar, because Tracy has helped us to choose the colours for these. So they are in the, the colours that Tracy would use herself. So for the, we've got two shades of pink. So we've got a very pale pink and then a brighter pink. Then we've got a gorgeous purple. Oh, a metre of the pink. So there's a metre of the pink, a metre of the half pink, half a metre of purple, a metre of black. That's used for all the butterfly body around the edge of the wings. Um, and then you've got three metres of white. And that is used all around the edge. So 59.99. Beautiful. You're getting six and a half metres in total of fabric to make this. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then if you fancy a blue butterfly, and who doesn't, then we have exactly the same. So obviously full instructions. Um, you get the white fabric for the background. You get the black fabric for the edge of the butterfly. But this time you get three shades of blue. So you get the cloud blue, you get the turquoise, and then you get the royal blue. 
Uh, yeah, so Barbara, who's just asked about the bumblebee in the background, the background of that is a cave fabric. That's not one that we've kitted. That's one that Tracy's made. But if you buy the instructions on their own, and you've got a bit of cave. It doesn't have to be all the same either. You can use, you can really make it mix and match, um, you know, a bit like this. So if you could use cave, a bit of mixture, gorgeous. Um, right, we have got a few butterfly quilt instructions on the own, but they're very popular, very low in stock on those. So if you want the butterfly instructions on the own, you do need to get checked out. Right, Tracy, so you've sewn all that together. Yeah, I've sewn that together, so. Here we are. That's your next row. And just see how quick, while you were just chatting through that. Yeah, you've done that. Put that row And together. I guess because you've pressed them in opposite ways, it's yep. not too, does the matching up work all right? Yeah, so look, if you see on the back, that's the back. Yeah. You can see that where you've nested them, one's going one way and one's going another, and then the same for the so other. So do you tend to make one row and then join it on? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Not in sort of groups? Uh, not for this one, no. I make this in uh, in rows. I'll, I'll, I'll group together the greens. I I make them differently each time. Oh, do you? So I don't get... Oh, know. no, I meant like, do you do like five rows and then five rows and then join them together or...? Um, no, I normally do, do at least half and half. Oh, OK. Yeah, um, that's how I do it. But I know that people break it into four or three, three pits. Yeah. yeah, see, I'd want to join it all together. Yeah. But then I'd get carried away and go, well, I'm going to do all of that, and then it wouldn't match up because I hadn't done it, you know. <laughs> You've got to do, get, it, get it right, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's up to you, isn't it? It's your, your It's quilt. your bumblebee. Yeah. It? I think it's really, really lovely. Thank you. So, that, and then when you come to doing your um, uh, basting, it's not a bad size to baste your quilt. Okay. So as you're, interestingly, as you're short of space, how do you quilt yours? Because everyone's, it's one of the questions we get asked all the time, you know, for yeah. people who don't have loads, well, even if you've got loads of space, to be honest, how do you go about doing it? So in our main boat, mm. which is where, our, where, where my sewing area was, we took the dinette out, which is, uh, for those that don't know, a dinette is... I have no idea what a dinette is. <laughs> you know, if you go to a caravan, caravan yeah. holiday, and the, di the dining area makes down into a bed. Oh, yes, so yes, so table. Dinette. Yeah. Table, benches. Yeah. Right. So, oh, and that's a dinette. That's, that's a dinette. It's a very posh. Never, a dinette. How posh? I've never heard. So we took that out, which we'd got in the boat, and that was six foot by four foot. And we built this, um, I say we, you know, yeah. I instructed, I didn't yes. do any building. You put your requirements. Forward. Yeah, I did. Yeah, uh, this sort of um, U-shaped area. Mm. Um, so I could sit in there and I got the boxes down here with fabric in. Um, and then we had a bench that sat just in front of the lovely window overlooking the canal. And, um, that bench can then pull out. So it pulled out, pulls out to here, mm -hmm. and then that's where I base my quilts. So I still base my quilts in the main boat. Right, okay. Um, because I'd, I haven't got that set up in the little boat. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you sort of work it out, don't you? So I have yeah. to go into my kitchen and like, my table will extend. I have to take everything off the table, which takes such a long time. I know. Such a long time. I don't know who puts all that stuff on the table. Yeah. Then I have to extend the table. And then <laughs> to do it all they have to put it all back on again yeah so my plan the other day was to base three quilts i did two and then i thought i can't do any more so um, when you do this so how do you go about what process do you do to, for basting i um i don't uh use uh the pins i don't like pins or needles or anything like that um <laughs> so i use the the spray base oh, okay 505 mm. the odif uh it doesn't smell um and i um Put my uh, my wadding down first. Yeah. Obviously, I press everything. Right. Um, and then I'll I'll place this on top, and I'll do a bit at a time. And then what I'll do is I'll do the top bit first. Imagine that's your your, yeah. your, your wadding there. Spray that. Put that on, and then from the centre, I spray I spread that out okay. across and down. And then I'll go up this way, and I'll spray a section along here. Mm. And then I'll pull that down and I'll just spread that out with my hands all the way across and that way as well. And then I'll just carry on going down. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll flip it over or I'll trim it first, trim the wadding first. 
So there's a good couple of inches either side. Right, OK. Because uh, I have been caught out before where I've, <laughs> it's, it's moved a little bit. I'm like, oh, I know you do need extra, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, and then I do exactly the same again. Mm. Um, and then it's ready for quilting. Fabulous. Yeah. So, and then I have to put all the books back in. Oh, I know, I know. But everyone does it top. slightly differently. So it's always interesting to hear how yeah. people do theirs and how you cope with spaces. And, and it's like you say, if, you're, if your table isn't really long, then you have to do it in sections. Yeah, and I haven't got the floor space either. Oh, there's the 505 if you need that. Yeah. Like that's, the, that's the spray for spray basting. Oh, that's brilliant. I, I love it. That's a good price. <laughs> oh, sorry. Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine for two hundred fifty mils. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I use that, and uh, one can will do about two large quilts. Oh, okay. Because I did two large quilts the other day and used a whole can. So. Wow. And I guess because you want to do the back as well. Yeah. So with the, and yeah. do you do the front before the back or the back? I do. The, I always do the front first. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then then the back. Um, I don't know why I do that. Just I don't know, but I find that when you talk to people who do the quilting, it's like you say with this. You when you do something over and over, you work out actually better ways yeah. or easier ways. So I always ask people who do a lot of it. Well, how do you do it? Because yeah, um, you've worked out easier, quicker, better ways. And that's what works for me. I don't have a large floor space to crawl around on. Thank yeah, you. Exactly. And my knees don't want to do that anyway, so. Um, yeah, I find it quite hard to get it flat on the floor anyway. Yeah. And I hate the crawling around. And I've got two dogs as well. Oh, no chance. Just want to join in. Yeah, no <laughs> chance. Yeah. So that's how I based. And then it's ready for quilting and I get a decent thread. Change my needle. You did something yesterday, was it, on needles? Yes, I did. Love a yes. needle. Yeah. So. Well, because I made Barry the buyer buy oh. bulk needles because they're much cheaper. Well, I've, yes, I've got some... Packs uh, of 100. Ah, right. OK. So they work out, I think, if you buy a normal sewing machine needle, they're about 65p. Yeah. In packs of five, but we did them in packs of 100 and they're like 50p, wow. 55p. Wow. 50p, that's... yes, because they were 49.99. Brilliant. So change my needle, mm. d um, gets a decent thread. I and I always wind my bobbins first. So oh, I do you? Yeah, I know. I always oh, well, like you three. need a bobbin winder. I do. We had that especially for our early bird this I morning. I saw it, yeah. We must talk about that later because you can just, they're battery. Yep. Oh, that's even better when you've yes. not got much power. They're battery yep. and you just put your bobbin, you can then wind them whenever you want them. Yeah, great. So I get all that prepped first. Um, right, the stripology extra large. We were talk because we're talking about saving time, as well as the bobbin wind. Yes. One of those. Um, the Stripology Extra Large. So like Tracy was saying, this is kind of the best $69.99 you're going to spend, isn't it? I think it's great because it increases the accuracy. Yeah, it does. You, you've not got that shift in the fabric. Oh, I've got a message. Um, hi, everyone. The Stripology Extra Large ruler has saved me so much time and given me more confidence because my cutting yeah. is more accurate from yeah. Donna. There you go, Donna said That's it all. Donna. Yeah. And is that because of the not moving it? Um, that grid is one of my best buys. I've just finished my first quilt, all two inch square, two and a half inch squares. Oh, I'm so happy to have actually made a quilt from Barbara. Yeah, well, there you go. Well done, Barbara. That is a lot of squares. Yeah, and people buy these and then go, oh, I don't use it. It's easy to use. And there's so much, there's a, like you said, there's a QR code. Yeah, when you get these, I mean, I'll show you on the, they always have a little book. I mean, this is the perfect five, but there's always like a little booklet. This is a small booklet in it with a QR code. And it tells you what you can do because otherwise you get it and go, what are those stars and squares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and why would I need those? But yeah. it will tell you about it, 69.99. And this big one, if you're doing large squares that you want to trim up. So I trimmed up the smaller ones on the smaller stripology. So this is 12 inch. Oh, so squares. like quilt blocks? Yeah, so if you want to trim up your quilt blocks, mm. you can use this, going down to three inch squares. And then there's a whole new world of 60 degree angles, mm. 45 degree angles. So if you wanted to do diamond shapes for like a Lone Star quilt, you can use this for cutting that out and it's really accurate. Fabulous, fabulous. So just to give you a, re a quick recap, I've got a few of the Liberty Bumblebees. Oh, is it the Liberty one? Oh no, I haven't, no. There's only about one of those left, I think. So I'll leave that. If you want one, there might be one left. Um, for the more affordable bumblebee, 
there you get the full pattern you the fabric that you get is this green like ditzy green print little flowers that's for the grassy background that the bumblebee is flying over and then you get half a meter each of white black and bumblebee yellow um, and the full instructions obviously if you want the instructions on their own we do have a few of them there we go 12 pounds just think of all the bumblebees you can make <laughs> I've, I've probably made about 15 now have you really yeah. <laughs> wow what for gifts for gifts and yeah and then for demos and yeah yeah and it keeps an, going on you're an expert now yeah. what's on row seven <laughs> the pink the purple butterfly so if you want to make the pinky purple butterfly so pretty um in this kit there's a lot of fabric in this kit was it six and a half meters so you've got three and a half meters of white you get a meter of this pink it's lovely this pink you, it looks white until you against, put it against the um white and then you realize it's like the palest pink um then you get a brighter pink and you get purple and then you get the black and the black is for the body and all the way around the edge of the wings as well and obviously full instructions if you want the instructions just on their own 12 pounds then you can make your very favorite butterfly or you can make a mythical butterfly yeah <laughs> from any old any fabrics you like yeah and i just i love people to send me pictures as well i've got a lookbook on my uh website where people okay. can go so i place people's Oh, brilliant. Oh, well, so, so do follow Tracy on Facebook or go to our website and then you can see. So um, are you working on new things? Will you be coming back to us? Well, I'm hoping to come back. Oh, yes, good. I've got a collection coming out in January called the Campfire Collection. Ooh. So that's uh, not any beetles or, <laughs> or oh, <right. laughs> bugs or anything. It's slightly different, but it's using the same method. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm working on some other fun little things for... So like uh, picnics, home decor, oh, that kind nice. of stuff. Yeah, because they'd yeah. be great for picnics, wouldn't they? Yeah, they would. So I've got a lot more things. Oh, I just need brilliant. a bit more time. A bit more time. Yeah, <laughs> I can imagine. Well, um, on your boat. Well, I am very envious. Em oh. So envious. That's like, because I said to once, I could never move to a canal boat because I've got too much sewing stuff, but you've given me the odds. Yeah. Just need two boats. <laughs> you need two boats. Two boats. <laughs> and don't start sewing before you move onto your boat. I, I, I would never have done it. I would never have moved onto a boat oh. if I'd have had a sewing room. Yeah, yeah true. No, true. sewing boat. Sewing yeah, boat is way to go. Well, it's been lovely working with you today, Tracy. Thank, thank you, you so Rebecca. much. Um, I'll be back with you in a few minutes' time. And this hour next hour is great because it's perfect for this time of year. It's all about the winter fabrics. We've got some gorgeous flannels, but designer flannels, they are lovely. So if you're thinking about PJs or brush cotton quilts, which are just the best thing. Um, and I've also got some fleece as well. So it's all about the gorgeous winter fabrics. Some I haven't seen before, so I think you'll enjoy that. So I'll see you back here in a few minutes' time. <laughs> Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, 
Then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself something fabulous. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Welcome back to Sewing Street. This is the Winter Fabric Hour. Oh, these are lovely. This is a bundle of glorious flannelness. Now, unfortunately, we haven't got strokey telly, otherwise you'd be able to see. Um, now, I've done, a, I've, I've sewn a lot with flannel and I often buy flannel sheets as well. So I do a lot of research. Now, flannel and brush cotton are the same thing. Pretty much. I know some people may go, well, flannels, there's some brush cotton, that. But what I find is that in the UK, we call it brush cotton. And in the US, they call it flannel. There may be, there may be technical differences, but from what I can see, they're the same thing. Um, now, the brush cotton and flannel can be made from different fibres. This is all 100% cotton. So it's exactly the same. It's quilting weight as well. It's exactly the same as your normal quilting weight cotton, but it has just been brushed. That's all. That's the only difference, which makes it super smooth and super soft. Now, I think a lot of people don't realise that you can quilt with flannel. And I think there's a lot more fabric manufacturers and companies these days who are by coming into the flannel market and realising that it's not just pyjamas that we make from flannel, that we actually make quilts as well. Because a lot of people use flannel for a backing fabric because it's lovely and soft, but not only that, when you put a quilt on a bed, it sort of grips more, it's less likely to fall off. Um, but it does make it lovely for quilting because then the front of your quilt is lovely and it gives it that real sort of homespun, homestead charm. So what we're going to start with is a whole bundle, look at this, of Moda flannels. So it should be 143.84. That's what it should be. 
but we are going to give you a whole meter for free. So it's Moda Lakeside Gatherings Flannel Fabric Mega Bundle. Eight meters in total, one meter free. Now, if you've already checked out, because I know there's quite a few of you who've bought this before we've come on air with it, you will be charged the lower price, don't you worry, £125.98. So you are getting 16, 16 half meters. So if you've always had a fancy for a blue and white quilt, but you want to make it so it's super cosy and lovely, this is perfect. Uh, message from Sue, I've made quilted cushion covers out of flannel. It's a joy to work with and very strokeable. Sue, it's right, it is, I, I can't, um, it's difficult to describe, but I find when you press it and sew with it, it has a little bit more body, maybe because it's got more texture to it. And I find it sews and cuts better. It is an honest choice. Thank you very much for that message. Now this is Moda. So we know that it's gonna be great quality and the colours are beautiful. It's 100% cotton. Shall we have a look at them? Now, they will be sold by the half metre. We'll go through them individually, but I just want to show you what they look like. So we've got checks and we've got stripes. There, what's the width, Hannah? 112. 112 centimetres, yes, yeah, sorry, um, which is 44 inches. So they're your normal quilting width. Now, they come in different prints, which I am now sorting. <gasps> That's just... Now, just to let you know, we will be selling these by the half metre as well because some of these are just crying out to be pyjamas, aren't they? Right. I mean, do you know, can you imagine a flannel shirt from these? You don't have to, in fact, I just bought a flannel shirt, it's beautiful. I don't know why I didn't make one. I don't know, I was mad. But um, a flannel shirt would be absolutely gorgeous because it's quilting weight. It is absolutely beautiful for a flannel shirt. It is, I mean, also I'm thinking, you know, it's, well, it, it's very gender neutral, but wouldn't it be beautiful as well? Nursery, baby. But I'm loath to say that, to be honest, because I think a lot of people often think, well, a lot of people think, oh, um, brush cotton is just for babies. And it really is. And this is why I think it's lovely that we've moved, that they've, the mode have sort of moved away from that. Yes, Hannah thinks this would be a good university quilt. Well, yes, I can see exactly what you mean. That one goes with that one. And that one goes with that one. It's just beautiful, isn't it? But any, you can, any quilting pattern, anything that you would use normal cotton for, you can use this brush cotton. So it would make, I mean, can you imagine? Because we have got darks and lights. You, this would be lovely as log cabin. Massive saving. Imagine this in log cabin if you split it into darks and lights. So we've got a couple of um, traditional checks. We've got a couple of like ginghams. We've got a couple of hound's tooth. We've got some really nice stripes in a dark and a light. I love those. They're like running stitch. Um, you can mix them with non-flannel as well because they are the same weight. You could do things like, so if you had um, a feature quilt, you could make the feature, so the images you could make from flannel and have plain cotton for the extra. I made a penguin quilt for a friend's baby once um, that was in all different prints and I made it completely in flannel. Oh, it was the loveliest thing because it had like, um, and I did it as prints. So they didn't like real penguins to be fair, but it looked beautiful. I love that one. That's the classiest pyjamas, isn't it? But flannel shirt would be nice. Um, then you've got like chevron ones, but there's also, not only have you got the dark blues and the medium blues, you've also got um, a little bit of neutral sand, which looks lovely with them, doesn't it? And then these three planes are beautiful, aren't they? Because they've got a real texture to them. They're almost like tweed. And then they've popped a, They've popped um, a plain white in. So that's the bundle, £125.98. Now, obviously, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that you could make... Hannah wants to know, are they flannelly on both sides? Let me just check. No, they're not. No, they're plain on one side. It's just the, it's the one side that's brushed. Um, 
I think it's quite nice that they've they've put a plain white in there. So you could buy this because you've got a quilt in mind. Remember, you've got eight meters of fabric there. That is enough to make a mega mega quilt. But you could just keep it because you want to make other things. Think about homeware. Um, think about bags. You know when you see like the denim tote bags, wouldn't it look gorgeous in this? Patchwork bag in flannel, glorious. Now, don't forget that we've got this on split pay. Um, two equal payments of 62.99. I'm reading the wrong line. 62, no, I was thinking 17.98. That does not add up, wrong line. Um, 62.99. Now, if you've not used split pay before, the way it works is um, it's interest free. So it's just a way of you spreading the cost. It won't cost you any more, but what you do is you pay the one payment now and then we send you the whole bundle and then in a month you pay the second payment. So it's just a way of spreading your cost. Now, whether you're ordering by phone or whether you're ordering online, um, we will ask you at the point of checkout whether you want split pay or not. So you don't have to, but it is an option, which we nearly always offer on items over 99.99, although sometimes it seems to slip beneath that, which I never really understand. But it's normally on items over 99.99. Right, so that is the bundle. Now, this is the most cost-effective way of buying it because you're getting a whole metre free. So you are saving £17.98. So if you love the flannel, and I think it's amazing, we have got the whole range here, which is unusual. In fact, we should have made it into a quilt, shouldn't we? It's unusual that we've got the whole range. And what happens is that once we start selling it, we sell off them bits and then we can't make the whole bundle again because we'll have one that's like really, really popular and then we can't sell it again. So this is an opportunity now to get the whole bundle where we might not have it. And by having the whole bundle, it means if you are doing something like a log cabin, you know, you've got a dark and you've got a light so you can put the dark on one side, the light on the other, so you can split it into halves like that. So this is a great opportunity and honestly, it's beautiful quality. So we've also got it all available individually by the half meter. Now, when you buy f um, any of our fabrics by the half meter, what that means is if you order one unit, you'll get half a meter. If you want more than that, so, so say you're making a shirt and you need two and a half meters, put five units in your basket. It will be sent as a whole cut piece. Now with the bundle, they are individual half meters, but when we sell them individually, if you want a continuous piece, it will be sent to you like that. So we start with the white. Because the white is very useful to go with other things. Well, I was just gonna say, now I've opened it up, it's not white, white, but because the selvage is white, there's, um, there's the white is on the selvage, so there is just off white, it is an ivory. But I, you could, I could only see when I could see the selvage. So that will go with lots of different things. Eight ninety nine. It will mix in with lots of the other flannels um, and brush cottons that we've got. Eight ninety nine for half a meter of ivory. Right. It's beautiful. Right. I'm going to go through. I absolutely love this. This is very men's designer classy pajamas, isn't it? Oh, I love that. If you go into the posh shops that sell like the really posh brush cotton pyjamas, isn't that beautiful? Very nice for a shepherd costume. I'm going to open up the half meter so you can see what it looks like. I mean, a shirt in that would be lovely. Oh, yeah, like a big shirt. Yeah, or oh, beautiful for beautiful for nightwear. Make a lovely um, night... Um, make a lovely, like, just nighty, you know, big T-shirt that you wear in bed. Loungewear, very nice for loungewear. I tell you what would be nice, looking at these stripes, is cushions. Because that's so classy, isn't it, with its really lovely stripes. You Even if you didn't patchwork it and you just wanted to use it for a cushion, because it's so cosy as well. Or things that you want to be cosy, like hot water bottle covers anything like that but also you know a lot of people um they have real sort of tactile issues they like one of my children has a real issue everything has to be comfy clothes everything has to be soft very important next to skin oh and no well i know and now he's 21 still exactly the same but 
always has to be very soft. And for that, it's absolutely perfect. Oh, there were so many clothes that I bought him because I can't wear them. I'm going, what's wrong? It fits you. It's a nice colour. Mm, it's just not soft. Oh, we got used to it in the end and just only bought soft clothes. It's exactly the same. But if you have people in your life who are the same, that like soft clothes, I know lots of them, then this is perfect. So that's that one. Um, then I'm going to move into the check. This is, this is again, classic, isn't it? Goes really well with that one. Isn't that classic? Beautiful. Is that the most popular? Ooh. I know. I mean, it is like the most classic, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately, if you're just tuning, you can't see it, but believe me, it is super soft. I love brush cotton. I've used the different brush cottons. This also, some brush cottons are fluffier than other brush cottons. And this is not very fluffy. Now, I will say, if you are making clothes with it, please do pre-wash it because always pre-wash it just if you're making any clothes because I know when we do like patchwork and quilting, we don't tend to, but because we're off, because although this is a quilting weight and width, you might be making clothes with it, please do pre-wash it because it will shrink, it's cotton. It might won't shrink much, but it will, it will. And that's what happens. And also if you're using um, light ones and dark ones, because I've bought some recently and I did pre-wash it, it probably shrank a bit, but it also, a lot of the fluff came off because I stupidly washed it with another colour. Do not put it in the tumble dryer. Do not put it in the tumble dryer with a plain colour because all the fluff comes off one and goes on to the other. But it, it does, if you are using it for that, then do pre-wash it. And I, kn I know it's annoying, but what I do is I pre-wash it and then I hang it all over the banisters or over um, a drying rail just to dry flattish. And then give it a press before it's completely dry. <laughs> or oh, I put them on the radiators, yes. Um, there we go. And then we've got another one, I'm la <laughs> laughing. One of my sons said to me once, this is irrelevant. Mum, how do we heat the house? He was 16 at the time. And um, I said, have you ever noticed those big white metal things that are like screwed to the walls in every room? And he goes, oh, I thought they were for drying socks. And I said, <laughs> How do you, how, I said to him then, how do you think we eat the house? Because I don't know, that's why I asked. <laughs> Can you imagine that you, that you go to the expense of having all these big sock dryers in every room? He's the one that likes the soft clothes. Mm, I think there might be some correlation there. <laughs> I still think about that every time I put socks on the radiator. Good job we bought these. Just for socks. Um, that's... Yes, that's the next check. Now I like, so that check, so she distracted me about, about my sock story. Um, that's your kind of darker blue and, and that's the lighter blue with the check. But don't you see, you can see now as I'm putting them down, but you know, log cabin just out of those two colors. Honestly, things like cushions and homewares are beautiful in them and bags because they just feel soft and squidgy. Or maybe you're making somebody a wash bag for Christmas. There we go. Bit of waterproof lining, zip across the top, 8.99, very nice. You could even, if you haven't got any waterproof fabric, buy a very, very inexpensive shower curtain, use that. But it's, or just get some, um, actually, to be honest, Ripstop is so inexpensive at the moment, isn't it? It's probably, it used to be that the waterproof, specific heavier weight waterproof fabric was quite expensive. So I'd often buy a shower curtain, but actually Ripstop doesn't really cost very much. So wouldn't that be a lovely um, wash bag? Um, right, then there's this kind of gingham-y one. I like that one. Beautiful. But it is like, it's like a gingham, a gingham that's made out of like little corners. Yeah, it is a, a really, it looks almost woven. I think it's quite clever, really. Comes in two colours as well. So the colour you've got there is open plaid blue. What's this one called then? Open plaid blue? Uh. <laughs> fine. What's that one called then? Open plaid, not quite so blue. Open plaid play or blue? Play blue. It does I look like a pyjama shop. Um, 
Honestly. Right, should we go um, houndstooth? I wonder if it's called that, but I think that's what it is. At least you can... It is called houndstooth. Amazing. I never know what they call them, you see. But at least you can see them side by side. Now, if you get confused when you're going along this and go, oh, I just don't know which one, and I do want to make some pyjamas, um, if you go on the... Or loungewear. If you go onto the website... Um, sewingstreet.com and click on watch live We've got, there's pictures of them all there and because you know you'll get a few on the screen sometimes that's the easiest way for you to be able to compare one picture to another pe picture so that's um, houndstooth in blue and then we have houndstooth in pale blue okay um, now we'll move on to this this is your um, this one's a bit stitching themed, isn't it? Because it's got, it looks almost like running stitches down through it. Oh, it is O-N, yes. It's, it's got like a bit of um, the neutrally sandy colour in it. So you're starting to introduce that in, but it is like lines of running stitch. And we also have it in a lighter colour, but you can see the lines better there now. Right, I might have to, I might have to move over a bit now. Beautiful, right, now we go into a chevron, which actually when you look at the chevron on this, it's like rope. It's like um, a twisted braid in a chevron. So that's in the dark blue. So that's just two colour. In the lighter one, I like that because you've got um, four different colours of blue in the lighter one. Can you see? That's in the lighter one. So you've got, and it is like a, a twisted cord. Do you need the code for that one? Oh, you got it. You could even make, um, you could make cushions or pillowcases for these, actually. Or, you know, one of those nice big round bolster cushions. Oh, wouldn't that look fab? You know, and you, you could make it in patchwork or you could put the ends in different colours. Oh, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Now, this um, same chevron is also in, what is this colour? Is it sand? So you can see the three, they look completely different. Um, oh, that one's, oh, that one's sold out in pre-order. So that's only available in the bundle. Um, then we've got these three that look like tweed. And this, I think, would make a gorgeous, it looks like a tweedy denim. Yes, it looks like, like a tweed denim. That's about to sell out. Textured dark blue flannel, that would make a nice shirt, wouldn't it? Um, then we've got it in a mid blue, lighter blue. Um, mm, quick message. Hi, a bit late in the day, but is anyone having trouble with the channel? It's pixelating constantly, but not on the other channels from Sue. Well, Sue, yes, we are on Freeview and Sky. We don't know why, and it's not to do with us, but they're trying to sort it out. But what I would say is if you watch it on YouTube or on the, t on the web, not on TV, clearly, on the web, um, then it will be fine there. It's not everyone that's having the issues. It's certain areas that have got the issues. So it's not us, it's the providers. But we're, we are speaking to them, so we are aware of it. But we are to say we're really sorry about that. Um, but it's not your television. It's something to do with the providers and it's only in certain areas as well. Very, very annoying, very annoying. But if it's, if it's driving you mad, if you go onto YouTube or watch via the website, then it's fine there. Oh, Facebook, yeah, watch on Facebook. I know, it'd be, do, it'd be driving me mad. Um, and then this is the final one. What is this colour called? Cream. Yeah, it's not cream. It's, um, it's a sandy colour. It's definitely not cream. Yeah, it's more of a sandy colour. Um, 
I mean, it looks beautiful with the blues, doesn't it? So there we go. There's the whole thing. There's the whole thing. That's almost the whole bundle, except for that one, which I took out. So there they are all individually. And if you want the whole bundle, there it is. Let's move those pink ones out. Da, da, da. Look at it now. 16 pieces of fabric, eight half meters, no, 16 half meters, <laughs> eight meters of fabric, 16 half meters, but you will be getting two of these for free. So that's your best saving. If you love the flannel, um, if you've always fancied making a flannel quilt, then do it. Um, oh, message from Sue, just looked at the price of a fat quarter bundle elsewhere, the flannel, it just shows what a good price your bundle is. More fabric for little extra. Yeah, because this is not a fat quarter bundle. This is a half meter bundle. Sue, thanks for letting us know. And honestly, it, it's, you often can pay a lot for flannel. It's also not that easy, as I have discovered, to buy because I've been looking for some lately and I've spent a lot of time looking at all sorts of flannel. Because you know what it's like when you've got a bee in your bonnet about something and you look at all the different websites and you look everywhere and can you find it and can't you find it? And do you know we didn't have that? We didn't have this. We didn't have this when I was looking. Um, so you get really into it. But this is very good. So I know what they cost. This is Moda, and it does make a difference because honestly, I have bought some flannels, even 100% cotton, but the more inexpensive, the, the less expensive brands, some of them, they're not quite the quality. They're a little bit thin and stiff. Right, I'm gonna put these to one side because we've got baby flannel. So you know I said to you earlier, um, don't only think of flannel as baby. Well, don't, because it is beautiful for homewares, for adult clothing, but obviously it is gorgeous for babies as well. So we've got one baby bundle. Is this just the bundle? Oh, okay. Right, so this is the last of our stock. So we're getting a panel. Aha! Oh, look at this. Right, so in this, there's a panel and two and a half meters of fabric. And we're gonna low, we're gonna low, 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 low. 50 pounds and 94. Should be 59.94. I need to hold this up. Can you see if I stand on my, f can you see it? Okay, I didn't know whether you could see the bottom. Yeah, I stood on my tiptoes. Right. I've got to put my arms awake now. Uh, look, isn't it gorgeous? It's a hot air balloon in grey in spots with rabbits in it who don't seem to mind, quite happy about it. And the sun. Now, this price will go back up if we've got any left because this is end of loan. Should be 59.94. So you've got this panel and then you've got half a metre each of the matching fabrics. This is gorgeous. Can you imagine making a baby quilt? This is the last of what we have available. When this is gone, that's it. It's beautiful. It's called Snuggle Bunny. So then we've got half a metre. We've got them in... Um, of this one. So that's just the smaller version. You've got the happy sun and the rabbits sleeping on the clouds. And then we've, it's, I love this. I love this. Um, in a white background. Then we have half a meter of it. Just refold it. In, I don't know, is that pale blue or is it gray? I think it's gray. It's a like gray blue. Very, very neutral though. So, you know, you could use this bundle, you could make a beautiful cock quilt with it, couldn't you? You could make a play mat, or you could use it all to make the most beautiful matching accessories. You could quilt the panel and turn that into a wall hanging for a nursery, and then you could make other accessories in this. You could like line baskets to put clothes and nappies and things, or you could make drawstring bags. I mean, it's just delicious, isn't it? Um, then we've got, and this is all a beautiful, soft, oh, because it's from Northcott. Now, Northcott fabric is lovely. It's, it's no, I love Northcott, beautiful quality. See, I told you, I'm really into flannel at the moment. Um, this is also in the bundle, white with little bunnies all over and little stars, half metre. Um, then you get a half metre of this lemon that's got little stars. So it's all about sleeping, isn't it, really? Sleeping bunnies and snuggling. 
and then you've got a lemon with stars. So this is very gender neutral. It's perfect for that sort of neutral nursery. And then the final one is a grey check. So let me put them all together so you can see. So this bundle, £50.94. Right. And then we put follow that one up because then you can actually see them better, can't you? So we've got one, two, three, four. We've got five half meters and the panel, which is a fantastic price. Look, this is what it all looks like together. Beautiful. So you could use that. Do you know if you just wanted to make a cock quilt, you could just use the panel and then put some, um, if you put like a polyester wadding, it's much better for washing, and then just quilt around the balloon. That's beautiful, isn't it? Right, so those, that's the bundle with all of them. Right, if you want the panel just on its own, which I, I, I won't hold up again because maybe my arms ache. You have to look at it on the desk instead. There we go. $14.99 for just the panel on its own. Isn't it lovely? Because you know what it's like when you, you know, you've got a new baby, you don't know what to get them, what's everyone else doing? Just, and you know, or maybe you're short of time. You could just make um, a really simple wall hanging cock quilt with that. Because it is really lovely, isn't it? $14.99. Yeah, you could use it as a, a matte lie baby on, but obviously it's white. But make sure you use a polyester wadding. I mean, you can use cotton wadding, to be honest, because that can pop in the machine. Just make sure you use a wadding that's not too thick, that, that can be, be easily washed. There are different issues, obviously, with what you use on quilts and cots and all of that. But if you're using it for anything for a baby, just make sure it's very washable. Right, that's that. Now, if you want to buy the fabric on its own by the half meter, because it's just one that you like, we're going to do them quick. So we haven't got many of these. By the half metre, if you want more than a half metre, put that number of units in your basket. It will be sent to you as a whole cut piece. So that's that one. We're on single figures on that one. The grey check. I love the grey check. This is a really lovely complementary fabric. So maybe, maybe you bought... Um, the panel, you could use this for binding, but this one could be used for anything. It doesn't just have to be for babies. Again, um, loungewear, pajamas, shirts, homeware, make a lovely cushion this grey, wouldn't it? With the wonky lines on it. So um, that one is the one you does, it's not baby at all. Lovely. Yeah, we've got the stars on lemon. Now there's only two units. There's only one metre left of the stars on lemon. So pretty, isn't it? You could make, um, you know, one of those like sleep sacks that you make babies that zipped on the end. That would look nice. But obviously, yeah, you have to really think about, you know, you need to know what you're doing with it and what it's for. Um, very important that. But drawstring bags and play mats are always good. Actually, that would make a lovely, if you've got like a basket and you make a liner out of this, I did that with when mine were young and then just run a draw like a ribbon through it. Then you that sits the liner over the basket and then you can fill it with all sorts of things. Um, which have we got any of the other two by the half meter? Right. And then we've got and then the so the other one we don't have available on its own. But this is the last one that we've got available by the half meter. It's a very pale grey background and you've got rabbits sitting on clouds or hanging off clouds with strings. There we go. So that's the baby flannels. Kaufman. <coughs> Now I love, again, on my great flannel quest, these are Robert um, Kaufman flannels. These are quite unusual because they're very traditional PJ, but you don't often see them sold like this by um, the half meter, but aren't they beautiful for shirts as well? Absolutely gorgeous. Now these are all, they're not a bundle, are they, Hannah? They're all available by the half meter. Right, all available by the half meter. So we'll start at the top. Now, let me, I'm going to open this out. They are quite unusual. They are beautiful quality. 
Robert Kaufman. So you know Robert Kaufman is really lovely quality. I mean, that's lovely. I'm thinking, you know, maybe you wanted to just make a really nice blanket or table runner. I mean, you imagine that down the centre. You know, you could even use that down the centre of your Christmas table, couldn't you, that one? It is beautiful. It's a big check. It's 9 99 for half a metre. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Think about it for quilt backing as well, because it does mean that it sticks, it clings and stick, it clings to the back. Can I, this is, um, have we got a tape measure? This, have you got the measurements? This is wide, I think. Yeah, I thought so. 144 centimetres wide. Look. Well, I just knew when I was throwing it over the table, I thought this looks bigger. So you've got a little bit extra for if you're back in a quilt. So it is a bit wider. And if you're doing your dressmaking, but actually, um, how about a nice pinafore? Because I like a pinafore in needle cord, like a pinafore in brushed cotton. Or lining of a coat. Wouldn't it be lovely if you lined a coat in it? But napkins as well, that would be gorgeous. You could cut napkins in them, couldn't you? Or a scarf. But if you, you know, if you just put, if you put two of them, right size facing, sew it all around, uh, you know, and then just top stitch once you've turned it out, that would be a really lovely scarf, wouldn't it? Just, you know, when you want that bit of warmth and colour around your neck underneath your coat. I think that's ideal. So 9.99, half a metre. This is beautiful. Let me, it is, um, it is quilting weight as well, but it is very, very soft. This is real quality flannel. Brush cotton, love that one. Um, the next one, oh, I don't know which. I'll, actually, I'll do this one next because this is another big check. This is a smaller check than the other, but it's a bigger check than the others. Whereas the next lot are all the same check, but they're just different colours. So let me just lay it out on the table. I mean, cushions, wouldn't they look great in this? Trousers, they don't even need to be pyjamas. Aren't they nice? But it would, it would be lovely as a dress. You know, if you've got a nice warm, like a lovely long sleeve dress, or you know when you get those sort of sleeve, short sleeve dresses where you just wear a long sleeve top underneath, that would be beautiful. Actually, I've got a few dresses I'd quite like in that. Do you remember that lovely dress that Sussex Seamstress did? Can't remember which one, when she made me one in green. Can't remember what the pattern was called. That would look beautiful in this. It's so wintry and lovely. It'd be very good. Oh, have you got a picture of that? So I did have a little search through for... Um... Oh, for... <laughs> really? Mm. We did have a picture of the pyjama bottoms because I found the patterns for them. Yes. And they're not in there. Oh, OK. We do have... Well, we'll have a look for the patterns because I popped them in yesterday and they seem to have gone because I had to look for some pyjama patterns. I did save them as well. Weird. Anyway, that wouldn't that be a beautiful dress New Year's Eve party? Well, only because of the check. It just sort of feels warm and cosy and lovely, doesn't it? Now, the next um, five are all the same print, the same check, but they're just different colours. So I'm going to go through them one at a time so that you can see. Should we start with this one? It's almost like um, raspberry red, sort of a reddy pink. There we go. So it's like a raspberry ready pink. Again, it's that wide 140 centimetre width. Um, the check's about half an inch, I'd say. Lovely. Now, this is where if you wanted to combine a few together, because you don't have, obviously, you can use these for patchwork. We've got them in a variety of colours, so these would look lovely together. Now, remember, these are woven fabrics, not printed. So when you get a check, or a gingham. Sometimes when you get them, the fabrics are printed. So it doesn't, it means the checks and the stripes don't always run straight, but these are woven, which means they have to, so you haven't got a choice. Mm. 
No, well, no, one side is brushed cotton and one side is cotton. But because they're woven, it means you can see them both sides. They work from either side. Yeah, so if you were doing something that wasn't lined, they'd be found on the inside. But the point is, is that when you get a fabric that's a printed check, the prints, the check isn't always printed 100% straight, so it might go off. But because it's woven and the wet, the warp, the weft goes one way, the warp goes the other. It has to be straight, so it's much easier for cutting as well. So this one is, um, well, it's a kind of, what code is it? It, it ends in 92. Oh, does it? Right. It looks very yellow, but it isn't. It's real mustard. It's a real earthy mustard colour. It's not yellow at all. Well, it's yellow, more yellow than it's green, obviously, but um, it's an earthy mustard colour. It's lovely. It's not quite Rupert Bear. So that's that one. Um, then I've got it in a lovely blue. This is great. It's almost like a turquoisey petrol blue in the background. Do you like that one? I like that one. That would be nice. Think about pillowcases. So even if you just want to have the pillowcases in the brush cotton. That's lovely. 9.99. I think we're really lucky to have got these in because they're not easy to find. And they are great quality. And remember, they are 9.99. They are more than the Moda, but they're wider. So you get more for your money. Um, then this one is green. And it is, I would go with avocado. What do you think, Hannah? So all the all the um, all the main squares, the blue, they're all just kind of just an off navy, so just a little bit lighter than navy. Oh, they've called it peridot. Yeah, peridot's good. Or well, if you don't know what peridot looks like, avocado. But this, the blue squares are the same throughout all of them. Um, and then we've got one that has a grey. Is it called grey? Titanium, otherwise known as grey. A grey background. There we go. So let me just show you them all together in case there's no mega bundle, but they all of these. I'm just showing you these together because they're all the same check. If you were thinking about um, doing some patchwork, you wanted to have a mixture, they're the same size, the same print, the same qu quality. They go beautifully together. We haven't done them as a mega bundle, but that's what they look like. Also, it helps to sort of see how the colours work together as well. Right, that's flannel. Fleece. Now, we've got fleeces in different colours here. Can we... Oh, I was going to go pink, but let's go ochre. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. This is super soft. 3.99? 3.99 for half meter. And how wide is this? Oh, well, let's find out then. Um, I will. Cap, we got a tape measure. These always used to be one hanging up behind. They, do you know, they walk. Yes, now when you're sewing with these, well, it's a bit like when you do quilting, please do remember to clean out your machine. If you have problems with your machine jumping and skipping and stuff, you often have a look at the bobbin. Take out the um, plasticky bobbin bit and then the bobbin case, which is usually black, take that out and you'll often find that's where the fluff is. If you get a lot of fluff in it there, then the plastic bobbin that you, thank you, that you wind the thread on, that's cool. Um, the plastic bobbin that you wind the thread on, that doesn't sit flat in if you've got any fluff. So if you're working with something like this. Now this is almost, it's like velvet, it's velvet smooth. That is glorious. See, I want to see, wouldn't that make a lovely bumblebee? Right, should I do it in inches? Right. Oh, it is wide. We've got to 50 there, so I'm guessing it must be 60 inches, just over 60 inches actually wide, so 150 centimetres. That is wide. Um, if you have a look at it when I stroke it, see, that way, but then if I go that way, you can see the depth of the pile and how velvety it is. That is glorious. 
So you think of what you can make with this. Again, it is clothing, it is sweatshirting, um, it is loungewear, but it's also lovely cushions, squishy, glorious cushions. You could use it um, for backing a quilt. So if, if you were thinking about backing a quilt, because some we often get people to say, can you back a quilt with fleece? Well, this is a really velvety fleece. You can, and then you don't need to use wadding. Now, the best way to do it, I'm just not sure about the whole spray basting thing. I don't know whether you can spray baste this or not. So I would just put this right sides down, put your quilt top right sides up on top, pin it or tack it together and then quilt along it. Um, I would say do pre-wash this just in case. But the beauty of doing that is, I mean, you it's not going to look the same as if you quilt with wadding and a backing fabric and a top fabric. It's not going to be exactly the same. So you might find that you want to have a practice with it. But it does mean that you're only doing two layers, so it's less expense. And it's a bit quicker because you're just doing the two layers and you get a lovely fleecy back. What does work really well is if you've got a fabric that you just really like on the front and then you just want to back it. So maybe you've got a beautiful blanket and then you want to back. That often works well with fleece. Um, I also line my curtains in fleece, which Anna's still laughing about. But I, um, very cold, very cold room and I used like a linen fabric for the front of my curtains and I used a burgundy fleece and I used it as if I was using a curtain lining. So I placed them... Um, wrong sides together, folded under the edge of the fabric of the curtain board and used it exactly the same. And it's made the curtains really squishy and lovely. So think about that because also it's quite wide, 60 inches wide, and it's 3 Um We've also got it in pink. Pink is the most popular on pre-order. Lovely dressing gown. Wouldn't that make a nice dressing gown? Nice big hoodie thingy, big one. Be lovely, wouldn't it? <laughs> big hoodie, hoodie. You know those big hoodies with big sleeves and big hoods and those great big ones that you just, yeah, all those, you know, you get those blankets that just have sleeves in. Yeah, see, Kat's got one of those big hoodie thingies. And wouldn't that look nice, Kat, in pink? Hers is lovely. I need one, actually. I'm a bit cold. Um, in pink. <laughs> oh, I need to get one. Right, which order shall I do these in? Shall I start a white and go through? Okay, I'm going because I've got them all in different. There's some of them are... The, this is the same. So this is a fleece. Those two are more velvety. This is a fleece and this is white. This is like polar bear white. It's extremely soft. It's got a slightly thicker pile than the pink one, but it's very, very soft. So what you could do, you know that brush cotton baby panel we had? You could back it in this. How lovely would that be? You need to wash it a lot. But um, yeah, give it to something. I'm not sure how practical that is for... for for a baby, but it would be beautiful and squishy and lovely. So that's the white one by the half metre. Remember, with all of these fleeces, it's cut to order. So if you need to order than half a metre, then it will be cut um, as one continuous piece. We then have a cream. Yes, Hannah's saying, what about a cream wedding dress? Why not? You have velvet wedding dresses. Why not a fleece wedding dress? Or maybe a little, little jacket, yes. That's beautiful, isn't it? It is, ev I mean, it's what amazes me with this fleece, this is so soft. There are different qualities of fleece. There are thicker ones. This also, think about soft toy making. We forgot about that. This is very, very soft. This is polar bear teddy, isn't it? This is soft toy bumblebee. Not sure about the pink, Flamingo? But pink, pig, yes! A pig, I was thinking, what's pink? I was thinking, what is pink? Pig! Um, <laughs> right, grey. Silver, yes, this is very silver. So if you were making, um, not a pig, a grey animal, a cat. Seals, cats, elephants. Pigeon. I've never seen a cuddly toy pan for a pigeon, but you never know. Um, or 
I mean, the uh, reasons, obviously, you know that it would make lovely clothing. I'm thinking if you've got pyjama bottom pattern um, and you made them for these, if, as long as they're just like a drawstring waist, how lovely would it be to have a pair of fleece pyjama bottoms just for lying in front of the sofa, especially with December and Christmas coming up? Oh, joyful. Right, that's that one. Um, then, now this grey one is the velvet, we're back to the velvet. It's beautiful. It's um, charcoal. It's a, but it, because of the velvetness, it's got a beautiful sheen to it. Absolutely gorgeous. I wonder whether you can make a pinafore in, in fleece, velvet fleece. It'd be so lovely, wouldn't it? Right, that one. And then finally, we have a black, which is now covered with the, all the bits of fluff. Panther, panda. Panther or panda. Not a pig, though. Panther or a panda, if you're making toys. Or a black cat. <laughs> we said that at the same time. <laughs> now you have to go Jinx personal padlock. Hannah and I both said black cat exactly the same time. Jinx personal padlock. Mm. That is lovely, though, isn't it? But it has got a really, really nice um, pile to it. It is velvety smooth. So the pink and the gold and the charcoal and the black are this velvety soft fleece. And then the others are just very soft. Right. So that is all the beautiful fabrics. It's make your mind up time. Just clearing the desk, got fluff everywhere. Right, I'm just going to put the um, the Moda Lakeside Gathering. That's the, if you've only just joined me or if you're not sure. That is the flannel fabric mega bundle. Some of those are sold out by the half metre. So it's the only way now you can get them. It's an amazing £17.98 pence saving because you are getting a whole metre for free. And it is gorgeous. Scissors. Now, we had Liam... On his day off, from the hobby maker came on because um, he went to America, did a deal, did a deal with the um, the company, we are makers, and bought these fantastic scissors. So we've had electric scissors before, but these are smaller, they're more portable and super lightweight. They are battery powered or they come with the cable so that you can plug them in um, USB. So, you know, if you've got like a phone plug, a USB plug goes into, you can use that or you can put it into your computer. Now, now even better than this, they should be $39.99, but they're not. They're $14.99. They cut through fabric. I mean, Liam got through 10 layers of fabric. They will cut through PU, cork, leather, thick card. Um, we absolutely love them for wrapping paper just for this time of year. Shall I just show you? Shall I just show you? Because you know what it's like? Um, they come, they're very safe. They come with a rubber top. Um, they don't scrape. They don't scrape because they've got plastic underneath. Um, you just press them to hold them on. They have a lock switch so that they, you don't keep them on, they don't go off in a drawer. Now, you know when you're normally cutting wrapping paper and you cut it and it rips all over the place? All you do, put it underneath, turn it on, and even easier, you pull the wrapping paper towards you. Look at that. What we, we were thinking, isn't this just the best present? Who would you know that wouldn't want a pair of electric scissors? Because they will cut some, it's just fab, isn't it? Just for cut, cutting, especially for present wrapping, but for us for cutting fabric. I also cut fabric from one of our printed panels and it was great because there was like a curved edge shape. You can really go around. They're also right or left-handed. So there we go, absolutely brilliant. Um, right, well, thank you for joining me today. Shall I see what's coming up tomorrow? On tomorrow's show, who is presenting tomorrow, Hannah? Hayley is presenting tomorrow and she has got Husqvarna machines at eight o'clock. Oh, I like a Husqvarna machine. Um, nine o'clock, it's We Love Mil William Morris. Is it Wednesday tomorrow? Okay. Isn't that his birthday show? Oh, well, if it is December the 7th tomorrow, is it the 7th tomorrow? Oh, it's the 7th is his birthday, isn't it? Oh, Hannah's now disappeared. Um, Hannah, I've lost you. Can you hear her? 
Yes, I've gone. I can't hear you. Um, we Love William Morris is on at nine o'clock. Why does my batteries go when I've got like two minutes left? And at 10 o'clock, we've got Nicola Pottinger in, Little Miss So-and-So. Um, and at 11 o'clock, it's all about the sewing room tools. Um, and at 12 o'clock, Nicola will be back, Little Miss So-and-So. Oh, okay. Well, there was one day that we were going to show the video where I interviewed him. I thought it was tomorrow, but who knows? Yes. The 7th. Oh, oh, that's Oh, right, they're really confused. No, Cave, I thought Cave's birthday was tomorrow, but it's the day after, anyway. Anyway, sorry, gosh. I think I just need to go and lie down. Thank you so much for joining me today. Had a great day. Um, hope you got your scissors. Looking forward to getting mine. And I will see you back here next week. <laughs>